I did, look, I'm wearing something very simple. People say I don't wear simple things. Today I'm wearing a simple, pretty simple thing. Yeah, watch, watch me still get all sorts of shit. Mm. Mm. Why is it when you get more sleep, you get more tired? <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Yes, Alexa? Hello. Is everything okay? Hey, is it okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, Alexa. Hey, Michelle. Good morning. Finally, I'm going to bed. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you, I'm just, I'm an emotional roller coaster. Just, I got woke up. I just didn't want to get out of bed. I didn't want to go shower. I just wanted to stay there. Not good. I need to stop doing that. Not evening for me, yeah. It's not evening. It's still afternoon, thank goodness. I didn't sleep that long. Oh, I hate how hard my skin's come becoming. Uh, stop. <laughs> Yucky sugar free. Guys, yucky, yucky, yucky. Trish in the cot. What's that mean in the cot? What's in the cot mean? Hmm? Hello, and hello, India. Namaste. What is Trish in the cot? Hello. Hoo -ah. Bro, actually looks normal. Yeah, I haven't put anything on yet. I mean, remember, normal isn't a good thing that I aspire to. Like, but I don't aspire to not be. Thank you for following me, Nyan Irvin. Hmm. Let me drink this down. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I learn something new every day. I knew it meant something specific, and I just had no idea. I remember when I started learning things like what slay meant and sick, like years ago. I was like, what? I'd been out of the country for like seven years, so I wasn't even exposed to any of it. Hmm? Mm. Um, no. After I shave, I put moisturizer on, and then I put my baby skin on. <laughs> Moisturizing it all up. Getting it all nice. Hello. Hello, um, that Bala. I've been to India. I was up in the north. I went to Veranisa, um, Kolkata. I flew into from Hanoi. Took the train for a couple days. Just do you, you still have your scar? Are you saying scar? Not a bunch of scars. Hmm. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. I look not. Yeah, I haven't. I showered. I haven't done anything yet. Brush my teeth on. Yeah, I thought I'd just do something simple, easy.
Oh, we got we got to do a British song or something. What song do I need to do today? Huh? What's the song? <sighs> you wearing, is, that, is that okay that I'm wearing it or no? I don't know if there's rules against it, like other flag. No, I'm wearing the Hawaiian flag. Is that yeah, I was just talking about. <laughs> What's a good song for it, do you think? What would be a good one? I, would, I was on my healthy bet. Okay, let's go over here to Be Girls. Continue. Let me turn it in. There are only two genders. But I, again, you can believe what you want to believe. I'm not going to... If you are already coming from a position where you're certain, then you don't need me to, to tell you anything. You have strong, ma I do have strong masculine features. I'm a male, that would make sense. Then that's one speech that's just, you have euthanasia for adults. Um, that's, who, who is it that I need to get, that I need to have out of here? Can someone put who they are on the hashtags so I know who it is and how we know that they are? <clears throat> I mean, what is it? T TikTok has changed their rules and because of the time it is right now, if I'm just doing makeup, anyone with a TikTok account is allowed to be on here, I'm just not gonna engage with them. This ain't Texas, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, um, Lydia. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, Linda Lou. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Lydia. Mm. How am I today? I had a rough night last night. Really rough night. Right now, first I'm putting on the um, baby skin. Um, last night I just oh my goodness, I had anxiety really bad. 
And so I couldn't stay asleep really long. But it's okay. So, um, today's Monday. I'm gonna take it easy today. I'm just gonna just try to get rested up. Nothing else I can do. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you so much. What's crazy, Nook? Why? Mm -hmm. You seemed fine. When you say seemed, you mean like past tense? Like when? As in I seemed or as of right now? Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. No, it's not military related. At least I don't, I highly doubt it is. I didn't have any stressors having to do with anything in the military. I didn't have any intrusive thoughts of anything in the military. No, it was something very different. I was having this feeling that like something was going to happen. Like I was going to, I was in trouble with someone and I was gonna be yelled at and this and that and I just had overwhelming anxiety. I just kept waking up thinking like it was gonna happen. I don't know where that's well but <clears throat> Okay, what we gonna do? Oh yeah, we need to pick out a song. Hey, hey John. Happy birthday, Kitty. No, I don't regret going to the military. I love the military. Happy birthday, little kitty. Um, the entity on the wall was actually looking f at his cell phone while he watched me. I know it's on. This entity on the wall? What? I don't understand, Debbie. What happened? This entity on the wall. don't understand what that means. Uh, De Debbie, can you can you explain what that means? I just don't know what it means. Thank you, Tabitha. I, and is there anybody that understands what that means can explain it to me? They came in from a vortex, a swimming vortex, and they circle up and up and they came so. See comments, so uh, I'm, I'm saying it. Um, um, okay, so it's not me, just me. Okay, then I feel much better that um. Okay, okay. No, I think I understand it now. It, as long as it was that no one else clearly got it, that I think I understand it. Hmm. In, uh, creatures, interdimensional creatures, um, existing in a different plane of reality or intrusive into, um, where they lived. That's, that's what I'm hearing. Or no. Hmm. Okay. Um, yes, I do. I'm Catholic, but I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get hashed in over and over with certain things. If uh, thank you for liking my nose. Yes, I'm transgender. You're a Jewish science expert. I don't understand how I'm a Jewish science expert. I. That's the first I'm hearing of that. Um, there's no need for emoji to be spam. I mean, yeah, again. That is something that, remember, you will get muted for, for spamming. That's never not been a rule. Thank you, Sacred Earth. Um, you. Sorry if I miss a comment. Please help me out today and let, let me know if there's one I'm missing. Um, okay. Okay, 
let's get a song. Anyone from the UK, what's a good song for for doing with today? Hey, Smoking Girls. Hey, Florida. You look smart as, what does that mean? Hmm, I don't know what that, what do you mean? I don't know if that's kindness or insulting. The Beatles, okay. See, chances are that if I do a Beatles, they're gonna get muted pretty quick because once you start doing over a certain amount of um, views to the day, they don't, they, they block your licensed music through them. So I have so many of my stuff muted. Um, okay. I'm not a boy or a girl. It's interesting on YouTube, so many people use those, those words. I remember watching one of your lives quite a while back now, and it's such an inspiration for my friend. I'm not typically a fan, but I do support just letting you know. Um, oh, thank you so much, me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, you ain't a real vet. A real vet don't support. Wow. Wow. Actually, a real veteran does. A real veteran supports things even when it's not something they like, especially when it's something hard to, to like. Um, we, we don't choose what we defend and what we don't. But no, please don't insult people in the military by saying something so ridiculous. Thank you. Elton John. That's, see, those are all the ones that they have on their main commercial list where that I know I'll get muted pretty quick. But. Hey, hey, lady. Oh, love the shirt. Thank you. I didn't know if you were giving me a song. Uh, watching you from work. How's work on? Um, what's this? Um, good afternoon. Hello. Better oil up. Why, why do I oil up? Oh, come on. That's fine, Mark. Um, why did they pick me? Um, so, no, they're out there. I know they're out there. Like, I picked you because you can see them. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Nishka the Puppet. An ambulance? <laughs> I mean, that you see how there might be a problem with that. That's not, um, that's in no way, shape, or form uh, part of being a human. And you know if you put diesel in, in you, it's not, it's, it's not gonna go over very well. You need to eat regular food even if you think you're an ambulance. What's this one? What's going on? Ah, oh, she does just for work. This is, is work, yeah. Thank you, Lauren. Mm, that dollhouse? Okay. Let me put that one in. Is that, is that British?
Yeah, we're gonna see how everything goes this afternoon. It might involve me getting ready, doing some stuff, then maybe a quick nap, then going on. Oh, that's not working. Such after today because I'm starting. Oh no, we, we can always see the lives later. Um, for every single, how's your day? It's going okay. Um, tell me how I can do with an ambulance. I, I told you that it's not going to work very well because that's not an actual human. Um, thank you, Smoking Ghost. Let me go get... So exhausted. UK famous song. UK. What about Spice Girls? I haven't heard Spice Girls in a really long time. That would be like a throwback. They're not going to be taken down. Uh, what is that? Do people like to take pictures with? In Vietnam, they really did. Yeah. Some places they. They do. Usually what happens is nobody says anything, no one says anything, then they ask me. And I'm always like, of course. Because there's um, foreigners that will, what do they call it? Beg packing? Beg packing? Where they travel and they beg. And they charge for stuff like that. They charge for you to look at their pictures, which people get a lot of controversy in developing countries that don't have a lot and people are doing that. But anyways, I digress. Once they knew I wasn't charging, yeah, I get like a big line sometimes. And they didn't know who I was. It was just, they saw somebody else doing it. So they wanted to make sure they didn't miss out. She never tells me neither. What do you want to know? Is there something I'm not saying? Oh, there, I miss these top ones. I really like your video, but you never say hi. Hi, well, how, in what what ways are people meaning I say, I don't say hi because I want to make sure I try and do it. Um, do people mean they're they're sending me a comment and I'm ignoring it? What what is ha what's happening so I can try and improve what I'm doing? Thank you, Vanilla. Hey, Virginia. Um, I'm trying to read your comments, but remember, I keep telling people I need you guys to have the um, asterisks. Or I, my brain's not going to see them. And I can't, when I flip through to try and find what, where the questions were, I don't see anyone's. Should humans have any rights based on sex, not gender? They do. They do. And they're punished for their sex as well. Some. That is already absolutely the, the case in some places. So... I would say, yeah, they should. Hmm? What's, what's OBV a man like? Well, where, where would some situations be where it would be a, inducive to just have females? I mean, you're, you're asking me and I, not the ones that, we're get, that we'd be asking the place for, so. I think you'd have to ask females that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Keep keep in mind though, you need to, you uh that does mean you'd be they okay with transgender men being in that space, correct? Hmm. What military were you in? The United States military. What do you mean no? I don't understand. How how would you not be okay with transgender men being there? You do realize I wouldn't be there if it was a female, female by sex, like not female by gender identity, but female by sex. Transgender men could be there, right? Please stop what? Um, 
all females do have access to women's space. What he was asking, what they were asking is, should there be a, a situation where there would be a space solely for a sex? I mean, it, <clears throat> there is an unfair burden on females in this country because they are unfairly legislated against more than males. So I think it's a legitimate question to discuss. Hmm? Oh, I know that. I, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to. I was. I was just saying. Like I think they have a right to discuss it. Okay, let's see. Let's get this. Oh, Trish, um, do you have your? Do, where did you get? Where did you? Are you asking me where I got my earrings? Someone got them and sent them to me. I died by. Um, um, not to be rude, but you kind of look like Mrs. Like right now, does this really look like Mrs. Doubtfires or does I look like Robin Williams? Because I highly doubt this look is the Mrs. Rob, the Mrs. Doubtfire look. Mm -hmm. I don't like, well, you have a lowercase G, so I don't know what God you're worshiping. My God, it has a capital G. Um, have you thought about laser hair removal? Yes, I definitely have. I'm a, um, it's it's one of those really long, drawn-out processes to go through the VA. I haven't even gotten past the first, the second phase with them. First was just like um, counseling, and then six months ago I took a low dose of astrodial. Let's let's what what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you dress it? No, I I dress it. How, how do girls dress? Like I'm so confused when I keep hearing people use words I'm used to being associated with children. Mm -hmm. Yes, they they do, but it takes a while. Um, remember that there's a there's a there's a lot of things that the VA pays for. There's a lot more expensive that is. There's a very high percentage of um, the tra of the transgender community that has served in the military. Thank you so much, Dahlia. Thank you. One third of male birth transgender women have served. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Laura. Oh, I'm seeing them. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you, Stars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Starasi. Am I saying that right? Let's see what's over here. Did I miss anything? Um, bet he got small YK. What I mean? What does YK mean? Let me see. Um, all trans people are music. No, I'm, some of them aren't very music. Some of them are pretty lame. Just like anybody. That There's not going to always be awesome people. Some are just boring. Just like in the real world. Mm, thank you. Uh, I'm glad your Wi-Fi, well, no, my Wi-Fi isn't working yet. I get a fixed Thursday. I have a, what's it called? A hot spot off of one of the, the towers. <sighs> Thank you so much. What is going on with this phone? This phone's malfunctioning. Thank you, Laura E. Do you really, really, you think I look well rested? 
Are you guys being for real on that one? I don't feel it. <laughs> oh. Why is there no sound? Thank you. Thank you, Nanette. <gasps> Thank you, Nanette. I do? Okay, good. So it's sped up one. Mm. Okay. Mm. And now I'm going to put on some potty primer. Yep, I was up late last night, but I slept in today. I have a lot of things on my... <gasps> thank you, thank you so much. Where did it come from? Why can't I see it? Why can't I see? Thank you, Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you, Queen of Fairies. Thank you, everybody. How we, I'm sorry if I missed over here. What's going on over here? What should the legal definition of theirs? I don't understand what you mean. <gasps> Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Kim. Shh. Here, here, here's the thing where I would... If, if you really want to get traction with what I think you're trying to argue. Um... Stop trying so much to do anything with the gender of a woman. You were on the right track before. If you really want separation, I don't agree with it, but I, it, this is what you want. I would concentrate more on making um, definition for female, which would be a lot easier to do than to try and come up with something that's a social science. And then once you have that defined, then you could go about um, having different places based on sex. But I don't see it going anywhere when you do it on gender identity. Mm -hmm. Um, so you want to change the world? Sweet gender, did you hear what I just said to them? They are taking a position completely against what I want and I told them what would probably give them the best luck on it. I wasn't trying to change anything. I was telling them which which way to go. If <clears throat> what I was saying is gender is going to change from place to place from time to time. So it's going to be very difficult if that's what you're going to use. If you're going to use gender identity. Sex on the other hand that's something that's, that's a hard science. That's is something that 
you could have a very clear and concrete definition for. And um, they already opened the door in this country by having legislation that unfairly targets females. So it's, even though I don't want it to happen, they have a reasonable, um, like, it makes sense to question it the way you are. That's, that's all I'm saying. I don't know how to put it. Uh, those are gender identities. Uh, dude, you're on ketamine. <laughs> why is that? Why, why one of those? Those are all very different ones. One, okay, you know, used during the Civil War for um, anesthesia. Fent the worst of the worst of the opiates because of how long it lasts in you and the other one the, the chemical man-made super hyper stimulant why my chance i don't know um why is there life on earth who am i bothering d i don't know any guys i'm bothering let's see this generation what generation would that be you, can you do the dinosaur being born? <gasps> yes, was it? <laughs> um, be real, don't be fake. What does that mean, be real, don't be fake? I don't even know what that means. What do you think I fake? Are you telling me when, when there's really annoying people, I need to stop? having restraint. I, I have to be a fake person a lot because of how many idiots I'm surrounded by sometimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. What happened to my thing? The freak is going on with my phone. Wow, that was weird. Let's see. I don't believe in trans, but, well, I mean, I don't understand what that even means. It's like somebody saying, I don't believe in gravity, or I don't believe, I don't like China, so I don't believe China exists. I don't understand what do you mean by that? Mm, um, my putty primer. Mm. Mm -hmm. The heck happened to Sonra? Oh, that's not. There we go. There we go. What is going on? Why is this being so ridiculous today? What is my real, I don't understand what that means. My sex is male. I've said that all, always. Um, We don't believe you're doing well again so what you're saying is that you choose not to believe something that is not listed in the dsm-5 as a uh, delusion you are picking something because let's face it you don't want the alternative of being stigmatized with being hateful so you've rationalized in your head by saying it's not real which is what people have done throughout history to dehumanize people that they didn't like. We, we've done it with, with race, we've done it with color, we've done it with religion, and you're choosing to do it with gender. It's, you, you're straight up saying something that is, that is real, that is, well, is, is pretty well established that it at least exists, is backed by the powers that be, and you're, you're just saying it's a delusion. Like, I mean, 
anyone from from country like India or New Zealand would be like, wow, you, you're claiming our people are delusional because it's very it's they have more than two two genders. I, I wouldn't be a transgender woman in India if I was born there. I would have been considered the third gender, and I forget the name for it. Hmm. Hmm. What are your earrings? I don't know what that means. They're, I don't understand. They're earrings. Thank you. Uh, why? <laughs> I have makeup on, silly guys. Sillies, sillies, come down, come down. Mm, can you show us your tail? What does that mean, my tail? I'm confused. Mm, live confidently. Thank you. Um, wash your dance. What's wash my dance? Cute, like what? Uh, what's going on up here? Uh, uh. <laughs> no, it's my elf putty putty primer. I'll be working my husband. Oh, awesome! Oh, thank you so much, Trish. Thank you, Trish. Thank you so much, Vicky. Oh, thank you, Trish. Thank you so much, Trish. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ashley. Hey, everybody. Uh, what happens? Um, rainy lane, not too many, so they're booty boo. I have gauges. Mm -hmm. What's this over here? Live confident, live free. Thank you. Um, um, I'd like to ask you, are you, are you a hobby or something, um, Elda? I mean, you don't seem like a typical, um, she, are you Sunni? Cause I mean, that's the more, the one that I end up getting the more hate from. Like what, 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 uh, what sect of Islam do you practice? If you don't mind me asking. Um, okay, well, see, here's the thing, why, why do you think, what I don't understand is why we're having a discussion when, these, these are a state rights thing, and it's very apparent that we are going to have very different opinions across the country. So, you, southern states have never liked that the northern states could influence what their laws were. State rights is something that, in general, the side that it has such an issue with the bathrooms um, supports state rights. So why are you trying to infringe on Oregon's state rights? We unanimously have a, a di very different idea than some of you on gender identity and gender expression. Why do you want to change what we believe when we're willing to let you legislate how you want to in your state. Why do you feel that this needs to be a f at a federal level? Mm -hmm. People could vote for, but, um, how, okay, I wanna know, how does that even play into this? How, how does something that ridiculous compare to what we're talking about? See, because some of you have no idea what it's like to be anything but who you are, you're making all sorts of assumptions about other people. You're making the assumption that this is just something made up, that this is just like la di da -di, and so it's okay to dehumanize me and treat me as if I'm, a, I'm like a wackadoo. I mean, it makes it so much easier for this hate, and it, I mean, it is hate when you are telling me everything I've ever been felt and believed is in your head just nonsense. That's hate. Um, what do you mean turned into? This is how it's been. Um, <laughs> for, for so many years, nobody noticed what was anything about the bathrooms. It wasn't until, as governments do when they're on the fringe of losing power, 
they decide who's the new boogeyman we're gonna come up with. We need a new effing boogeyman. And they decided to make it the trans community. A small fringe minority, marginalized, that can't fight back and makes up such a small percentage of the population. It sounds like a great target. And what gets me is you, a lot of people are hypocritical. They use one argument for the second amendment and then they use something completely different for bathrooms. And I'll agree with the argument they make for the second. I hear that legislating the second amendment is just going to take it out of the hands of law abiding citizens. Criminals are gonna break the law anyways, correct? We've heard that before. But then when it comes to bathrooms, a sick pervert like wackadoo that's willing to commit mass felonies is all of a sudden gonna stop at the door and go, oh, I'm not allowed in there. I am not gonna go do those heinous crimes I was about to do. Do you not see how ridiculous that is to have that? So it's really just based in a hateful fear the same way segregation was. Same arguments were made um, for not mixing races. And now the same argument is being made to separate the same gender based on sex. I'm 45. Uh, yeah. Fertility in your voice. What fertility? What do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm, I'm a male, but you're using a social science vocabulary word on me that you, whatever part of the country you're coming from couldn't possibly describe who I am here. It's frustrating when it's the same thing over and over again. It's the same people that think they have like an I got, I got your moment and it's always they're, they're bringing up a gender. It's like, oh my goodness. <laughs> And you, and you host one, why would I want to go in the bathroom with your daughter? What, what the heck are you sending her into a public bathroom by herself for? Like, and now you're proving my point of just hatefulness. You, why the heck would I be in a bathroom with your freaking daughter? That's what I don't get. Listen, don't come to... Don't come to Portland then, because you're going to be freaked out when you see urinals in the women's bathroom. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, I mean, if you were blocked on the other one, the other one has like zero tolerance for anything. You could have maybe got blocked for your username. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I look amazing to you. That's okay. Get help for what? Let's see, what are we going to put on? <laughs> the orange. The orange, please. No, no, it's, it, it's, uh, <laughs> I'm just so glad I don't deal with this type of ignorance once I walk out of my door. <laughs> I don't know what part of the country some of you are from, but I'm, I'm so glad it's not the reality of where I live. <sighs> yeah, like I said, it could have been just for your username. Thank you. You hit the, why, why do you say that? I know why you say that, but because you're going to say whatever you possibly can. I don't really care at this point. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm exhausted. I'm tired. <sighs> People can't tell Let me see. Um, poof and you are gone. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I don't deal with that here, Taylor. I'm so glad. Yeah, let's see. Oh, thank you for all the love. Oh, I'm getting all the loves. Or is it that I'm a lesbian? One of the two. My pronouns are she, her, they, them. Uh, oh, I'm just putting on makeup. 
Um, my pronouns are he and her. Okay. Did you go to grammar school? Um, did you? When people start doing these things, it, remember, pronouns are just grammar. It's just how to use grammar. We didn't reinvent the English language with uh, pronouns. It's, <laughs> it's the same as it's always been since the uh, Saxons invaded the Anglins and we had a whole new form of English. Uh, it's time to drink water. Yeah, it probably is time to drink water. Let me go get some. What's going on in here? Cry about what? What are we crying about? Um, here, here's the thing. Um, I went to bat for some of you guys yesterday. This is one of the few places where you get to actually have a real discussion. And when you're just gonna um, do some of the nonsense, you know, you're just not even gonna be here anymore. If you're just going to leave, who's gonna, oh, thank you, guys. Uh, oh, well. Billy, do you, do you realize what you're doing? You're insulting the English language. You're taking words and using them wrong. In Portland, and in, in actually the federal government also gives the definition to this. A lot of you are going against how the words are used in the higher education, how the words are used in the general public, how words are used by our government, how words are used in the medical profession, and you then making telling me that i am the one that's delusional um i was five years old um, yes i'm catholic i believe in god no i'm not muslim mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, it wasn't going, so I missed a lot of the comments. I'm sorry. Thank you, Ash. Did I miss anything in the comments? Happy Monday, Patrick. Sorry, all the comments went without me seeing them. Thank you, Ash. Oh, hey, Ash. Oh, I mean, things awesome. What kind of foundation? I use Dermacal, but I'm not there yet. I'm using my color corrector. I'm looking happy. Well, yeah, I'm. Thank you, one number one Grammy. Grandma, Grammy. Um, I'm being myself. They, them is plural and singular. You pay attention in grammar school. Um, it's used all the time. Hey, John was just here. Where the heck did they go? I don't know where they are. They were just here and now I can't find them. Or, uh, where'd your sister go? Where are they? Tell me where they are right now. You've never heard these used like this? I, I mean, I'll grant that maybe there's some colloquialisms in different parts of our country that don't use them, but they've always, they've been singular and um, plural, plural and singular. Sing, <laughs> yeah. Um, what is with all these people that are absolutely fascinated with narcotics? Like, I, I ask if you're gonna be active in your addiction that you please take it elsewhere. This is a place of recovery. Do your comments bother you? No, well, the ones where you're openly talking about your usage, yeah, those do. Um, I feel if the, this should be a place where people don't have to hear about that part. Especially from the people that I'm always hearing, the kids, the kids, and here you are openly talking about your narcotics use. Hmm. Where is John? Where did he go? What do you mean, where is John? Do you mean Harvard John? Mm, what about Pepsi? I know I know what you mean when you say Pepsi. Mm, how many genders are there? That's not a question that can be answered. It, it depends on what, how many the society recognizes. 
I mean, have you, have you, a lot of you didn't take the time to just listen to what I was saying. If you're making up the majority of your society, whatever you say it is, is what it's going to be for gender. Minus, I mean, you're going to have um, certain ideas reinforced by if the government backs it, if there's laws that support it, if there's religion that supports it. So it, it all depends. Okay, where you are, maybe that's the case. I mean, but right off the bat, by not identifying as either gender, you can already see there is a third. If you're gonna have a binary system, then there's already three. What happened? Well, no, I don't mind. Mrs. Doubtfire, I get a lot, and it's more I'm Robin Williams, so I'm okay with that. It's not gonna bother. You do, okay, female is not a gender, it's a sex. Okay, we're just going to go over here and we're not going to um, engage with real kids. Oops. Mm -hmm. What was that? Um, why sweet person? I've grown my hair out and it's too much of a pain in the ass and it's far too hot. I have very thick hair and traveling with thick hair is a nightmare. It's so hot in some of these places I like to go to, so no. Thank you, Rhonda. Thank you, Christina. Hmm? How am I doing? How am I doing? Let's see what this is say. I don't, I'm not, I don't do, do drag, but um, thank you. I, I still look just as good. Um, well, I mean, are you proud that you have such a backwards um, country to um, go against the creator's creations? I mean, I'm happy that I live in a free, tolerant, secular nation that does not penalize or criminalize any of God's creations. It's a shame that in a country that pretends to be so religious is actually going against God. Thank you, Angel. Thank you, Christina. Thank you, Jolanda. Yeah, they're, they're, they are. They're an absolute hypocrite. They're not bull. They're trying to. In order to bully someone, it ha they have to feel bullied. I. <laughs> they're a long way from even getting close. The thing, the things there's, 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 there were people yesterday that were having real conversations. <gasps> Thank you, Barb. <laughs> Thank you. They were having real conversations yesterday, and they were making real points. When people come on here and they right off the bat are using words that only they believe and they have no nowhere to point to that, that backs up them using them. It's like, that's not, that's not an argument. Hmm? I, I recognize them when, <clears throat> when, when I'm taught, I always throw in somewhere in it that there are the, the, the two main sexes that we're used to that make up the majority are our XX and our XY. There's still six more alignments that there, there could be. And it's as common as seeing a redhead. Because people are like, oh, that's so rare, that's so rare. Statistically, it's the same as redheads. And we've all seen redheads. So we've all seen intersex people. Mm. Notice, um, any... Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Ash. Thank Under my eye? Yeah, I haven't gotten to it yet. Here's the thing. Once there's anything that's different from what people know, they're gonna you're gonna run into some hate. How did okay, Roman, you do understand intersex exists based on actual genetics. To deny genetic science, do you do you realize how ignorant you sound when you say something like that? To say 
biology doesn't exist. I, I just I just want to make sure we're on the same page. When we're talking about intersex, we're talking about like X X Y. Is is that what we're talking about? I just don't want to be arguing one point and find out we're not talking about the same thing. Thank you. Yes, I'm trans. Thank you. Um, what do you think a of bald people? I I don't understand. I'm still confused. That has to do with genders. What what has to do with genders? There's sex and there's there's gender. There. I need I need to know where you want me to start from. Do you understand that um, when it comes to biology and sex that um how you know how babies are made where you take a set of chromosomes from one parent combine them with the others if you're xx you're going to be a female and if you're xy you're going to be a male but it doesn't always go like that 99 percent of the time it does that's what i'm talking about for intersex um have you ever considered no i am lebano i am male it's my gender that transitioned across gender lines, not my sex, not my body, my anatomy is uh, what it is. Mm -hmm. um, I see you're saying that, Richard, but you don't have government to back you on that. You don't have hospitals to back you on that. You don't have elementary biology books to back you on that. You are choosing that definition purely on your own. There, you, you're not going to be able to go somewhere that has any authority and tell you that you, that's correct. You, if you taught someone to do that and they went to school, they'd be marked wrong. If you went back to school and, and that was your hypothesis, your proposal for a paper, you'd fail. So I, it's not something I'm going to argue with people about. It's what the words are used for now. You're getting into semantics because you don't like that the words have changed over, over the years. Lots of words have changed in the English language, and those are some of the ones that have changed. Am I sure? Yes, I am sure. I am very sure that at a federal level, they don't even say, listen to how they word things now. They will say people on their period. People that get pregnant. Because both men and women can get pregnant now. If you're gonna use the gender, both men and women can get pregnant. Males can't get pregnant, but if you're gonna use a gender identity, that changes things. Um, yes, they can, Crystal. Males cannot get pregnant, men can. The government acknowledges this, hospitals acknowledge this, this, this is not, something that is very hard um, for some people to comprehend. If it's the first you're hearing of it, it might be a little at first. Um, make America great again. Okay, that's right. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you. Thank you, Moop. Yes. So correct in that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Again, you don't get to speak for God. Do you realize what you're doing? You as a human with this infinitely small comprehension set, because we're human, is trying to speak for the most powerful being in existence. Why? Why do you even try and do that? Thank you for subscribing. Your identity does not change your biology. You're correct, it doesn't. But again, my biology doesn't dictate my gender. So I don't know what you're trying to say. <gasps> Thank you, zombie doll. Thank you, zombie doll. Yeah, no, Patrick, that's what we're talking that's what we're talking about here. And they're just not acknowledging it. Ah, oh, there's a wonderful thing called the scrolling. Yep. 
no offense in time, just learning. You know, I have no problem with questions. It, it's, I just, it gets sometimes frustrating when people come from a position of, this is def, definite, definite this. Uh, have you been able to, have you been to, yeah, I'm in therapy. I'm a, I'm a combat veteran in a veterans program, so yes. Um, yes, I have a therapist who went to Harvard for um, transgender studies. He also, um, substance abuse, PTSD, yeah, he's, he's extremely well-educated and incredibly good therapist. I've had multiple therapists since coming back from Afghanistan injured, and he's a really good one. Yes, I'm Irish. I didn't, li listen, I, people don't have to say this or that about being rude. I can tell if you're asking a legitimate question, a real question, I'm, I know you're not being rude. Maybe it's your biology, but your genitals do determine. No, they don't. I'm sorry, they, that's not backed up anymore by the government either. Did it used to mean that? Yeah, it did, but words have changed, meanings have changed, it's not the case anymore. And it's definitely, Definitely, definitely not the case here in Portland. You, it would not be um, very strange if for some people that were like, you know, blow some people's minds to have someone be like, oh yeah, no, no, my girlfriend has a penis. Yep, my girlfriend has a penis. That would blow some people's minds. That's, is what it is here. And they are, they, they still, Get seen and are dated as a woman. No one is seeing that if a, as it being gay, if it was a straight man with a trans woman, they still see, that's just being straight. But ideas like that aren't everywhere. Um, who cares what people say you are? Oh, thank you. Thank you, music and chat. What do you, no. Do you know whether you can need to be born in the boy house? I don't know. Do you? Weren't they sued over that and they ended up letting girls in? See, you're asking a different question. Those were actual girls identifying as girls that wanted to go into the Boy Scouts. Under federal law, if they were, oh wait, no, I think because they're public and they don't take government funding, they don't. Oh, don't spin again, you do not speak. I don't speak for God. I have not claimed to speak for God. Oh, you're talking to them probably. Mm -hmm. yeah. <gasps> Is Dahlia about help? Hey, Dahlia. Um, what is you? Who are we talking to about gender? You asking me? Mm. Bro, you are a wow. How old are you? Where you think I'm a fifty-year-old man? <laughs> um, you two realize that right off the bat, the majority of males that reach my ed, my age don't get to keep their nice blonde hair. Um, what else do I have? That you love? Um, <laughs> I, mu I must have hit a sore spot on you to be as good looking as I am up here. You, you do, you've got to realize sometimes when I hear certain things, it doesn't shake me. It makes me feel bad for how shaken whoever said it is. Mm-hmm. What's how's your day? It's I don't know how it is. It's I feel weird from how I rested. I don't know how to explain it. Mm. Uh, my pronouns are she, her, they, them. Yes, it's color corrector. Yes, what's the question, Evil Jay? Oh, it just doesn't matter what you're doing. Either. Yes, thank you, Warp. And the Pope has put out a decree that um, people that, that are transgender are a lot welcome in the church. Do I want to make ice cream cake? 
not off the top of my head, but I'm, I, I think I could figure it out. Do you, I mean, yes, I have testicles and a penis. Again, some of you, I guess, don't understand what it means when I say I'm male. I mean, you keep asking these things that if you know any type of biology or you're a male yourself, you should know what my body has. It, it's, some of these questions are just like, oh my goodness. Am I Mexican? No. I'm Irish. I'm, um, what else am I? Dutch. German, Polish, Mohawk, French, French Mohawk, St. Regis Valley. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll figure out how to make ice cream cake. I feel, I, I mean, I know the ones that they make at Carvel, the way they make it is they make it in the, they have like a whole room that's a freezer and then they just put it together already in the cold. Let's see what these questions are. Um, why are there so many deviants in your community? Deviants? I, in my community? What, what does that mean? You mean Portland? Um, cause I know if, if you're talking about the LGBT community, that's a identifier. So you're telling me that most my community that I'm in, that's my heaviest identifier is veteran. So what you're saying is that there's a lot of deviance in, our, in the veteran community? Hmm? Because you know, nowhere did you ask what my community was. You just made an assumption. And that's also not true. Statistically, it's going to be a person in position of power and they're gonna be cisgendered they're going to be male and they're going to be Caucasian that are doing the most heinous of crimes. When did you move here? I, I, re I retired out of um, Cleaver Armory in 2014 and I came back here in April of last year. What is it? Um, I guess it's just not for me. A lot of people like them. Like what? What are we talking about? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try to, yep. Um, I have a psychiatrist crazy. Um, I'd like to know what your degree is in where you're practicing medicine. Ooh, I know, I wanna make ice cream cake. Now I'm hungry for it. Huckleberry Mud. Ooh, that sounds really good, too. Oh, that sounds good, Patrick. That sounds so good. Um, don't put yourself in a separate box. You know, What boxes do you think I put myself in? I'm, I'm confused. I don't put myself in boxes. People put me in boxes. Um, there's going to be identifiers in, in our language that people used to help express to others where they where they find themselves in our community can you wear the new blonde one? yeah maybe let me get there um what's this say uh it's color corrected what accounts do you answer I'll, anything that has an asterisk i try and get to there's really just i only have youtube and the two tiktoks that's all i've got i don't i don't know what happened here my data turned off or something. Go. I'm getting dizzy with your shirt reading. Oh, shoot. Let me see what I can do. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see, what can I put on for now? Can I do this? Would this do anything? Would this make it any better or is this worse because of the color? What do I do with my color crap? Mm. Hmm? Uh-huh. What's this? I'm um, dang, a lot of folks here 
I was the young person so I'm in a good Um, salted, and which side of that are you taking? I'm meaning you're perfectly fine and you're being assisted, being, what do you mean I'm being assisted for no reason? I, I take um, MAT because um, I do need that assistance. Hmm? Thank you. How do I come out to my parents? Tasha, th this is what I've said when I get asked that. Um, anyone that has to ask because they, they know it's not gonna go over um is easy <laughs> easy it's gonna go very hard and difficult i don't know i don't know i don't i didn't have a good story for mine i lost um i ended up losing all my family in it it's i would i would tell you to make sure there's a, a couple things depending depending on how reliant you are on your parents um people need to remember is this something i'm going to not have a safe place anymore um i know because i i know people that when they came out they got they got thrown out of their house which is just horrible um it's not the answer people probably want to hear and i know it's super hard but the, more, the, the better you can protect yourself, the more stable you're gonna be, the better it's gonna be for your transition. If you're going up against the whole world, it's, it, it could be very overwhelming very quickly. A lot of, there, when, of the people that do de transition, it's not because they feel they weren't transgender. There, that is a, a part of the numbers, but most of the numbers are they couldn't some couldn't get work some because of the stress on family some because of stress with partners they were already with but on the flip side i know how absolutely horrible it is to have to live that lie it's it's a situation where we get where we see other people that get to live in that perfect world and I don't literally mean perfect. I just mean the fairer world where life is fair. And then we get stuck in the one where we know it's not gonna be fair. And we just have to be like, yeah, that's how life is gonna be. It's... Especially yesterday, I don't know when people were here when they, there was a group of people that were very serious about saying that the transgender community has it the easiest. No, I don't. I don't have it the hardest, but it's not the easiest. And it, it was Caucasian males that had it the most difficult. See, hearing things like that, it's like, oh, really? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for smoking, guys. Wow. Well, uh, you look tired. I am tired. I'm a bit tired, but I'm also not. Like I got rest, but I also got. A lot of anxiety and stress. Hmm. And I'm I'm get the powder. Okay. 
I thought that, I mean, I thought that was Donald Trump that was running. I didn't, I mean, I know some people might see a clown, but I thought you were talking about, I know, I'm confused as to what you were talking about with uh, the user with the Donald Trump profile picture that had a clown with a question mark. Maybe it was just the lighting in their picture. Um, it's just a freaking tiger. What the fuck just, just disappear every damn day? Every damn day something disappears. It's my main powder. I have two of them. Why the heck does it disappear? This wasn't here a second ago. It just appeared out of nowhere. Hmm. I have all the makeup organized inside of the drawer. It's highly organized. I have an issue where I can't see the items I'm looking for. So it was right in front of me the whole time, but I can't see it because it's the item I'm looking for. And there lies the dilemma. How do you find things that you can't see if you're looking for them? Hmm? I, I, I don't remember what you said, Victoria. <laughs> I have a TV. I can't remember <laughs> things like that. Um, when people come on and spam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't understand why people want to spam. I mean, if you do that, don't then ask what happened. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if the, if the people that do that are used to people that are... that or easily change their minds. I mean, a spamming is not gonna have me be like, oh, oh yeah, oh. But you know what, you know what's very ironic? Most of my life I was, I was uh, made to feel like less than and I didn't, people refused to call me man. They called me woman to insult me. <laughs> and now that I'm secure with that identity, I'm being called man all of a sudden. <laughs> it, it's very ironic. It's very, very ironic that I, for so many years, it was different. Okay. Mm, some of these trolls in the mood. <laughs> yeah. I know that's hard though. Uh, you're literally fine. Fine. 
why you shouldn't have downloaded... Whoa, whoa, Jeff, Jeff, don't tell me I shouldn't have downloaded TikTok. You have no idea how much better my life has gotten in so many ways with my mental health, with my acceptance of so much. Having nothing to do with my gender identity. That I have a separate issues that have nothing... Well, it doesn't have anything to do with my gender identity. Or it might, I don't know. Hmm. This is what mental illness looks like. What? What part? I mean, I have mental health issues, so which part are you talking about? The anxiety? The... The what? Um... Is there one way street wants us to respect the... No, Jared, have you not heard what I said? You, you, you gotta stop lumping me in to other people. You obviously haven't heard me speak. Here, let me do it again. Um, I say that gender is a construct. And by the definition of what a construct is, that means that there's going to be people in other places that have very different ideas from mine. And in those places, the construct for who I am could very well be man. And so if they see me as man and they're using it for how they label things and identify things i am nobody to tell them they're wrong i can when they're speaking with me i can tell them how i identify it's america they get to choose how they speak back i've always said that i i was career military i'm not going to try and censor someone or give up freedoms to have more equality i'm not for having equality at the price of our freedom there's, there's a lot of things that people are just going to have to accept. They can't have everything they want, you know? There's going to be a lot of situations where, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm trans. There's some, this isn't fair, but oh well, this is how it is. I have to acknowledge I'm the minority. I'm not the one that's the majority. So, yeah, I speak very different than a lot of people. And... Keep that in mind before you make a judgment about me. Yeah, because it's color corrector. It's a color corrector. Um, why are you... I don't... See, I don't know. Why, why do you like what you like? Why do you identify how you identify? Why does it make sense for you and you have no issues with calling yourself the gender associated with your birth sex? But I do. I don't know. Did people, did people think I, like, celebrated when I finally came to terms with being um, trans? Do you think that's, like, uh, a moment for people in the military to be like, oh, yeah, this is going to be awesome. Um, number one-third of all male at birth transgender Americans are veterans. That's one-third. So for one-third of us, this wasn't this was something that could risk our career, have our... Um, security clearances pulled and have us lose every single friend we've ever had so it's not something i would choose to have knowing all all the costs if if i could have just been like other people but i'm not i'm i am the way i am and I accept it, and I'm making the best out of it, and I've come to a place in my life where I am proud of who I am, happy with who I am, and love who I am. Mm -hmm. Sorry if I missed some comments. Can you please explain some of the makeup? Why, like, I don't, I don't know if I'm doing any tricks. On, on TikTok, I have two, like, of the actual where I slow down the uh, tutorial and do 10-second increments and say what I'm doing. And if you want to see the actual things I'm using on YouTube, they let me put up the actual items. What I do, f let me see what they're saying. What I do first after I shave, I moisturize. Um, and it's going to be slightly different because the, my skin, the skin of a male, is going to be different than um, female skin. So there's slightly different things. Let me see. The military ain't going to accept. Um, uh, what? 
Were you in the military, um, Red M Plaz? Were you in the military? Like, this is what I don't get. If you didn't serve, why are you telling someone that s served almost their career in it how things are? Like, if I didn't have a different gender identity, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be this disrespectful. You wouldn't be telling me something about who I am is absolutely unacceptable. Like, even if that has been the case throughout our history, what's the point of saying that? So anyways, I use orange. Anywhere you have um, dark circles, dark circles, or um, you're gonna have a five o'clock shadow, the orange corrects it. If you have um, red or blotchy skin, you use the green, the green color corrector. Thank you, Emma. Oh, sorry, I've missed a whole bunch of comments. It wasn't scrolling down. I guess I missed 49, I'm sorry. Would you get married again? Uh, <laughs> I do things I regret all over again all the time. So <laughs> I feel whatever answer I gave you right now would have no bearing on the future anyway, so it's it's a pointless answer to give. Bonjour, ça va bien? Ça va bien aujourd'hui? Um, qu'est-ce que c'est ici? Never mind. Be another statistic if you want. There's a reason so many trans end up ending there. Yes, you know what it is? They don't reach, in my opinion, where I'm at. Um, I have, was at that place where, um, I absolutely had given up. But I also had this, the 22 a day. You have to understand, it's not just my gender identity that's against me. I'm an alcoholic. I'm a drug addict. I'm a combat veteran. All these things increase my risk of unaliving. You, you do get that. Trance is but one small piece of it. I, I have a lot of other things. Mm. Is this Dermacal that I use? Are you in rehab? No. Um, it's a six month integration program where we do, there, there is addiction, there's mental health, and there's PTSD. You don't have respect, you can leave Rome. Uh, that's my fault. Wait, what's my fault? What's my fault? I don't, what is my fault? I don't understand what you're saying is my fault. Can you explain what you mean by that? I loved, I love serving. I love being in the military. I don't know. My favorite wigs? I don't know. I like I, it's. I like them based on what I'm wearing and what outfit they go with. What's the saying? Um, if you ever did get married again, would it be to? How would I know that? Because I'm attracted to women, and by saying that, I don't know what sex they would be. I'd be. I'd be. I feel I would be super hypocritical to make the statement that it could, it would only ever be female women. I can't very well speak of one ideology and then say I'm gonna live by a different one. I, okay, here's my question. When, for the people that claim they're not trying to do hate, you have heard me explain what my pronouns are. You understand that they, them is neutral. So just because you don't see me as that gender, you still have the choice to use a neutral one that is a compromise for both of us, where you're not using the pronouns I go by, and you're also not using the ones that are insulting to me. That's why there's they, them. 
Why is it that it's so hard to do something like that? I feel we would make that accommodation for pretty much everyone else in society that, where it would be that easy. But it seems to be okay to not do it for certain people. Um, so yeah. Cues unanswered. Yep. And I want people to understand you. That's the one that you, I guess, are seeing the brightest on me. I'm. I would hope you would support veterans' rights. You know, I would um, hope you would support if you live in the same state as me. Um, more programs for addiction and recovery. I would hope you would also support the mental health community that we destigmatize that. We do lose 22 veterans a day. A lot of them are worried with the stigma of mental health. Mm -hmm. I'm Catholic. It says very clearly I'm Catholic. I know it should be right in the um com in the what's it called the comments no used to be did they take it down it should be what like right below where, where the description of everything is if you don't want me to do this stop, but I was asked to do it. What? I don't understand what that means. Let me see what that is. Hang on, I'll be right back. Oh, I have no idea. Uh, what is this? Britney Spears. I think you were there. I don't. Mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe it's just not you. Hmm. Let me ask him what you heard. Um, please do something about this. What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. It looks like anything similar to you trying to tell you anything. Okay. What is it about? Um, if it happened between the years of 2014 and 2023, I was living outside of the United States. Sorry, what is going on? Oops. Let's see what's going on over here. No, 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 no. We got some crazy people around. There you are. It's, listen, it's, it's, when there's only a couple of people, it's very, very difficult to get them as, as they're going so fast. And I just want to make sure, like, there's some things, if, 
they're just stating something that you that is ignorant or you don't like. I'm I'm not gonna go correcting every little little thing. I have to allow there to be a, a dis dissenting uh, viewpoint. I'm not gonna have it just be um, voices of people that agree with me. Because um, then it will, I'll reach a point where there's nobody coming in anymore that um, dis disagrees. Because they'll be afraid that they'll just be thrown out. Some, sometimes I, f I feel in order for there to be any type of change in people's minds, there needs to be compromise and there needs to be saying the things you say in places it's not accepted. It, where I'm gonna be told I'm mentally ill, I'm gonna be called a man. But, but remember, spam out, disrespect to the mods out, disrespect to another person in the chat out, hate out, continuously making their whole argument about religion and in a hateful manner out. Like, there's still a line where if they cross it, they're just gone. So, I just, there have been people that have been able to make very articulated um, arguments that are completely against what I believe, but they said it in a manner that is the way I wish more people could descend. I mean, if we, anyone else in here um, served in any, any of the militaries? You remember how many people you were thrown into a unit with that you absolutely couldn't stand? But you got along with them. They probably had extremely different beliefs. I know a lot of different beliefs than I had. Trish, what found you? I used Dermacal. Hmm. Um, how hateful do you have to be to join? No. Well, what I am seeing happen is somewhere along the line, they have convinced themselves they are not hating and they are actually doing something. What's the word? Oh, fudge. I hate having a TBI. Um, noble. And the sad thing is, is that somebody got to them. These are, some of these people are just easily manipulated and easily convinced of these things. It was someone else with an agenda that convinced them that it was okay to view. To, it, once you view me as someone that's just crazy, as someone that just has trauma and it doesn't really exist, it's very easy to not realize the type of hate that's coming out of one's mouth. But what did Mary Shelley say? Um, man does, no man does evil for evil's sake, but rather the, what is it, the happiness they mistake for good. Okay, one, Alex, you don't know what was what. You I, can you even name the 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 woman that came before Eve? Do you know who Gilgamesh is? Do you how is Eve the same stature as Lilith if they're not even the same body type? And I find it hysteric. Like I find it ironic when I bring up Lilith. And I get told, oh, that's just a myth. You're using the creation story on me, telling me that Lilith isn't a valid point because it's a myth. <laughs> In defense of Adam and Eve is... I swear people are... Yeah, I have some of them. Mm -hmm. Who is... You, Lilith was the first woman. Lilith was... um. That was the who Adam was with first, but 
Lilith didn't want to get on her back for Adam. Lilith said she was created by the same dust as Adam, so she was an equal to him, and she wasn't going to take her back for, for any man. He could get on his back if he wanted it. Adam didn't like that. So she got chased out of the garden. And so they would never have a woman that spoke her mind in defiance of a man again. God took an, a rib from Adam and created a more civil and s subservient woman, female, that would be obedient to Adam the way Adam was obedient to God. It's a pretty messed up story. What's wrong, Tweety? What's going on that you don't enjoy it? I mean, speak, speak up. Let me know what it is. If there's something I can change about it. What was it that you enjoyed before that you don't enjoy now? And does any of it have to do with there's different things that go on at different times? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But, wait, wait. It doesn't say that anymore. It doesn't say that she, that was the first woman. If, if you understand the creation stories of um, other major religions, she couldn't be because initially men and women were created as equals from the same from the same dust. And then later in the Bible, it says she was taken from Adam's rib. So it could have been the first woman. Hmm? What's going on? Let me, let me just read. Well, no, I, I mean, everybody has a valid point. I want, I want to hear what it is. I'm not, uh, it used to be enjoyable coming, but okay. But what, what is it specifically that was enjoyable? Uh, and what is it that you don't like? I respect everyone's opinion. I, I don't want people to jump down. Like Tweety's entitled to have their opinion. Thank you, vacuum. Thank you. I mean, no, nobody can tell them that they have to like a certain thing or not like it. Um, in Supernatural, Lilith was portrayed very differently than the myth. Very differently. Thank you so much. Thank you, Heidi. Let me see. The floor is open. Now, I, Tweety, can, and I don't want anyone jumping down on, on Tweety. Tweety, I respect your opinion because it's yours. You, everyone ha gets to have their own unique opinions on what they like and don't like. So there's whatever you say is exactly correct for how you feel. Okay, well, well Tweety, here's the thing. When no one else is speaking up and asking anything else, it just goes to silence. And they end up picking up the floor and saying and asking these things. I would love to have a different topic. I would love for somebody to point in a different direction. Is it, I mean, it's, it's starting to get to me too on certain things. Like I'm gonna make, um, I think a video and also post a posting for people to read because there, there's way too much of the same things. And I'm, I'm reaching a point where there are, there are some things that I can't, I'm not going to be putting so much effort into. It's some things have been decided as they're just going to be this way. And it just gets hashed out every single time. So I agree with you on some things. Okay. Let me get, sorry. Mm. Oh, fudge equals. What am I going to wear today? <sighs> okay. <clears throat> Where's going? Let me try to find my other makeup. How oh, does everything disappear? What the fuck? How 
on the head is this. clothes has disappeared and I just have it right here. I just truly have no idea how the hell it's disappearing every 10 seconds. It's bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. How? How are you not in the drawer? How are you not in that damn drawer? No sense. Just put it in here. What do you see? Is it okay? It's lagging? How bad is it lagging? Too many wigs. <laughs> I've been on here for months. She only has what's going on with me. Um, here's the thing. I want to answer questions. Put an asterisk next to it and I will come to an answer. What's this say yesterday? Um, said the gays ruin rainbows. Yeah, that's just a ridiculous thing to say. Oh, remember one, I have a TBI. Two, I can't decipher between people talking to each other, regular comments, and something I need to look at. I'm not, I haven't even started a contour yet. But, okay. Yeah, but I need asterisks. If, there, if there's not asterisks, like we're in front of your statement, you're not asking me a question you can't expect me to answer. Trish, make a poll for wig to wear. I will, okay, I will. And I'm just gonna pick out the ones I wanna wear and put them all on. Um, I have about 50. Um, yeah, I haven't, I haven't gone to where I even have put in the contouring yet. Okay, so I see, here's the thing, I'm not seeing any asterisks, so I'm assuming there's no questions being asked besides the ones I answered, because there were asterisks. Do you like Twinkies? Okay, um, so how is it that you say you can have their own truth, but you, um, you, I what, what did I do the Bible? Tell me what I did in the Bible? But uh, say that in a secular nation like the United States, we're not a theocracy, that a Bible should not dictate our rules and laws? Would you want Sharia law in the United States? No, I don't want Sharia law. I don't want Judaic law. I don't want Christian law. <clears throat> um, what made you pick the name Trish? It's my birth name feminized. Born Patrick, change it to Patricia. Trish is the nickname for Patricia. 
That's what. So I, I hope you understand that there's a huge difference between when I say people can have their own construct of how they see gender and me stating that I don't want a holy book to dictate our laws. Let me, uh, I mean, because of, let's face it, instead of us having Sri law, we have a form of Christian law now over all females of the land. Females are disproportionately living in a more unequal nation than their male counterparts. They have legislation on them that males don't have to worry about because of re a religion. I will not comment. Tweety, I'm looking to see where your, where your um, asterisks are. Are you okay? I'm not okay, okay. Um, are you in recovery other than TB? Oh yeah, I'm in recovery for addiction, for trauma. Um, let me see. Okay, I'm really, Tweety, I don't see, um, uh, okay, I'm looking right now, Tweety. I don't see anything with um, asterisks next to it. May are you, maybe your things are getting um, censored out? Does anybody see anything from Tweety? Where, where, where it's got asterisks? It says, what kind of makeup look? You I don't know yet. Um, oh, well, then I don't understand. I'm, Tweety, I'm really try I'm trying to um, engage more with you. I don't understand what you're upset about if you, if I didn't ignore any this time, did I? What's going on here? I don't want to, I put away down. <laughs> What's over here? You are making false, ac what, what am I making? British, British. I'm making false accusations based on no evidence. What, what are you talking about, British? Can you tell me what, I have no idea what you're talking about. You need to give me more specifics than that. Um, what are you doing to make believe? And are you are you from the UK? Because remember, we have two very different systems that allow for very different things. You, the UK is a Christian nation. The king is the head of the church. We don't have that in the United States, so it's it's a very different situation. Mm. Stop spending interests into it. I mean, transgender is the label that society, it best fits in this society. I, I, I'm just me. I don't have any idea what that really means. I understand the definition, but it's not like it's something that is extremely meaningful. Um, the way other identifiers are. One is just a label for how I am. You know, I, it's, I was born that way. The other identifiers, that's something I um, put a lot of time and effort into, like being a veteran. Um, I ask questions every day. See, like, sweetie, the one you said right now, I would have missed that. I would have, that wouldn't, that wouldn't have been something I would have been told to read. I mean, I guess I should be clear. Anything people want me to read needs to have asterisks next to it. Yes, Lori? And also, when I'm looking, when I'm looking away, I, sometimes why it takes so long to, to, to get ready because I'm answering all of them. Um, my favorite, I can't do favorites. I don't have favorites of any kind. I really want to be able to answer you better, Tweety. And the other thing I've told people, if they want to bypass all the things and they're not hearing from me, um, if you text to my iCloud um, address, it'll come across my phone and I'll see it. How are you doing at home? Lonely, sad, depressed are the negative ones. I'm also doing... I don't know, this past week, I, it's just been really scary and what, what comes next. <laughs> I used to have um, it all set up because I, I was trying to do certain things for others. Now that I don't have that, I don't know what I'm doing next. Red one? Okay.
hope so too. Um, what will you be cooking? To? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> um, I haven't gotten um shopping yet. Um, and today's. I'm not. I don't go driving when I don't feel completely up to the task. You're very pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I just see. Um, what's this? Why don't you able to? Um, why don't you have being able to give things to others? I, I'm reading something wrong, which is why don't you have being able to give things to others? No, no, no. That wasn't what I meant. Is since. 2018, there was a very, there was a, um, certain things that were the goals of others, um, and I have realized that most of my life I have, um, found myself worth and how I can help reach the goals of others, and I haven't had a whole lot for me, other than trying to get to wherever it was we were trying to get to. I didn't mean I couldn't help others in general. I mean, I gotta stop um, thinking I can fix people, thinking that it's, that's my responsibility. I don't know if you were here yesterday. I understand that I have, I am responsible for the majority of the problems I have right now. Um, it, it's been, <laughs> it felt easier when I was like, no, this, 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 they did this to me. I can't believe this. I feel so betrayed. I feel this, that. And I was blaming other people. But the more I was talking about it here, it hit me. I'm like, the only reason that would happen is because I tolerated it every single time. When you tolerate certain behaviors for years, that's not the other person's fault anymore. That's the person that accepts that type of behavior's fault. That's, that was, that was mine. I learned that. I learned that about myself, and I'm, it's a good thing. Um, move on from bathroom questions. I don't feel I was talking about the bathroom. I was talking about something very real. Um, you know, uh oh, this is just creep on. Mm -hmm. what? Okay. Okay, I won't. I don't know what they're doing. Um, I'm curious if program is paid even though you aren't go who who says I'm not going yet ever? You have to understand, it starts off where you go um, five times a week, the next month you go four times a week, the next month you go three times a week, and so on and so forth. I have less than a month left. I am not going every single day. That's just how the program is. And remember, I, I, when I quote how much they charge, I said per day that I'm there, so. What are you scared of, Mr. Here? Uh, why don't you have being able to give... No, no pooches, I, I... Oh, wait, I'm seeing the same messages over and over again, sorry. Um, do you have any plans to come to me? Yes, well, huh, I definitely do. I don't think it's going to be as soon now that... <laughs> a lot of things have been turned upside down on me. But um, this flag is... What does that mean? Like, you don't like the Union Jack, you don't like the progress flag, that, you know, I mean, I don't, are you against moving towards better equality? Mm -hmm. What's your government name, Patricia? Just seeing if I can see who's outside. Hmm. Plans today? No. I've been re I've been catching up on readings. Hmm. 
twice in time, though, man. We need to start sending Trish positive. No, I'm, I'm, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's, I'm adrift. I don't know what comes next. What's the next move? What's, what do I do? Because I'm at the mercy of my mental health. I, I love it when I feel the positive feelings. But when I get hit with depression, I don't know how to, I don't. All the things I learned how to cope with certain things are out the window if I start hitting that level of depression. I want to say, how do you, uh, I don't, I don't know. Um, Maybe it's the baby skin? Okay, what do I need next? Now I'm gonna do some color correcting. No, not color correcting. What's it called? Um, contouring. Now I'm gonna use white. Uh, monster. Yeah, I, I don't wanna quit cold turkey. That's the second half of the one from yesterday, so. Um, I want to work something out where I can still do that. Yes. The patent land of the free because of the brand. Mm -hmm. Don't let anyone take your sunshine. I won't. Hey, Samantha. How you doing, Samantha? He's like a mom. Darker Dermacal sides. Which one? This one or the Dermacal? If you're not hungry, anyone thinking you broke? Not that. I'm not broken. Please don't say I'm broken. Um, <laughs> right now, I'm going through a situation that any human should be experiencing something different from the norm. If I felt completely normal, I'd either be a psychopath or it meant what I lost didn't didn't have any value. You know, what's really difficult is, I don't know why my mind makes assumptions that the rest of the world is gonna function at a certain level of intellect. Because if, if they did, if they, if they operated and thought about things at half the level that I do, things would go so much easier. Um, it's when some people don't use the most basic of freaking common sense for things. And what like me, me and you might think is like, well, that's like a no, like a no duh. They won't go there.
How am I, Selena, how am I complaining? That what, I mean, how, why can't I complain about that is my question. I can absolutely complain about saying that there are some people that will come and attack me about certain things and it's because they can't use basic common sense. That's pointing something out and I have every right to complain about something I don't like. Why should I have to bottle in something that I don't like at the moment when I could get it out and discuss it and figure out what I can do different so it doesn't bother me as much. Because that's the other thing that started to get real annoying. People would tell me I wasn't allowed to complain. You, do you realize how dangerous it is to tell some people that and when some people start feeling that, oh, I guess. People see me as a complainer. I guess I'm gonna I'm gonna stop saying anything about certain things. That can be very dangerous for some people. <laughs> there are some things, no matter how much you complain, Dave. Certain things are going on. You have every right to if you want to have them stop. <laughs> I know what's going on. Let's see, am I missing any comments? What's this? What comment do you? What's common? I didn't say for everyone else. I said for some other people. And listen, it has nothing to do with the, the gender things we're talking about here. This is it's something very different. It's sometimes there are, um, let's say, what's an example I can give so I don't have to give the actual one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if this one will work. Has anyone ever had a job where they're supervised? No, I don't want to do that one. I put this in two words without using the words. You should talk about what is bothering you complaining. Oh no, I'm I do, but I don't want to um bring certain things up because no matter how I try and bring them up, I end up getting more shit from them. something in my eye. Who's been tranquil? What is going on? I'm getting some really weird messages right now. Okay, I can use this as an example. Um, something like this. Like, my mother exerted narcissistic what what's ita your channel what's that mean ita your channel what's that mean doesn't sound like your therapist is how what how how can you say that um be, because i have very new things that have happened and somehow my therapist isn't helping me are you concerned about how you will cope um when your program let's see yeah of course I am. Of course I am. Um, my mother had some very narcissistic tendencies. And it would be, well, let's say I would go out and she um, turned around the whole narrative of everything and basically would turn me into the worst child ever and everything was something I did. And then those people would call me a narcissist. And that's what would drive me crazy. I'd be like, in my head, I'm like, 
if you even knew what that meant, you would see how this in itself is narcissistic behavior. And by the mere fact that I'm going to just walk away and take the blame on this one, that's not narcissistic behavior. Things like that. Things when people use words that if they actually knew the meaning to the word, they wouldn't be using it. <laughs> Or when people make assumptions about my character and my honesty because they don't like the transgender community. I get lumped into this giant box where somehow I have no integrity and I'm not, and I'm a, not an honest person and I, they think I am all these things that I'm not. That's, that's really like, why do they choose to see just that identity? I would say that having the identity of veteran, especially for between, for anyone that was in those 20 years of complete chaos, that is also a very extreme, extreme identity that has very extreme viewpoints that did very extreme things that I don't know why that one doesn't stick out more. Um, what do you think changed when you hit puberty age? With what? With my mom? With me? With, with who? I mean, in my personal opinion with my mom, what happened was she was very, very hurt by my dad having, um, oh, thank you, Heidi, thank you. By my dad having a vasectomy, then cheating, then leaving her. That destroyed her world as... She was very old school Catholic. She was gonna marry, had as many kids as she could, and she was, could only marry once and that was it. So she took it as this was it. She was never gonna have anyone again and she never did remarry. And then when she saw me as going through puberty and I just found it natural to defend my dad against things that were just not true. And a lot of her anger and hurt, I feel, that she had for him, she took out on me. It's, it's a very hard dilemma to even talk about it, because part of me is always worried people are going to judge my gender identity based on things that happened with my mother. Um, I know, you, no one has to, you don't have to say it in a way. Um, Tom, um, okay, um, Mr. Cheetah Dog, that's the other thing. I don't understand why other people don't respect Catholicism and what Catholic doctrine and what the Pope has said. I, why do I keep getting these messages that I don't, people think I don't believe in Jesus? Um, I don't understand that. Do people know Catholics are Christians? Do people know that um, in Catholicism, the Pope, what he what he says is is supposed to be dogma and law on earth. Um, that's a belief that Catholics have. So the Pope spoke recently on transgender in the, in the Catholic Church and they're making, they're trying to repair and saying that people that are transgender are welcome in the church. There's still acts that are not tolerated in, in, certain, in the Catholic Church, but I don't understand why people think what acts do people think I'm doing that would make my lifestyle one where I couldn't be Catholic anymore or that I didn't believe in God? Hmm? No, I, I'm not stressing over them. I just didn't, was confused on what it is. Where are your pink and white, my pink and white what? Don't know what that means. Mm -hmm. uh, 
it's just another way of them trying to know. Well, I, some of them, I don't know. I don't think they're trying to get to me. I think they really believe some of these things. Now we're gonna go for like a, a little bit of a navy bluish um eyeliner. Mm -hmm. Now I got the sides of my nose now. Um, what do you go by? What do you mean, like Trish? I go by Trish. Is that what you mean, or you mean something else? Love your t-shirt. Yep. We also have uh, this on part of our flag in Hawaii. Mm That's exactly how I feel, T. Brown. Like, there's, that's the other common sense thing people want. What? My name is Trish. My pronouns are she, her, they, them. Where if people would stop and think for a moment of what it actually means to acknowledge an existence of a God. As humans, there's, I don't see how you can have any possible way to comprehend that. And once you accept that, to attribute things like disappointment, like such a simple emotion as if we could ever speak to how God would think about anything, if even think, versus just existing everywhere. And then something as petty as clothing? That's just ridiculous. Super ridiculous. Mm, you're gonna take a, what? I'm gonna um, accept, I, did, what part of I'm Catholic did you just not hear? Or you just purposely, You people can't possibly be that completely ignorant. Okay, let's darken it up now. Oops. I love these. I just happened to get lucky and I found one tutorial once on a computer and found some of my most basic makeup that I still use to this day. Somebody was asking me about Mac. This is the Mac I use. Okay, what's next? Okay. Figure this out, figure this out. This is nice. Sodomy, okay, let's, oh my goodness. Sodomy was graping people. Don't you understand that was the more atrocious of, of the actions? They were violently graping and threatening to grape the angels. 
This wasn't consensual going on, so please use the correct word. And bro, it seems like a lot of people want to leave that part out. And there was far more. That wasn't the reasons Saddam was condemned. They were wicked for other reasons. That was some, just something they happened to be doing also. Are you, are you warning those of us that have kids to stay away from you? Because that's what it seems like. What's going on? Dun, 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 dun. Huh? Rosemary, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Wait, let me see. Trish, you have been stressed over these pages already? You don't have... I'm not stressing, though. Okay, here's something I need people to, to maybe consider. This is not a whole lot of stress compared to very real things on a daily basis I used to be made to feel. I used to be made to feel, okay, let me take that back. Nobody can make me feel anything. I was in situations where I questioned everything about me every day. I couldn't reconcile. how things could change so quickly. How I, and that was, that was way more than anything that I ever get here. This just sometimes gets slightly repetitive, but the positive that I walk away with is, um, I'm so freaking thankful for it. Um, I get so much, so much benefit. Uh, um, please be me. Um, can you not use? Oh, thank you. Okay, you can use them, them, them that way. Um, but here, here's the thing if they want to try and be mean to me, they can go for it. If they cross the line, the mods will kick them. It's I had to deal with a lot worse that really shook things up inside of me that these keyboard warriors are mm -mm, not not doing it let's see what color do i have a dark color over here i can use have a navy blue i could have sworn i just took that Do you go to the VA today? No. This looks like. Ooh, that's dark. That's really freaking dark. I'm gonna have to lighten that up. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it wasn't going again, and so I missed all the questions because it wasn't refreshing. Uh, what will you be done with your club? What day will you be done? I don't know. Sometime in May. Thank, thank you, Queen Lizzie. I'm sorry for all the comments I missed. It wasn't going down. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you so much for the dino. Uh, thank you so much. Um, what age did you know? It wasn't at what age did I know I was trans. It's I didn't even hear trans until I was 42. <gasps> Oh, thank you so much, Tickle Farms. Oh, much love. Go figure your shit out. Um, you can make whatever you do on here, but in the end, you sit alone. Oh, I don't sit alone, though, Tackle. I do not sit alone. I, um, 
I don't. I have, I have a very real community also. Um, it's not a huge amount of people right now, but it's, it's, I at least have some people here in Portland. <gasps> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, I have, I may have, I may have lost, um, things, but it was, it was good. It was good. It was things that I didn't need to keep attachment to. They weren't positive in my life. Going, going to go not feeling, feet not feeling too good today. Um, oh, I hope you feel better, KK. I hope you feel better, sweetie. Hmm. Oh, I wish this would keep going. Mm -mm. We all still, yeah. Thank you, Dahlia. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Doing TikTok lives, tr uh, doing TikTok lives trigger my mania. Any tips on getting over it? Um. What are the most detrimental things that you experience when you're going through your mania that make it um, an experience that you don't like or that you're trying to change? I'm trying to get an idea of what your mania looks like because it sounds different from, from mine. Is it, because um, See, um, they don't, they don't bother, they, it doesn't not get to me. And, uh, let me see, talk of arms. I'm glad you have people at the end of the dynasty ends this way. I don't agree with you choose to, oh, I, I understand. I'm trying to figure out what do people mean when they say my lifestyle, um, because I could not comprehend how s the majority of my lifestyle is so much different from most people. Like, I feel it's really, people do not like how I dress or that I agree with the government for how I use my words. The people, people that say it's my lifestyle, I think it's really how I dress and the fact that my vocabulary is the same as the government's. Um, but there would there would be certain times where there's people now that say they the government doesn't get to define words and then there's other times it, when different things are going on that they use things like well if they were obeying the law that would have happened to them and words aren't law words are not law that's the huge difference would never want there to be laws telling people how they have to think or do. That would be ridiculously dumb. Um, will you please wear a pink and white one? I don't know what that means. What is wear pink and white ones? I don't understand. A wig, wig, okay. We'll, we'll try the different ones out, we'll see how they go. Thank you so much, Azul. Um, no offense, but you're obviously mentally unstable. Oh, well, why does it have to be unstable? I mean, I would, Depends on how unstable you mean it. If you mean in a way where I'm probably gonna have some major ups and downs, yeah, a lot of people would, would be experienced that going through the chain of events I'm going through.
Yeah, and I'm against that. I'm against that, Steve Brown. I don't, I feel it's one thing for a government to use words and be like, and just be using them to define things because you have, to, a government has to use words in order to legislate, write laws, do all the things that they do. But once you start telling people how they have to think, that that's where they've crossed the line. Um, same the same way I don't want it to be a theocracy and going off of a religion, I don't want a government telling people what they have to believe. And this is what I see with the younger generation that I don't think they understand. They don't understand. Whoa, what's going on here? Thank you, thank you, thank you, Texel. You can live home. Wow, thank you, Texel. Thank you, Texel. Um, call yourself whatever you want. But I don't have to follow you want to be called. Right, no, you don't. That's that's the main thing I've said, is you do not have to. You you do, but remember, freedom of speech is between you and your government. Um, uh, that includes all people. Yeah. Um, Right, but my question was, um, that's a very small part of my my lifestyle, and I have always stated that the the free citizen of my country is under no obligation. Who is under obligation is a federal employee. If I'm going to the VA, and let's say I'm in the ER, that person is going to respect how I identify. It's the law. They work for the federal government. That's the places, the institutions where I absolutely would expect it. Because that's different. That's not imposing my ideas on the private citizen. That's me expecting laws that the government has to be obeyed by government workers. Huge difference. Mm -hmm. um, what, I was, what I was getting to with with what I see on TV, with the things that are upsetting the generation coming up, is for some of them, it doesn't seem they understand you can't have equality and, and, free, and freedom at the same time. The more you go in one direction, the more you lose it to the other. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, King Bear. Um, why am I not in the group chat? I don't know what the group chat is. What's group chat? Um, Seven Hawks, much love and respect. Thank you for your, oh, thank you, Seven Hawks. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that, everybody. Mwah. Are you a man? Okay, why are you using those two, those, um, I'm neither. A man is a gender, female is a sex. I'm a male. Um, for my sex, I am a woman for my gender. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm had to complete a module on, oh, module on transgender. Well, see, and that's the other thing that's super confusing is because I'm like, how, I, I hope they didn't make it seem like there is a universal ideology for people that are trans. But what I was talking about was just for a lot of the things I see in the cancel culture and people drowning out opposition speech, it's, Everything has become hate speech where they don't even acknowledge it happening. And if you're in a university setting, there are some things that just for the educational purpose of hearing what the other side says would be worth to hear it sometimes. But I, the main thing I keep hearing is be, being told that some people that both think things are not fair and that they somehow think they can make them fair. I'm a veteran. Oh, thank you. Did we have free speech? No. Oh, no. That's the thing. We we were there to um, protect the Constitution, not live by it. We defended democracy. We did not have democracy. Um, no, it's it's not the. This is truly who I am. I mean. I mean, maybe this is something that maybe you could, can understand. You're not gonna, it's not gonna mean the same to you as it does to me because you, we have different gender identities. <clears throat> I know how I was treated when I had my uniform, my blue cords, um, it was an infantry unit in Northern New York. I was treated so different. 
and I didn't have a job that like fixed airplanes. I didn't have a job that like cooked food. My job was infantry, very um, blunt job. It, it's one thing to get rid of as much as the other side before they can get rid of any of our side. It's, it's very black and white. And the fact that that never went against anybody's ideology of of things and they i never once got told oh don't go near the kids i mean if anything that's a pretty messed up um job to be not having a thought to and then the way i get treated after i've done all that after i've been there done that and now i'm just like being mean retired all sorts of shit for exercising these constitutional rights that I fought for. And it's... <sighs> it just makes me think. I don't know what's going on. Re see, again, repent for what? Like, I feel I have to repent for other things. Like, things I, I did. That probably... A lot of people are like, oh, it's okay. When you do stuff in the, for your government, you're, you're allowed to do whatever they tell you. You can unlive as many people as you don't need to. It's not the M word. It's, there is no word for it. It's a funny fact. In English, we have hundreds of different words to describe in unaliving. Um, we have papicide if you, if you unalive the Pope. We have Try and aside if you undo a tyrant. Region aside if you do monarchy. But there is no word for in the line of duty doing that to somebody. There's no word. It just does not exist because then we can't put any um, it, it, um, attributes to the meaning of that act. Uh, especially since she protected your family. See, here, there's the other thing. Um, I would say once I was on the National Guard side, I did have the opportunity to help people in my state. What I did in Afghanistan wasn't helping anybody here in the U.S. And if anything, it made it worse by the way we pulled out. I was felt good because I saw very real change in the girls and the women there being able to do things that they couldn't do before, and God knows what's happened to them after the Taliban came back. Mm. Thank you. Like, trans self out of the frame, what? Get, like, get your trans self out of the frame. What does that mean? What, what's wrong, OG? What, what is going on that's, I don't understand what it means. What did, I, what did I do that pissed you off? Oh my God, I hate these random streams that come up like, this isn't a random stream, this happens every day and this is about makeup. And again, the main thing isn't about trans. People keep putting that onto me and it's not. I'm not a cross-dresser. If you understood the definition of what a cross-dresser is, you wouldn't use that word. Is it what make me feel good? Guys. Um, what is it? Let me see what this says. Um, let me open it. Open. Open. I want to let me open this. Um, don't let the kids. That's interesting. The wait, wait, the clothes your clothes in my age Afghanistan vet um what is it about National Guard that took it so hard I didn't what do you mean took it so hard that I said that was the opportunity I had to help my state that's what I said um so hard you didn't see what active duty I was active duty Marine Corps active duty Army and then the National Guard I please under please understand I I Enlisted in 96 and retired at the end of 2014. 
Um, I did not say I only served in the National Guard. That was my, that was at the end of my years after I was injured that I was National Guard. Um, okay. So yes, so um, do, you, do you understand? I think you, um, that maybe this is the first time you've watched me. I joined the Marine Corps to man up because I did not like how feminine I was. I did not like that I didn't feel aligned with um, the other males my age. I have always had this very different feeling, um, aligning more with my sister. And I didn't think that was a good thing. All these things that a lot of people are telling me now, that's how I felt back then. And back then, nobody would call me a man. They all called me a woman to insult me. <laughs> uh, will cost you thousands with doctors. We, we love everyone here. What happened? Hi, Trish. You can help. What's going on? Trish, I got to say I'm happy I found you on TikTok. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I have a huge crush on you. I'm on my way through a divorce. But it's like, why can't I see anybody? Mm -hmm. Your FYP brought you here, so don't hide who you are. Me? I don't know. I'm sorry for what you have been through, Jane. Thank you. And, um... E even in the very real right here, right now, I still have these feelings of fear. Um... I didn't think there's gonna be such such a hold still on me. Um, I don't know why, when my body will just like, understand that I'm safe here. There's no body that's going to be coming in, yelling at me, doing doing any of the things. But it's, it still seems very wrong. Um, telling the haters they brought them here. What? I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to repent. Okay, I'll repent. How many platforms are you on too? I'm on, I'm on TikTok and I'm on um, YouTube. The same thing, really. Seriously. Mm -hmm. I was a sergeant, not an officer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I left, you're still here. Yeah, I didn't, you didn't leave that long ago. Let me whiten these up. This is pretty dark. Is it gonna go up here? Yeah. Now remember, this is a different look. I I don't usually do blues. I don't do this. This is this is different. So I don't know how it's gonna come out. I don't know what it's gonna look like. This is just trying something different. Uh, I love the strawberry shortcake makeup. Yeah, yeah, me, me too. There's um, I just a lot of people go, oh, don't you ever wear something just simple? I'm like, well, yeah. Today, today I'm wearing something pretty simple. T-shirt and um, skirt.
Um, Zyra, why, why? Why are you um, so anti against me? Like, is there jealousy? I mean, what what is it? What is it that you are so against? Um, well, I'm glad you have a username like Doctor Idiot to be accusing me of stolen valor when. It would be very difficult for me to have bribed all the people that I had to bribe. And, of course, how can you call Stolen Valor when you didn't serve yourself? You're, you can't call that on me. You do realize there's a reverse thing for people like you that call legitimate combat vets out and tell them that they're stolen valor. People that use their veteran status as a weaponized hate, which is what you're doing. There's no need to take away from what I did because you don't like who I am now. The two can exist. You can not agree with who I am, say it's this, it's that, but why do you gotta take away my service? That's just, that's pathetic when people feel they need to reach that low. Mm. Mm. Yes, he's you. Mm. Camden? I, wait, Camden? What state? That sounds so familiar. Like, I've been to Camden or something. Um, you're amazing. I'll, no, I don't ever listen to the haters. Don't worry. That's not happening. Not happening. Okay. Let's see how this is going to go. Let's have some fun. Ooh, what the heck? Let's see how this is going to go. Huh. How are we going to do this, peoples? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Camden, Ohio. Okay. Sounds like I've driven through there or something. Definitely looks like has what? Well, not appear the vocabulary that people want to use is not always in the um, So I need more blues under the one eyes. Okay, I'll pull, I'll pull it out more. Mm, I'm gonna pull it out with white. I don't, I don't know if it really needs all that much. At this point, I'm just kind of experimenting with this, with things. That's all.
got I've got socks that are gonna match it perfectly. It goes right with it completely. Well, are you socky? Well, are you? Come on. Here you are. Here they are. See? Are these nice? Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Jared. I was reasoning. Okay, yeah. Sorry. People people are just trying to protect me. In general, it, um, some people have tried to use that, but I understand it's going to come out and not be meant that way. It's nine, nine times out of ten, it seems that people did use it another way. I, I get that, that words are going to be used and they're not always being used transphobically or, or hatefully. I I try and use the word when I completely am rationalizing um, something being weaponized and used for hate. Otherwise, if, if words are thrown around too often, too much, they, they're going to lose their meaning and they're not going to... Um, mean anything when we use them. So I, I have heard, not here, but in general in society, transphobia been thrown around too much. Because by the way it gets thrown out, I'm a transphobe for some people that I don't like, but it's not because they're transgender, it's because they're just a-holes. Why are you taking so long? Because uh, I'm answering questions at the same time. Um, and I really enjoy doing it. I've explained that. It's safety I feel here. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. This is not gonna come out the way I want it at all. This is just not gonna work. I was going to try and do the flag on here, but that would take way too much time, way too much steady hands, and I am not going to attempt to do that. What am I going to do instead? Let's see what we can fix it. Maybe some color, some, some sparkles, some red sparkles. Yeah. Um... This, uh, this is, um, <laughs> it's, uh, you do, do, do people realize I do get met with negativity on all sides? I am, have been attacked for some of the things I, I say, um, from people that are trans. Um, but like I said, there, it's not a community, it's just these few people. And the major ish difference that we have, the one, the select people that say I'm hurting, hurting their movement or something. It's just those few people. It's because I come from a position of tolerance and acceptance, the same thing I want from other people, and they're coming from, well, they, people just have to be this way. It, it doesn't matter. This is how it's, this is the right way. And they, people need to be punished if they don't. If, if they're transphobic, they need to be punished. They're hateful. They're hateful. And she's, I swear, my grandma wasn't hateful, but I know she would be sounding just like a lot of these people that um just can't understand certain things. That doesn't make her transphobic. Or... If the trans community wants acceptance, wants to um, be able to be who they are, there's going to be groups of people in this free country that are going to want to have nothing to do with, with it, and that's the right. Um, this man looked like a man, knowing they went by different pronouns, and they managed her, their feelings. And their... Who are we talking about, Jared Harris? I don't know who we're talking about. Can you explain who we're talking about? The problem was this man. Who's the, this man? Looked like a man, no way to tell. Who are we talking about? I'm confused. Um, 
if we're talking about me, if you come on here for the very first time and you don't read anything about the intro, yeah, of course I'm going to be labeled a man. I can't, I'm not going to be pissy about that. Um... Is that what we were talking about? Can people put asterisks when they're responding to me so I understand if they're coming towards me? Um, if, if you, so I can read the right things? Uh, what made me want to do what? Nothing made me want. I, I'm confused on the question. Trish, most of the heat are the same people saying the same. Well, here's the thing. They're still here and they're still engaging. And if there was absolutely nothing that could be said, they would, they would have left. There's there's at least, even if they're never going to come on board with certain things, at least maybe they're learning that not every single transgender person thinks the same. If I can at least do that and, and change a little bit of how they at least view view me, then I'm, I'm okay with that. And there's a difference between the ones that are being hateful and the ones that are being um, engaging and just debating. This is something that we actually talk about in um, a support group at the VA because one one third of every of every single male at birth transgender American is a veteran, and in general, our views do not align with the more with the other two thirds. Everyone, please stop blaming um, her for her very bad experience. Nothing to, wait, has nothing to do with her. She's clearly is a nice person. Trying to feel comfortable with her. Thank you, I think. I think. Is anyone blaming me? I didn't see that they were, but maybe. Hmm, not trying to be rude, but that made you want, want to, what does this say? Not trying to be rude, but what made you want to do that to yourself? Do what to myself? Can you explain? Do you mean what made me want to stop living life as a lie that felt absolutely um, meaningless and, and worthless to have any type of positivity come from something that was a pure act? Um, I had to make up a whole persona of things I liked and mannerisms and I had to completely push down and reject so much of who I was. It's not just about wearing clothes and makeup. It's so, it was so much, so much more than that. Um, what show? I hope that you like. Okay, thank you for stopping on in. I appreciate it. Well, I mean, uh, and keep in mind, I have more issues than just my gender identity. There's the issue of um. My military service, which I love, and I never bash the military. I love, I love the military. There's very real trauma, um, violence, and addiction and recovery. So there's a lot of other things that I deal with well outside of my gender identity. White, that's what I mean. Oh, what's this to do? Can you say, hi, Faith? Hi, Faith. How old were you when you changed genders? What do you mean changed genders? I, when I understood the idea of gender, I never chose the gender of male. So I don't. Uh, I had a unique situation where my mother didn't enforce gender roles, nor did she force me to identify a certain way until old, I was older. Mm. 
like and I never find. Yeah, I don't like it. We're going to start over and redo it. It did not come out. It came out horrible. I'm just going to do my eyes red or something. It's not working. So see, I will try different things. If I, if I was going to do like just three hours just on my eyes, I could maybe do it. But I'm not going to invest that time right now. When I just want to hurry up and get done, move on to something else. Thank you so much, Kate. Your mom failed you. How did my mom fail me as a parent? No, my mom did not fail me as a parent. I learned a lot of really good lessons from her. To, to, to say fail would mean I categorically just did not succeed in life at all. And that's just not the case, so no. concerned with me I adore you I'm not concerned with me the other not succeed in life at all that's not just not what happened Lynn I'm, I'm confused Lynn I wasn't saying anything about anybody else I was talking about myself did I did I say something that came across negative to people I, I um It's something that is still deep inside of me. Um, no matter how my mom may have treated me, I have a very deep defense mechanism whenever I feel that she's being slighted or attacked. I, I apologize. I forgot just how strong that comes out. Okay. <laughs> um, I've interacted with you in one of your lives and there was a discussion about God, the Bible, we didn't agree on, regardless, I have, you know, I want to let you know, I genuinely love watching, um, and th oh, thank you so much, thank you, Krista, thank you, I appreciate that, I appreciate the people that are able to acknowledge we have disagreements, but they're just a disagreement, it's not a judgment on the level of how, how we, hmm, I'm lost for words, you know what I'm saying. I appreciate it. Mm, you please wear a pink and white wig. Pink and white. Pink and white. I'll look for it. I'm not. I'm gonna wear the one I want to wear the the most, but I'll try it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was thinking red went with this really well. Mm. Gotta 
do this. I can't believe there's so many people that have never heard, haven't heard of the Catholic Church or understand that that's the church that all, pretty much all other Christian denominations split off of. They originated in the, in the Catholic Church. The major schism was in 1517 with um, the monk Martin Luther. They just wanted to reform the church, but it ended up completely breaking off. That's because of how corrupt the Pope was at the time. Uh, let's see what was that. Mm -hmm. uh, are you sure now what's going on? Let me see what's going on. Did I miss? Uh, wait, I looked away for a few blah blah blah. I do. See, I'm not getting these comments. Um, a person. Correct. Yes, that is correct, Cardio. Thank you for putting that into words for me. Uh, what's over here? Um, stop touching kids. Whoa, what are you doing? I was a libertarian before before it was cool. Wow, I can't believe me and you are are, are both libertarians and go. Do you go to the Porcupine Festival? But you're one of those freakish. Terrible people that does the absolute horrid things in society. People like you can't be cured. There's really no reason to ever let you see the sun again or keep you around. I don't know why you'd be bragging about being on a registry and having done the things you just said you did. That's gross. There are some things that countries like Iran and Saudi Arabia do better than us. Let's get rid of those waste of space. People need to remember, I have kids. I have daughters. S saying something like that is just so horrifically disgusting. Thank you so much. Thank you. You don't have to support LGBTQ. I'm not just LGBTQ. Do you support veterans? How far is it on a limb to go to say, I support veterans and just see me as a vet. Like I have friends, I am friends with people that are things I definitely don't support or agree, but I'm still able to be their friend. And for here, it takes even less, just an acquaintance, just. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Um, I don't understand what that says. Mm, I'm sorry for any inconvenience towards your... No, nothing's being inconvenienced, Pete. What's... nothing is it? What happened? Can someone fill me in? I don't understand. You're so pretty. Can you please give me a shout out? Yeah, hey, hey, G... G R um, W M. Uh, I'm sorry, people are mean. I'm not noticing that much meanness. A lot of the things are more of a reflection on the people saying it. It's not coming to me. Drag makeup. Um, it's similar, but no, this this is not drag, but it's not traditional either. If it was drag, I would do more white, and over here, and I have multiple layers. Mm -hmm. 
But it is okay to disagree. But when I'm t telling people which style I am personally doing, I feel I have the authority on what I'm doing. You can, they can say it looks like it, but they can't tell me that's the kind I am doing. Mm -hmm. You are men. Um, that's how you see me. You fantasize about men. I'm extremely good looking. Therefore, you need to make that part of your world that I'm a man too. I understand. Mm -hmm. I just want to let you know this is a very long breath here. Thank you. Thank you, Krista. Howdy. Howdy, Tristan. Howdy, Tristan. Yes, I know what you're saying. That you just, um, that, that you just wanted Thank you, thank you, Krista. I'm sorry these... Uh-oh, I'm, I'm getting worried now. I'm not seeing all the hate that people seem to be saying is going on. Who was the person who supported you the most growing up? My grandfather. My grandfather. Wow, wow, I missed a lot of comments. I'm sorry, I don't know why this phone isn't keeping up with them. Uh, T brown he. What, 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 what's a T brown he? Hmm. Well, yeah, pretty much I wear makeup every day. I mean, people do a lot of things every day. You brush your teeth every day, right? You uh, eat every day. You go to the bathroom every day. Put clothes on. Um, I was spamming for you to wear, and I kept acknowledging you, Pete. I kept saying when I get to it, I'll look at it. I, I don't know what one I'm gonna do, but I'll bring that one over. Remember, I can't reply, I just speak, and I have a, there's a huge delay from when you send it to when I get it. See, I have to do exercise with my hands every day or they lock up. And it's terrifying, it's terrifying when they start to do that. So I've got to do something. I enjoy just the process of putting it on. Let's see. That really worries me. There's gonna be a day possibly that comes I'm gonna lose function completely. Thank you, Cloudy. What, wait. You're amazing, don't listen to the haters. Amazing. Being trans is only one thing different from being. Mm, see, I wouldn't. I appreciate what you're trying to say. Um, how are you a veteran? You are horrifying in this, the new generation. What's the new generation? I was born in the 70s. Do you not get that? I'm not the new generation by any means. I don't know. <laughs> um, how much heroin have you done in your life? Let me think. See that you you're assuming that it was H. You do understand that H is not something that's easily found. So when I did that in 2021, I'm pretty sure it was always Fenty. Um I didn't know it wasn't H. Mm -hmm. Now with your gay self. Are you not, you do realize I'm tra uh, transgender, not into guys. My gender identity is different. Not who I, not who I am attracted to. Hmm. 
Thank you. Same thing. It's a free country. Dolls can. Right. It's it's a free country. That's why I acknowledge other people are gonna have other opinions. But this is not like something like oh I. I like to wear hats. I'm choosing to wear a hat or. I, it's not, there was a, there's been so many very distinct points in my life where if I was able to not be trans, I would have done whatever it take, would have taken to not be. Um, that's what was causing so much problems in my life when I was so harsh on myself. But people act like this is like, um, choice the only choice is whether or not i acknowledge who i am and live that reality or i hide it that's it there's no choosing to be trans because why because you hate yourself and want want to have like an absolute destruction of your life that's that's how it felt back in the 90s and 2000s um and then when you find yourself in a job that you absolutely could never come out as trans or even understand what trans is. You, you do realize that if you came into a woman's bathroom looking, looking like this, I would not go into a woman's bathroom. You do get that, right? I'm not finished with my makeup, with, with anything. Um, you would scare people. Well, the true patriot, you're talking about maybe where you, where you are. Um, you, people have to stop making assumptions on how culture is where I'm at and where I would go in. Do you have urinals in your women's bathroom where you are? Like right off the bat, some of these bathrooms are gonna see the women standing up to pee in the women's bathroom. You, you do acknowledge that, right? Um, and of course, the trolls went and tattled on me. Mm -hmm. um, what is it like for you when you go into a women's restroom? Well, it depends on where I'm at. If, if I'm in the VA where it's the federal building that's where I've, it's most affirmed to use the women's bathroom i generally will make sure there's oh, no one there go in hurry up and pee as fast as i can and get the f out of there i get anxiety if i think there's gonna be someone there it's even worse if i was to have to use the men's room that's even freaking worse Did you, do you support a, no, I do not support a nuclear exchange. I mean, I don't think, if people understand my position is, I'm not going to just be walking into women's rooms to walk into women's room, but I absolutely need to use one. I need it to be established which one I go in, and that's it. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. I do go to church, silly. Mm. Okay, I'm so confused. Number one, Grammy, where are you from where they have these bathrooms that are sexed? I'm being very serious. I have not seen male and female bathrooms. I see men's and women's. And here's the thing, I want you to understand, you know that thing that happened at that um, Planet Fitness? 
I don't think it was okay what they were doing. I saw that picture. It was very wrong that that woman took their picture. But you don't go into a women's bathroom to shave your freaking beard. I mean, if I wasn't presenting at all and I was out looking how I look in the morning, I would use the freaking men's room. It would be the safer one for me to use. There'd be no reason for me to need to use the women's room if I looked exactly um, like everybody else. So I, I, I don't understand why there was such a big backlash over um, people being against them being in there. Mm, no, yeah, so did people understand? I'm not like a radical, I, I mean, I, I'm, I have reason, I'm not so far out of the box where that would be okay with, with me. Um, that, that's where I draw the line. If I, I feel the bathroom argument should be about safety. If you are able to completely look one way, even if you identify a different way, like just use the men's room. I, I would just use the men's room if I didn't have any of my stuff on and it was obvious to people, so it wasn't gonna be an issue. Um, I would not try and use the women's bathroom looking like a man. That's not what the women's bathroom is there for, in my opinion. It's for women. And if you look like completely, like, I mean completely the different part, I don't mean someone that's transgender but doesn't pass by people's standards. I mean, you're not even trying anything. Uh, hello. And I know some people are going to be pissed about that. It's just, um, I need, I need to have a lie in the sand somewhere if I'm going to be able to make it about safety and why I should be able to use the women's. There's going to have to be scenarios where it wouldn't be the right one. Uh, let's see. Mm. Mm. Uh, when, when it's not okay and not well, no, it's was. I'm gonna say people also need to take into consideration what region of the country they're in. Any woman is tied up. Uh, right, and and that's ex and that's exactly how the um, rules in Oregon have always been. There's nothing directly against you going into another one if you need to use the bathroom. Why are you airbrushing yourself like that? It's only to use women that what? No. I'm male and I'm XY. You, some of some people, you just you, you are never gonna get it. It seems you just don't. My gender identity is different, so I'm not doing this to use the women's room. I'm doing this because this is what I like. It and it's not just about clothes and makeup. It's that's a part of who I am. It's not everything. And hey, make it so it's okay for me to say I'm a man and be very different from how other men are. I'd, I'd go right back to that identity. But that wouldn't make sense in the community I live in. If I started throwing around that word, it would confuse the F out of people. If there's a time in our history when we stop being so judgmental, stop gendering so many things, it's not about the word 
Because let's be honest, how the hell would I ever know exactly what it feels like to be something? I can only feel what I felt. So for me, it doesn't really matter. It's I need to know where I fit in in order to do certain things in society. What, what are you doing at a trap house? Mm. Why are we moving around too much? Mm. I move around a lot. I have um, anxiety. I'm twitching. I don't... Why is it that every single thing I do, I have to like explain to people when I don't even have the answers for it? I don't know. And everybody's answer is always wants to be something negative. It's okay. It's okay, because I need to face things like that. Although, perhaps people don't notice I've been right in front of you. You don't have to answer. Oh, what was the question? Did you know you can get wider earring back so your earrings don't tell? Oh, no, I, I didn't know that. I, need to, I did not. I had never had my ears pierced until a couple months ago, so. Trish, you don't have to explain. I know. I, yeah, well, no, I don't. I forget. I honestly forget. There, there's... A huge, huge, huge things um, on my mind that I'm going through. I'm just also trying not to um, rehash. I look ridiculous. Well, thank you, Raider. I'm not. I'm not done, but I'm glad you disapprove. I'm not really glad, but it's, it's not done. And hey, I'm trying something new, so it might not come out exactly as I wanted. That's okay. You don't want to watch the Vince Gaia. Mm, sorry I missed some of these. What's going on? I love your words. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe I do. I don't know. Um, You don't have to explain yourself. Oh, thank you forever. Thank you. Thank you, Mystic Threads. I'm staring and starting with the migraine, so I'm going to bed. Okay. Hope you feel better by tomorrow. Thank you. Um, what time is it? It's five o'clock. Got mm -hmm. it. Sorry, what happened? Um. What do, um, you'd have to ask them, wouldn't you? Hmm. And remember that this is something that's making me feel better today. Relaxing, it calms me. I like doing my makeup and um, it's a shame how many people actually think the like of the nutter is normal. Not the nutter. I don't I don't know I don't know how many people think that. Um 
I certainly don't. I mean, and considering, since I know far better than, than most, because it seems like people like, um, where are they? The one that talked about the nutter. I think that perhaps you have a misconception of which one's the nutter and which one is not normal, but the more sane one. The nutters to me are the ones that think simply because they d can't understand something that they can then somehow dehumanize it. And because they don't know what it's what it's like to be that gender doesn't mean it doesn't exist it just means they're not they're they, they're exactly who they're supposed to be i mean i acknowledge if <clears throat> if this was a choice that you could just pick and there wasn't really a true gender identity in people, yeah, that would be absolutely nuts. I'd be com a complete nutter, I would agree. If that was the case and for some reason I chose this and I could have felt just as true to myself no, no matter what I did, yeah, you, that would be an absolute insane thing to do. Completely insane. Why do people, what, what benefit do I get that would make this worth being a choice? Um, where's Palestine? Palestine is where Israel is, the sea. There's um, West Palestine, which is Jordan. There's, there's Gaza, which is the part of desert that they took from Egypt. There's the Golan Heights. I mean, why are you asking me where it is? I'm pretty sure you know where it is. Um, hey, hey, wolf bite. Um, women are the best. What's this say? Women are the best. Um, whatever it is. Uh, la, 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 la. You know, Miss Educator, it's obvious <laughs> you're doing the opposite of education. You are using um, a descriptor for gender identity that is your, you and your alone's opinion. Like, you don't get to put it on to me who I am. Just like I don't get to tell you how you see me. So I don't understand how people can not want to be forced to see things a certain way, but then think they can force their viewpoint onto me when even our own state and federal government doesn't acknowledge the words you're using. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Humanity is, why is humanity finished? Do you not know your history? I mean, do you not know your history? You're acting as a, some, some people.
sorry I missed a whole bunch of comments. It wasn't moving again. Oh, thank you, LeBonville. Whatever happened to each their own? Yeah, I mean, whatever happened to the each their own and um, respecting... When we're, when we're talking... Um, Yeah, we see Jesus was Jewish and in Judaism, they have more than the two genders. So even Jesus would be quite confused that you are using him as an example, knowing, or at least you should know full well that he had a different set of norms being the time and place in which he was Jewish. Judaic law had different recognition of different peoples. Thank you. You know, why do we have to say genocidal crazy things like that? Why? Just why? brought up your mom. I'm sorry that that was meant for the person that brought up your mama. I, I, I hope I didn't say anything. I didn't. Did I bring up somebody's mom? I truly apologize if I did. I thought I was talking about my mom. Um, she's putting on that overtime, y'all. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, okay. I, the reason I'm confused on that is because that's the first time in a while, like, I lost, um, time on that one. That one, that one did not feel natural like me, and I don't know where that came from. I don't usually, I don't usually defend her like that. Yeah, I do. But, uh...
to Egypt or Jordan. Oops, never mind. Don't Gazans and then what? Okay. The, the, see, the fallacy in what you're saying is you couldn't go there either. There's, as an American, there's people that would, would take you for your ransom. So saying I can't go there is kind of a mute point when no one can as an American in certain areas without the risk of that something happening. So. Mm, if you're gonna try my opinion, how, how is that not, what did I say that was disrespectful? Can you please tell me what it was? Let me see, bro, if you're gonna do it, um, do it respectfully. When do you ever see a girl walking around? Here's the thing, why are you comparing me to a female girl? And I live in Portland, so quite often, very often, a couple times a day. Um, you're making an assumption that there are not a lot of people that are far more extreme than I am. And, can't we acknowledge Portland is probably one of the, the five most extreme of the cities in the United States for that type of thing? I would. So if it was going to happen somewhere, Portland could be the place it was going to happen. I'm not a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. And today's not a normal look for me. I'm trying something different. A lot of you can probably see now why maybe I don't try things as much anymore because of all the shit I get for doing it. There we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, not girls, okay? Stop comparing me to girls. Yes, yes, they do. Do you, do you, they absolutely, some of them do. You are trying to tell me how people in Portland dress and you're saying that I am by far the furthest away from anybody here. Like, I, I don't understand why we're even making that argument. We have, we have some pretty crazy things going on because of the, um, drug epidemic here. You wanna see some absolute insanity on makeup? Yeah, you will see that here. But you also see very distinct groups that um, have extremely intricate makeup. The people, the, there's, um, is it, what is it? Japanese, um, the to Tokyo street fashion I've seen here. I've seen um, really exotic type of, I don't know if it's goth or emo that, that's just, really good um trans well trans not good okay i mean i would rather people judge a person by their character than a label before their gender How you, how you doing, Sherry? How you doing? Mm. Hello, hey Natalie. Want oh, darker? Thank you.
Mm, yep, what's your question? Puts the lotion on its skin or gets the hose again. Uh -huh. My religion is Catholic. Uh -huh. um, I'm Christian, but I don't come on here. Thank you for... My religion is Catholic. What's wrong with calling with calling a, a girl? What do you mean? There's depending on the context, but when being asked, I don't identify with the gender of girl. Now, like if someone's like, "Oh, that's girly," or someone's like, "Come on, girls," that's different. But when it actually when it comes to identifying, it would be the same way. Um, you wouldn't have a man identify as a boy. Girl can be, I mean, people can use it however they want for them. I do not like being given the choice, which they were doing, of asking me if I was a girl or, no, they were asking me if I was a boy or a female. Those were my two choices. Do you have any tips for when it come coming to lesbian to my right wing father? Hey, t um, was it? Look how successful Cheney was in, by having a lesbian daughter. Tell him maybe he's, he'll be amongst the greats. He probably won't go over very well. Or I mean, if he's true to his politics, is he is he right? In religion or in politics? Or is it both? Uh, makeup. And, I do a clean up one eye when I do, when I have my pink dress. Today I wanted to try just something a little different. It's, I'll be honest, it's not coming out anywhere the way I wanted it to. You know, but... Every day can't be perfect. There's gonna be days that doesn't come out very well. I, I, I don't usually wear dark blues. I don't usually wear these colors. This is new. This is not something I do a lot. At least now people know why. Thank you, KB81. Thank you for um, did. Um, why did you become, see, that question, I don't know how to answer. Why, it's like saying, why are you, why are you straight, if you're straight? Why is someone gay that's gay? Um, it's not something I have any idea as to why I'm programmed that way. Definitely not a choice. The only choice is to be true who I am or who I'm, uh, I'm bisexual and trying out being femboy and whenever I come across your videos or streams, I always sound funny. Um, oh, you're welcome. I'm glad, I think, I'm glad people like them versus the people that just don't. <laughs> okay. <sighs>
Oh, I found a light blue. Okay. Oh, it's a dark blue. I don't have a dark blue. Good color. Wear red, red. Do I want to wear red, red? Got a little too bright for me. Everybody's in contact with, um, oops, sorry, let me, hi everyone, I hope everyone's having a great time, sorry, I missed a bunch of comments, I apologize, um, Dobby's doing, doing well, I'm surprised I haven't gotten a phone call from him, Dobby's no longer, um, from Boy Baby, if you want to be 18 plus, stage restrictions, what's going on, um, thoughts on feminists fighting for independence, I, what is that, what do you, what do you mean? Mm -hmm. Most people aren't bothered by trans people. Um, you don't hang a country's flag from your, from your door. It's not a country. Mm -hmm. What I shall do? This one I use my exotic colors one. Um, Thank you, Jeannie. Not, not bad. Yeah, it was just, I've never done something like this before. Well, I very rarely do anything like this, let's see. <gasps> Thank you, Wild. Thank you, Wild R R Rogue. Thank you. See, how can you even take a position that somehow you would have any idea what is an embarrassment to Portland society? Do you realize how ignorant you make yourself sound by saying stuff like that? I have no idea what would be in your, wherever you live, but somehow you know what goes in Portland and what doesn't. My lips, I have a, still have issues doing. But it's the end of the day, so oh well, they're not, they're not perfect. Who cares? Last time. Like um, stone miser and cold joker, but okay. Need another mod with me. I mean, it's it, on which on which account? Because remember, on dot USA, it's it's got to be pretty out there to get to get not. Dot USA is the one where it's gonna be really strict, and dot USA is. Pretty much gotta be like really out there, or it, 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 as long as people that um, I want people to know that it's 
you're not going to be censored for things that are truly opinions. Like, there's a difference between stating your opinion and telling me I'm a faggot, like this person did. I mean, there's a, there's a huge difference between the two. I mean, and it just shows their level of ignorance to think that I would even want to have anything to do with the guy. It shows how little they know about the trans community. But I think they're trying to find out because they have major ident identifying issues with both their gender and their sexuality. <sighs> Thank you. Please don't ask for mods. What do you mean, Nat Natalie? What do you mean? Don't ask for mods. Natalie, I was talking about over on the TikToks. I hope you didn't take it as something for the YouTubes. I only have one YouTube, so the YouTubes have a different rule than the two TikToks. Hmm? No, no, but I'm not talking about the... um. YouTube. YouTube is completely, is different. YouTube, there's but one. And on TikTok, there's just two. There's the one where it's, it's me talking more to the viewers, not to the mods. The mods have always done awesome, awesome job. I'm not, it's the viewers so they know, so they don't keep saying the same things over and over again that they know either they did something if they got muted or it was an accident. Either way, it's not, nothing's gonna, not, coming to me isn't gonna change anything. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm not gonna go and undo it. If I start to do that, even do that once, then it's always gonna be pointless because they think they can undermine moderators. That's that's why I tell them I have, n I have no role in it because then that would just second guess the people that are making the decisions. I hope you guys can, can, can see that I've separated out. So there's nothing I can ever say that's gonna take away from the decisions you make. Because I, I do get caught up in things in the moment, but I hope you, you all seen I have not Gone against any, any anything. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you hate you hate. Wait. So what's this? So no hate at all. But um, you're a Catholic. Yes, I'm a Catholic. Um. Wait. What is this? Um. What's the question? And life isn't. What do you mean? What God wants? First off. You have, do you, do you accept that, are you Catholic to under, do, huh? thank you so much, Free Palestine. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> we, we have a lot of people that are phobic of a lot. Um, to, to be, to be fair, we had a lot of, um, zealots that of both that were both christian and islamic they were both preaching in my opinion warped versions of both islam and christianity report what's the point of people doing stupid stuff like that why are they giving me such issues um diet does it feel quickly 
Oh, yeah, no, I'm not done with it. It's giving me some problems today. Get some stuff on this thing. What color? What color? What color wig was everybody saying? There's the red one, right? See, I think the red would look good because of the flag. What ones do you guys think? I need to put some glue under here. Someone says, um, fun video, I'd rather watch a screensaver and my phone confused about the, that doesn't, we, we don't understand what you're saying, um, wouldn't what? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you like to know, let me see if I'm reading that right, um, let's see. See, I feel bad. I don't. I don't call out you, little. I want you like to know about how. Um, you know, asking you things like, is it? Is it really? I'm not gonna go down that path, Trish. Don't do it. Don't do it. Never mind. Never mind. Teach on. What color wigs? My life ended. Mm, Jesus, motherfuckers. Ah. Uh, well, it's going to start right back up again, so, because they're a-holes. Mm. Okay. Do Ginger, what, Ginger is, Pete, what did you want? You, you had one that you kept saying. The blonde one. I don't have an orange one. Let me get the red and the blonde. Do I have anything? I got dark purple. Uh, brownie. I just want to see what this old fashioned one looks like. I'm not going to wear it. I just want to see how bad it is. Like, it's like, ooh, it's too weird. Like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, I hate no, no way. You're not even going to see what I look like in that one. I'll show you the blonde one first. Trish, is this... Trish, is your other live back on? Yes, my other live is back on. So this is what the blonde looks like. And now let's see what the red looks like. And then I want to make sure that I put the one that Pete, I think, wanted me to put on. Uh, now let's see red.
I don't think this is the newest one. the red one. Which one? Which one? Red. Um, we can't pin on YouTube. Yeah, that, there's not, we don't have pinning here for some reason. Let's see. We can't pin. Um, Oops, shoot, what did I hit? What did I hit? I, I just hit someone by accident. I don't know what I did. I accidentally hit somebody. How do I unhide somebody? Do I um, unhide there? Okay, I'm so sorry. That was an accident. That was an accident. I didn't mean to hide you. Red, um, both amazing. Blonde, blonde. Red, blonde. No, I'm not a boy. Blonde. Okay. Um, hey. Hey, Bella. Whoever I accidentally hit and unhit, that was an accident. I have brought you back, though. Let me see how this one looks. New bangs. Red. Short run. Run. Blonde. What? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm. I think towards blonde. I usually do wear the red one with this outfit. I wear this like once a year. I used to have a whole dress that was the Union Jack. I don't know where it went. I do not know where it went. I look like Rose from Doctor Who. I want to be Rose. Rose! The red one looks cute, but I feel blonde today. That's all. Was not what I wanted. Something. Thank you. Oh, my gosh, Michael. I'm 
I'm ex I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. What green and purple I have? I don't have green and purple. Where did I put my socks? Sockies! There you go. Mm. You like these suckies? Oh, I gotta do my hair. What are the things I wore yesterday? What did I wear yesterday? Anyone remember what I wore yesterday? I don't remember what I wore yesterday. I remember. I remember. Here you are. Here you are. What's going on? The True Patriot. Mm. Look, I wonder what, what country they're talking about. Hmm. You know, the more one aligns to the extreme side of Patriot, that's a pretty close run into fascist. Mm -hmm. Thanks. See, it's people like that, I don't know what country it is, but it's, it's, it's scary that what we hold dear to us as Americans, some other countries absolutely hate. Um, are you still here, True Patriot? What, what country is it that you're the True Patriot of? Is it like Russia? Is it like... And, what makes it where you hate the freedoms that we have here so much? Mm, what's rhyme? Oh, rhyme. What kind of rhyme? Uh, um, I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a rain. I do not like them on a train. I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Like that kind of rhyme? Mm, were you? Yes, but I did not deploy. I didn't do anything. I'm a combat veteran of the army. Yes, it's army. Eat metal. Why would I eat metal? Not that I'm aware of. Yes, I am Darcy. I am very much so a combat veteran. I served in Afghanistan. Why do people keep feeling like they're not being the one of the biggest d bags that an American can be by questioning of combat veteran service just because they don't like who? They are after their service. You have to understand, I respected the uniform to the T on what the rules were. So it's. And I would do it again. I wouldn't ask for something like, oh, can I, can I have my makeup? Like, um, I know you guys are like really busy and I got a draft paper, but um. um do I still get to have my makeup? Like, no, I, I get that. There's a time and place for it. This is peacetime, Trish. If this, you know, if it was really that type of situation, I, everything I like 
for me, would come second to serving. So it's not, it, it confuses me on why people can't understand that this is just me when I'm not do, doing that. And the chances of me ever having to go back in are not very likely. But to be clear, I absolutely would. I, I, I let them call me whatever they want to call me, identify however they tell me I'm going to identify, wear what they tell me I'm going to wear. You know, I, at that point, I don't give a shit. Hmm. I'm not trying to infringe on anyone else. And did, did you not hear what I just said? Like, this country still comes first to me. Everything that makes me who I am, I would stop doing if there was a time of war and I had to do something in uniform. You know, I make that trade-off by living in this awesome country is that I only get to be me when everything's going, you know, great. If there's a time where I would be back in the service, then I, that stuff goes on hold. Yes, I have children. I mean, but everybody does that. That's not anything unique. Everybody that serves is putting a lot on hold. I mean, I would be put, putting more on just because if it included my gender identity, but that's not something that I would have to keep for fighting for my country. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Star Island. Because I am fine with transitioning to the gender of green when in there. That's how I looked at it. That's how a lot of people looked at it. It was just green. There was no race. No politics, there was no anything but just green. That made the most sense to me at the time. And that's what I'd be again. Are you? It's a tease. Something like that's never going to happen. But, ah, oh, I would love it. I would absolutely love it. I would love to be back in. Hmm. Yeah, green. It's... There's no white, there's no black. Everyone's just green. You know, OD green. It's what the uniforms used to be. Hey, hey, Layla Grossman. Race of green, yeah. Yeah, because I mean, that's the thing of what, the difference between when you're an individual in civilian world and you're part of a team when you're in the military. It's. All those things that we use as identifiers in the civilian world become an encumbrance when you're trying to work as one. It's none of that stuff matters and it's just gonna get in the way. Well, I, see, here's the, here's the thing. Because some people's minds can't operate within the realm of understanding certain things, it's not a delusion. It's something that you can't comprehend. We don't call, I don't call things I can't understand delusions. I acknowledge I can't understand them. I mean, I w would completely have to agree. I'd be an absolute lunatic, crazy person if being trans was something you just casually picked because you thought, oh, this is cool. It's, I spent so much of my life Remember, I didn't know the word transgender, but I, the feelings were always there. Just didn't know what the hell it was. Trying to undo it. <laughs> like, trying to undo it. Like, did not want to feel that way. If, listen, I would never fly an American flag from my freaking bathroom door that belongs. On a fly pole, outside, with lights on it, not in the rain, so... I don't know why anyone is confusing this with a national flag. Mm. Now I'm going to start getting some more stuff on. Shoot, what did I freaking do already? Did I fucking lose that again? Did I fucking lose that? How fudge am I doing? Just how? God. 
touch me. This is insane. How do I lose stuff like this? Constantly, time and time again. Oh. Sorry guys, I do not know how I lost what I just had for my hair. Just my freaking hands, and now it's not. I do not understand it. I do not understand how I can possibly be constantly, constantly losing things. What in the fudge is going on? I'm sorry, this is just like, where the fudge? Disappear this quick. Who just this fucking gear like this? Something like this every single day. Every day. I have to spend so much time looking for stuff because I can't find anything that I'm looking for. My body can't see it. It just disappears. Ah. Oh. 
infuriating. Where'd you go? Where'd you just disappear to like this? Like how? How do you do this? How on earth can you just disappear so effing completely like this? This should not be freaking possible. I just had you in my hand and my brain cannot record the simple putting it down. How do you not remember anything? How are you so stupid as to never remember anything that you do? Why do we put things down if we're not going to record them? In our brain. Just let it happen. And then have no idea anything else. possibly be in the freaking universe. Thing is, I remember taking you out of here. Why aren't you up here? Why is it so ridiculously hard? Did you go? Where did you go? Ridiculous. Just in my hand. No, you're not. Oh. What the fuck did you do this? So unbelievable. Insane. You were just 
just being held. I'm not going in. I'm not going this. Sorry. It's very, very frustrating that I constantly lose shit all the time. All the time, all the time, all the time. And my brain will not record the simplest stuff. Like, where did we just set something down? I waste so much time every day looking for stuff because I have no recollection of anything in my brain. It doesn't do any recording of anything when I put stuff down. Come on, brain. Remember, what did we do? Where did we go? You gotta have some recollection. No. We have zero. Zero, zero, zero. getting something. <sighs> Sorry, I, need, I really need to, before I completely have no idea where I put my things, figure out where I put my meds, my wallet. <sighs>
dumb. How? Come on, Mother Effort. You're pouring the bullshit on me. Every goddamn day, every day, you do this to me, brain. Fudge me, you stupid thing. That makes no sense. Why would you would put it in that drawer? Oh, sorry. My, uh, there's like a person in me that hates me and just wants to hide my stuff and the stupidest stuff that would never in a million years put my things there. Like when I found my freaking phone in the freaking freezer. <sighs> so weird. Sorry, I don't mean to get so worked up. It's just, it's a constant battle of it. Having something one second in my hand, and then one second having no idea where it could ever be. There we go. Okay. Shoot, I did not mean to make such a big mess. Pick up. Put some of this stuff in my hair. Now that I'm a wreck, sweaty mess. Where did I put the hairbrush? How's everyone doing? Um, if no one has told you. Thank you, Hel Helshu. Helshu, thank you. That was so sweet. Oh, thank you. Um, um, 585. Hey, that's like Rochester and then the area code 585. Used to be 716 back in the day. <sighs> yeah. It's just so, it's. Very annoying. And then I find the wrong thing, and then the hairbrush was missing, but luckily I found that pretty quick. What happened? Yes, I can't take then. What happened? Purple haze? You guys are chipping? Somebody's on purple haze? Yes, I can't take then. I feel bad. Wait, let me read, let me read that again. I think I was taking that out of context. Um, what is it that you can't take? Are you empathic? Is it, I think I'm starting reading the conversation in like the middle point. Um, I can relate if, you, if it's an empath thing of being drained. Oh, and you can't find something? What's wrong? Um, multiple things, but I found some of my things, but now I'm hot and sweaty. What can go on this? Let me fix my belt. See what what will work for this. Chunky. 
open the door. Oh my goodness, it's always so hot in this room. Okay, I'm gonna finish up getting my clothes on. Um, then people, what do you wanna do? I wanna, um, wanna try and do what we wanna do. It's just to be honest, at seven o'clock, I'm, I'm not gonna be staying up super late tonight. And, there are major things I really need to get at the grocery store. And I don't, we've made a lot of stuff I need to bring in tomorrow. Is there, um, well, see, see if I, there's things that I would want to do, but I don't want to lose everybody, but I can make, we can make cookies or something like that. I, um, I like talking to you, to you guys, and I need to eat, and let's see what else do I need to do. My whole body just feels wiped. It's... Feels do I feel? feel like I don't know what to do next. I feel like um, unsure, which isn't something I, I'm used to feeling. Oh, okay. Okay. It is time for that. Let me get my arm things. Armies. Blue work? No. Red? No. I was hoping to have two of these that would match, but I don't. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. I'm sorry, Miss Somebody. Let me thank you. Um, so I wasn't paying attention. My bad. Wow, I'm so sorry. Thank you, Jared. Thank you, Free Palestine. Thank you, Jared. If a white person identifies as black. Oh, let's talk about this. If a white person identifies as black, can they paint their face and go in black colleges and street and spaces? Um, that's a, that's one of the more ridiculous questions that I get asked. Your ethnicity, 
is also in your DNA. I am not changing what my biology is. I am a male. I have a penis. These are very real things. So to compare that to what you just compared to someone doing blackface, I don't even understand how that's in any way, shape, or form the same. Um, what you're trying to say is that somehow I am copying, like, or I am, let me see exactly what you wrote. I am just being Trish, and then I'm getting basically um, hate hate for, for me liking what I like, me for being me. Um, yeah, identifies. See, I don't, it's, it's like, I don't think you're getting what identify means. Anybody that's not transgender and doesn't feel, you know, and isn't pretending to be cis, your identity, you identify as cisgender. Even if you don't like the word or you don't know what it means, that's, you identify with the gender that corresponds with your sex. That makes, you don't even have to think twice about it. You were born into a world where it was already all set up for you. And so it, it can seem like ludicrous or crazy that other people aren't like that. I mean, I see peop some people that can't, can't fathom being in love with the same sex. That that must too also be a decision that people just decide to do. I don't know how else to try and explain how different my life is when I was pretending to be someone to when I was just being me. If I was to be forced to go back, you'd be signing my um, unaliving papers. You to see how my life can be and how I can feel, I wouldn't want to, I would not want to continue to go on if I knew I was going to be in a situation just never, ever. I don't even want to think something like that. Um, I don't mean like something temporary like I was talking about with the military. No, I mean like just being forced to be something. I, can people see how that has, that's nothing like somebody being one um, ethnicity and then identifying as something very different? Everything that you can test for on my body, I identify in that way. Anything that you can see from a science, from a hard science standpoint, I'm agreeing with. You know, I would, I would not be contradicting a doctor saying, this is your male, you have this, you have that, yeah. But people would be hard pressed to come up with universal terms for gender across the world. Oops, I'm gonna go back over to here. No, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who, okay. Um, I don't, I don't know what's going on. I don't, I, I, I don't think, I don't believe that that's happening. It's, there's more than just a disagreement. P some people don't know how to say things without maybe adding, who, kn who knows. But I, I want to have the converse, a conversation with people. It's okay if, to go against, you know, my point of view. Um, God, for, God forbid the day where we're stuck with one point of view on things. That's the day we're under some sort of totalitarian dictatorship. Like I said, the more equal we get, the less free we're going to be. Once you start imposing how people have to see other people, that's when freedoms start going bye-bye. So there's, there is no perfect situation. Um, can you talk about your military experience? Like what? Like what? You know, like, let, me just, let me just see what it was. Um, yeah, of course I use the women's restroom. I live here. I live in Portland. They have freaking urinals in the women's bathroom. So it's very much set, set up for me to be using. And it's public. Would I go to a really conservative state and try and do that? No, I wouldn't. So understand, respect my how people are here 
and I will respect where you are. You know, I, I honestly don't, wouldn't want to do something in a very conservative state that would do nothing but cause problems, that's not gonna change anybody's mind, just piss people off. What the hell would be the point to that? Like, I mean, why wouldn't they, they are rude, I'm a rude what? How am I rude? Why, well, I'm Catholic, of course Jesus loves me, I love Jesus. Yeah, me too. Really what, what's, Pete Poole, what are you asking me? Um, are you asking me if I'm serious? I don't, I don't want to um, have a mass confrontation in a situation that's not going to matter and isn't going to help anything? Yeah, I'm serious about that. What? They can, yeah, some people, that's all they can think about. Um, I don't make, I, I used to make some of my stuff. I am, um, you just found out what? Yeah, there's, I mean, we've had gender neutral bathrooms for a long time. They're just single, single stalls or unisex. Um, do you pee? Why would I not pee in the women's bathroom? Like, do you, do you, is there something I'm missing where this is such a big deal? Uh, you never offline. I have no, well, I'm offline a lot. I was offline. Um, for what? Uh, 12 hours. Half a day. <laughs> I got off at uh, 2 and didn't come back on till 2. So. Mm. Hmm? About what? I'm. What did you. Listen, I. I don't come to me with it. With. Um, with things that don't have to do with me. I don't do. The modding, I've, exp I've explained, I'm, if I ever second guess, that's taking away their authority and same way I wouldn't do that to someone in the military, I can't see what they see. And the people that are mods, I trust them enough to, that they're doing the best decision they can make in that moment. We, we've got to stop expecting perfection, like perfection's not going to happen. And... When people are in the, caught in their own world, it, it, I don't know if they can see how many very super hateful people I have coming here that are specifically just coming because of a situation I'm in. It has, it's beyond the average trolls we have. So they are very busy and very overwhelmed. One terabyte, I bet. What's one terabyte? What's that, what's that even mean? Do you guys still use computers and stuff? Like, is that what you're talking about? If lesbians can use women's restrooms, potentially creeping women. Well, here, here's the thing. Um, I don't know what's going on in these bathrooms where you're at. This stuff does, is not going on where I'm at. Um, public bathrooms are... Creep people out just because they're public bathrooms. It, no, I don't. No one ever said, huh, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk down to the mall so I can go use the public bathroom there." Or, well, not, maybe someone did. Um, I meant the urinal. Yeah, they, there are urinals in certain, not every single one, certain um, women's bathrooms, and they offer tampons and pads in the men's bathroom. Huh. I mean. Salam, salam, chatoi. Hubi, hubi. Yes, okay, I, I've stated, I, that, I saw the picture, there's two people that are wrong. That woman shouldn't have posted online. And that person, if you've got a beard to shave, should not have been in, in the women's locker room. Um, I don't, there's gotta be a line in the sand. In order for me to say, I need to use the women's bathroom for safety issues. I also have to be able to say, if I am presenting full on man, I need to use the men's bathroom. That's the safer bathroom for me at that point. If I look completely 
like a man compared to how I look now. Even if some of you are like, oh, you still look like a man. You know what I mean. I need to be going into the men's room. It's a safety thing. It's not a pride thing that I need to have the bathroom identified. It's a safety issue. So, from the picture, I think I saw it. It looked completely like there was just the stereotypical man in the bathroom, correct? Am I correct on this? And I already know pe some people have given me hate for what, I'm, for what I say, but it's... No, no, but here's my question. If you are presenting enough to look like a man, even if you, you, you are, even if you're a woman, and, but you know that the people around you are gonna see you as a man, I feel the men's bathroom would be the safest one for me. Why, how on earth would I think if I'm looking the way other people see me a man, how on earth would I use a bathroom that would cause alarm on both sides. I, I wouldn't. Um, I feel like sometimes people get a message that because they can do something, it trumps everything else and complete disregard for what might happen. I mean, it shouldn't go too extreme in either way, in either, on either side. Um, but, you know, I, I can't speak for why, he, why, she, why they did it. I don't know why they did it. I'm saying if that was me, I would have been shaving in the men's room if I looked how I look in the morning. Do, do you understand what I'm saying? Oh, I can see the part of the world, and the life is that it will never come true to the heart can feel life. I don't understand what that means. Can you, can you explain that to me in terms I can understand? Clearly the only thing that can do to my life, I can see it on the floor, uh, on the f floor of the world, and the life is that. I don't understand what you're trying to say. Can you, can someone explain that? Are not going to harm you. Um, right. No, no, here's the thing. I Just because someone's not going to harm you doesn't mean you need to ca cause that kind of... Um, can, can, no, I don't know. I'm. People are going to be pissed that I said that. So I just think society needs some time and people can't go rushing and forcing it to get to a point it's not at yet. I, there's all sorts of things that I know are not fair that I think should be different, but I'm not gonna make anybody more tolerant by um, feeding into their fears and pissing them off and trying to force things on them. If I have any chance of getting people to change their mind about me, and being trans, it's I need, need to be a lot more patient and tolerant than they are. I, it's, I'm, let's see what says. Let me try that again. People have been using the same bathroom as trans forever. There's never a problem. Anymore. Oh yeah, no, exactly. Okay, yeah. What I'm saying is there's, there ha I, in Oregon it might fly, like in Portland, it, it would fly where it can, it's right down to just how you identify. You can look however the F you want. Yeah, in Portland that's all right. But in other places where the people are not there yet, I'm saying there should be some, something, no, nothing in force. People need to use, ask themselves, how does this look? If somebody was to come in right now, and how whatever happens from that, is that gonna benefit, is that gonna help the movement? 
Is that gonna help people accept me more? And if the answer is no to any of those, don't do it. Just, just don't. It doesn't have to be fair, it doesn't have to be right, but it's just, don't do something that's gonna make things more difficult on you in the long run. Mm -hmm. Not to be rude, but should you do for makeup? Oh, not to be rude, but you should try, well, like what? There's certain things I have to use, like the SPF. Um, there's certain things that I've used. I've tried different ones, but because of my skin still being so thick, because it's um, male skin, which there really is a ma there is a huge difference between the two skins. Um, I haven't found things that work as as well as the Dermacal. Um. Um, I, I don't know if I agree that allowing people to be who they are should be the absolute priority. Um, there's need, there needs to be compromise with the other people being who they are. Other, otherwise, you're sending the message... Oh, thank you so much. There are more important topics. Than that. I know. We'll, we'll, pick, pick one. Pick a topic and let's talk about it. Um, because this is the one that keeps coming up. Mm. Mm, do you have friends that hang out with you? Once in a while, yeah. My. Uh, My whole situation is turned upside down. What I was trying to say is it should be a compromise between how people, them being themselves and what it, whatever issues it, it, it may. I mean, you, know, you guys have heard me talk. I'm, I'm not saying like somebody should be kept from from a lot of the things. I just think more people need to be more tolerant and stop um, having this mentality of change by force. Do you have any advice for high schoolers out of the closet like me and, uh, and how to pursue it being LGBT? What, what does it mean to be LGBT in the long run? I mean, uh, I'm being very serious. Um, I didn't live in the United States for a lot of years. I was in the military for a lot of years. I, I'm still coming to terms with what does it, what does that mean? Um, um, Chris from Harrison. Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of this person. Poor truth thinks they're an ugly man. I'm sorry you're an ugly man, the truth. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hmm. Um, I agree. Not always appropriate to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Mm -hmm. What's it like? Um. What's this? Mm. Well, see, that's, that's uh, something... Exactly, where you're, you're using your, your common your common sense and like, oh, thank you, Stephen Hawks. Um, a job, that they, they have the right to kind of regulate <laughs> extremes that you can go to. That's what I liked about when I reached a certain point in the military where I'm like, I'm just sticking this shit out and <laughs> getting out of here with my 20 and uh, not having to worry about situations like that where I would have to con do a major conforming to where I was working. I figured I did enough conforming to be in the military. I'm not doing it in the civilian world where I don't get to like go in helicopters and blow shit up. Like I got to do that stuff so I, could, I conformed. It was okay. I got to do crazy, like really fun shit. Um, we just had a boy do the unbelievable act. What's that mean? What is your choice in real? You are the just responsible for something. Right, no, Catherine, I completely agree. I'm not telling other people 
what to do. I'm saying this is what I would do in this situation. Um, and I said, I think this is what I don't like about how some people are. If people don't see the point of view of what happens when you start forcing a quality. I hear this a lot and I don't like it. I don't like the idea of when someone meets them with, well, not everyone believes that or, well, we're, some people just aren't going to do that. And it's met with, well, there should be a law and then you're going to have to. That's like, no, no, there should never be a law. There should be laws protecting people, but there shouldn't be laws forcing people of other things. Um, I'm gender fluid, and but I can open because it's generally not safe. I have been physically abused, assaulted because of So is any advice on people who haven't been able to explain my identity? Well, let me, let me, um, let me say this. I am gender fluid. Now, when you say people, you, you can't explain it, I mean, it can be explained, just people don't get it. Like, if people can't comprehend what it means for me to be a transgender woman, you're right, they're not gonna understand what it means for you to be trans fluid. I get it, I, I totally get it. It's, <clears throat> and I, I personally think everything is on a spectrum and, and fluid, just at different, different levels, some, have huge shifts and others have small shifts um, not to be rude anything but what your type of style that you like to dress up as also I'm sorry you know, you, here, here's the thing you don't this whole idea of a generation that gets triggered and offended maybe I've just been through enough abuse when it doesn't phase me anymore um, let me read it again. As for um, how to deal with it, this is on the last question. Have you thought about living in a place where that type of bullshit does not happen? Um, or happens much less? I truly appreciate everywhere I go in Portland. If I go into a courthouse, it has um, very affirming... Li uh, <clears throat> wording everywhere it's 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 not it's a place of tolerance it's a place of inclusion it's makes i feel i feel safe everywhere i go in portland compared to other places but how to are you asking how to explain it to other people let me see uh um Where did it go? Read mine, read mine. Where, my, where is it? I'm Rebecca, blah, 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 blah. What is this? I I used to be very liberal, but became very conservative since 2020. Forcing is kind of annoying me, but I became a bit more understanding again. It's only a small minority. It's only a small minority of the community. Um... Like not even anything, but what's your type of style that you like to dress up? The type of style, one of them's Lolita. There's um, a couple I can't pronounce that are Japanese that mean landmine style. Um, I'm, I, I'm a leftist, I'm not liberal. The first time I heard that word, what word? Um, I thought... What word is that that you heard? Where is the person that wrote me, that wrote me but I am, I hear it, I'm gender fluid, but I can't be open because, yes. Um, I was not, sis, any advice for people who haven't been able to explain my identity? Um, let, let me ask you, what do you mean by having been able to explain your identity? I would, I would, I'm confused because here, your, that identity would be pretty well understood. Um, and it, like anything, it would be understood that 
to know exactly how it is for you, they'd have to ask. But the general idea of what it's general of um, what it is to be gender fluid is understood here. And to learn to respect others' decisions on how they. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I really, um, I, I need to be more thankful that whatever happened to my head in the TPI, I didn't notice anyone was being hate hateful, but I see a lot of comments telling them not to be, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Victor. If like two mins, if it looks like the, I don't know what that means. Thank you. Yes, I do makeup every day. Straight team ensemble. Okay. I mean, when it says straight men ensemble, that makes me feel like you're testing it out because you're a bunch of men that are identifying as straight, but you're all in an ensemble, which means um, one up. Attach, attach, attach. It just it sounds like pretty bad. Uh, how do you try and explain to others that I don't feel my gender as my gender changes? Um, I dress, and then there's not um, anything that changes. So how do I explain that my pronouns change? So let, let me make sure I understand how your gender fluidity works. You, if I'm hearing you correctly, you don't have a large swing from like extremely masculine and then eventually ending up on extremely feminine. It's more in the middle where it's androgynous, but your actual gender identity moves enough in your direction to shift to change your pronouns. Did I hear you? Did I hear that correctly? Yeah, I mean, that. See, sometimes I ha I have to try and think how would I explain it to somebody that has no idea about any of this th these things. Um, to be honest, it would be a lot easier to to. Being in an area where you don't have to constantly be explaining this um, is, is, this is, I think, something a lot of people need to take into consideration if they're having major issues with being themselves. There, is it worth trying to spend so much time and effort and fight the good fight. You're definitely doing some something positive, but at the same time, you're gonna be losing a part of yourself. There's gonna be constant, constant struggle that just might not be worth it. Not everybody can just pick up and go somewhere else. I'm not saying just Portland, but there are some definite places. If I somehow ended up there, I would not be staying there and get the F out of there. Um, To the to the pe to people that are willing to even acknowledge that it's that um you that you're gender fluid, just explain what gender fluid is. Um, explain to them what tra tra transgender woman is, what transgender man is. Explain how um, non-binary is just not being e either one of the genders. And then when you get to the part on you, just explain how it's not a huge shift like it can be in some people and it's just enough to where it it goes over the tipping point to the, to a, the other gender it's not a, and, if they, and if they don't understand it maybe with the explanation and getting to know you they'll notice it and understand it it's, it's to me it seems like such a simple um Definition. I mean, there's so much in life that's 
a spectrum that people don't want to admit sexuality is a spectrum. I mean, people don't, there's, people have very set reasons why they don't want to accept that. No one wants to accept that they could be kind of attracted, but not all the way attracted to the same sex. It does not make you bisexual to be a little bit attracted. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm nervous as, as F. I, don't, I can't really sit still. There's all sorts of stuff going on that mm, I'm not talking about at all on the live. That's got me really jittery. Mm. What's NASPA? What is that close to my birthday? Are you serious? It's, I'm, it's already that. What? I thought it was like the fifth or something right now. It's halfway through the month? Oh my goodness. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thank you, Mich Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Angie. Be a man. What, why? That, that's no different than me telling you to be the opposite of whatever you are. It's <clears throat> extremely. What, what is it? It's not ignorant. What's the word when people just make these ridiculous assumptions and it just. They're so arrogantly false, it, it makes me question, like, how? Just how do people, how are people so arrogant as to, to think that it's something I can just easily and want to do? I Do I know how to act the part? Yeah. Is it real? No. Just the same way I get told not to play, to play woman, that's what I'm doing with that stereotypical man. And when people say, oh, it's not about the looks, they're clothes. Well, it seems like for some people it is. Name, I don't know anybody in the NBA. Charles Barkley? Michael Jackson? No, Michael Jackson's not a, a, a bad basketball player. Okay. Let me finish up my hair. Oh. Anyway, people keep knocking. One of the things, I can't talk about this one because it's not about one of the other things. I keep getting people coming to the door since my address got posted saying that I'm a, um, on a registry. I can't tell if the people coming here to the live mean it from what they saw it or they're just saying it because they say dumb things. But that's really effed up. <sighs> Yeah, I am. Did you not hear what I just said? I don't understand why I'm not allowed to be extremely stressed and upset about that situation. And I was going every, all over my room looking for stuff. Okay, good. We do I have a response over here. Understand, understand why I'm not... Ex feeling completely awesome about that situation. Hmm. What happened? Um, more and more like nonsense accounts and I'm on Reddit, I guess. Somebody put up that I was um, on the registry for doing horrible things to minors. Totally false, total bullshit. And then I've had people knocking at the door, sometimes banging at the door, and I'm like, is this some freak out? And it's Portland, the police aren't gonna do anything. Why are you doing this at time of evening? I'm confused. Are you doing what? I've 
been ready for a while. I have been very stressed out and this is something that helps calm me. Um, it just took me a really long time today, but I really liked being the relaxation of doing my makeup for a long period of time. How um how do you interrupt more than more men identifying as women than the opposite? Wait, wait, what's this? Let me see. Let me see. How do you interpret more men identifying as women? Um <clears throat> what let's let's see what exactly the statistic is. <clears throat> Percentage of trans men to trans women. Let me find something we both agree is peer reviewed, real. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Did you have a good source on it? So I had an idea of what the ratio was. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what I thought. Everything I'm finding doesn't support what you said. There's not a disproportionately larger amount of transgender women than transgender men. Why well, I think it gets noticed that way, women can wear whatever they want. Female can wear whatever. Males can't. That's the main, major d difference. There are s so many transgender men that just don't even get noticed as being transgender men. But, um, someone like me there's this idea that even though I'm telling you I'm male some people hold a standard of this idea of passing and when that doesn't register in their head that way it seems maybe that there's a lot more when there's not a huge um, amount more from where I can find what, what what was the ratio that you had let's let's say I'm um, police the one here she should be arrested for how her makeup is oh. <laughs> um. right it's definitely more noticeable that that's totally correct but because it's more noticeable what do we do from there um oh thank you I don't hear them at all I really truly don't I don't know I didn't think there was that many people hating on me, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Here's a statistic that seems pretty stable that I've seen in a lot of other places. 29%, um, uh, this is of the transgender community, 29% are transgender men, 33% are transgender women, and 35% are non-binary. Oh, yes, yeah, yes, totally will. Transgender woman doesn't even make up the majority of the transgender community. Yeah, yes, I'm religious, I'm, I'm Catholic. Um, I think you're right, I'm sure there's a higher ratio, but but no, the sources. Mm -hmm. I mean, transgender men is the lowest. Um, Non-binary is the highest. And transgender women's in the middle. I mean, this is just another hypothesis. It might, 
that might also be slightly different. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if I would have had the need to go through some of the issues I had to go through if the same rules that apply to female women apply to male men. And what I mean by that is um, females can, can wear pretty much anything in this day and age and they're not going to get too much shit for it. Um, you'd be hard pressed, I think, to tell me what would be something that would cause ridicule the way a male gets ridiculed if they're wearing something that is pictured only for women. So if I didn't have to deal with that, if, if I was not made to feel bad for playing with baby dolls, if I was not um, treated so differently, I don't really know if there would have been any need to call myself anything different. Um, can you dress like um, short pants. I've worn shorts a couple of times. I have pants. Um, so many straight men wear makeup these days. Uh, well, they wear makeup in a different way. And yeah, and there's still people that don't believe that that's going on. And I want to make sure you do understand being trans doesn't mean I'm gay. And if I do identify as gay, that means I'm a woman attracted to other women. I've noticed that's something that a lot of people still seem to think is that um, trans means gay, which it doesn't. I think it's seen as less creepy as women to men. Right, but do you see how that's hypocritical? You are correct. It, it, well, I would, not everybody sees it as creepy. There's a, there is a huge amount of people in certain parts of the country that don't have a fear that causes them to think things that are different from them are, are creepy. Um. I, I did not say the majority of men wear makeup. I, I, I don't think the other person did. They said a lot of people wear, wear it. I didn't see them say the majority. I just, they were pointing out that it happens. Yes, I'm Catholic. Uh, it, it says it right in the, about me when you click on the live. I was trying, what was this? Uh, I have dated a biological. What? Okay. Here's the thing. I people are using words that um, I, I feel like somebody told you to use these words, and I don't think you understand how they are. Um, they don't make sense. Every everybody that's a human is a biological, whatever they are. It would still fit for me to say I'm a biological woman because woman is gen a, a gender. Um, <clears throat> you dated, I'm assuming, a male that identified as a man. And it, you can, hey, you can use whatever terms you want. I'm just saying how I interpret it. But doesn't make what you say wrong. Where did it go? Um, uh, a man dresses as a woman, huh? I don't, I don't understand. A man that dresses as a woman is a hermaphrodite. If someone still keeps the identity of man, that's a hermaphrodite. Um, a man dresses as a woman. I don't understand why you have XX for the top. That would be XY. Um, males are XY, females are XX. Uh, oh, here it is. Um, men that transition to female. Okay, see. It gets confusing when um, sex and gender are being intertwined like that. Uh, it's, it's not creepy. No, no. It, here's the thing. It would be creepy to me that the person I'm with was that was so 
Did well, did they have a did they have surgery or is it just the gender? Cause I hear this come up a lot. No, I would find it kind of creepy that my partner all they noticed about me was how I looked, and they didn't notice anything about the the deeper me the me. Um, you don't people don't change who they are because they come out as who they identify. Pretty much the only thing that changes is how they're presenting. Um, but all that means is I can't can't see it the way you do, but you your feelings are are valid for you. They're I'm never gonna tell someone that um because I don't feel that way that it's not valid. Um, yeah, we're gonna. I was just trying to get caught up on some of these. Uh, yes, I'm freaking the F out. Like, <sighs> there's a lot of bullshit going on right now. I'm just freaking the fuck out about it. It feels better to rock. It feels better to move. Um, I don't know if anyone understands like rocking. It, the reason people that are in like a psych ward or have a mental health issues, rocking truly does calm down things. And rocking doesn't make, isn't a sign of being, having mental health issues. It's just it, showing that it, it works. Because even in the most extreme situations, it's seeing Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's but it's only it's only as illegal as being able to catch who they are. You mentioned before you feel emotions differently. Um, when I say differently, it's because I'm all I was always getting yelled at for it, and there's two different ways I mean it. There are two separate categories. There's one, I, I feel emotions different because of my, I believe because of my blood type. Um, people though, that I've come across that are RH negative feel emotions different than people that aren't. But that doesn't mean, there's still some people that are just as empathic that are RH negative. I don't know, are you familiar with the different bloodlines and how they cannot explain how RH negative blood entered our evolution. And if there's anyone else out there that's RH negative, do you, do you feel you're very empathetic? Um, do you feel, what are some of the other things? Tr truth is really important. No, I'm not okay. Okay, let me, let me pull them up and tell me if you feel any of these are, Characteristics of RH negative. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, let's see if this one has it. Mm. And, and remember, there was a period of time where almost wasn't even the same species because women couldn't give birth to, if they were RH negative, they would attack the fetus of an RH positive baby. Let's see. <laughs> okay, that's not, that's just for the chemical they give now, blood type, personality, blah, blah, blah. Okay, here, here's one. RH negative traits. Let's see what this says. Oh, this is a TikTok. Let's see what they say. Although I don't really want to go off of a TikTok. Let's see what they say. 
No, let's go somewhere else. What? They're saying this plays into your sex drive. Let's see what that says. Oh, this is a journal. I don't want to read that. The history, blood type, personality. So here, here we go. Now let's type O. In places like Japan, you are judged based on your blood type. Um, 10 strange facts. Here, let's go here. Okay. Except. Mm -hmm. Okay. Here's one. Um. Negative blood types are more rare compared to positive blood types. Only about 15% of the population has RH negative. So right off the bat, it's pretty rare. Um, y'all stop it. Okay. And in places like Northern Spain, it's half the population. And in like Southeast Asia, it's like 0.02% of the population. Um, um, I don't know who you're going to pray to that's going to want to hear your hate. I mean, you're using and either you are never going to understand what I'm trying to say. So use that prayer power and hopefully something gets reflected back onto you. I'll pray for you too. And then we'll go out and cook. Let me read these. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Negative bloods are considered ancient and mysterious. They are said to have originated. Oh, this is where some of it gets a little. Eh. There are whole groups of people that think if we're RH negative, we might be lizard people. These are non RH people that. Think there's a giant conspiracy because every president's been RH negative. Let's see what else. Mm. Mm. RH negative blood is often referred to as the royal blood or blood of the gods due to conspiracy theories suggesting a connection between negative blood and ancient royal lineages. From what they've been able to gather, um, as far back as the pharaohs, Based on genetic traits, the royalty was RH negative. And this coincidence of RH negative ending up in the ruling class is even true for, um, let me make sure that's not something I just heard. Um, how many presidents are RH negative? Okay, yeah, yeah, this, I don't know how it can keep being a coincidence. Um, Biden and Trump are both RH negative. Every president that we've done this for has been RH negative. We haven't had a single president that wasn't. Yet, that only makes up 15% of the population. The royal family of Europe, RH negative. It's, If there's not something to it, there's an awful lot of coincidences. What's PIDR? You stand a long time. Mm -hmm. oh, I get it from Amazon. I'm a woman. One gives a shit about blood. Um, a lot of people actually actually do give a major shit about it. Um, there's countries that you will be not denied a job if your blood type does not match up to the one they're looking for for that position. Go to Japan and find out how things that maybe mean nothing to us are very real. I mean, and then look at the things in America that we judge people on that we really shouldn't, like skin color. I mean, it's different things evolve differently. Too much makeup. Let's see what else. Um, mm -hmm. 
I mean, it's really, it's, it was interesting to me because there were certain traits that I felt very out of place on. And then I was like, oh, okay. Everyone I've ever met that has the same RH negative feels how I do when somebody comes into a room that's very dark and draining, like it drains me. Um, you can feel evil when, when there is a person that is just, it's felt very strong. Would anyone else agree that it's an RH negative, that these are pretty common traits? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna go out to the kitchen and I'm gonna eat. Let me get some more water in me. Um, what do you think about 911? I have no, like, what's it, evidence or proof of anything happening. But I would totally believe it because of the situations that it set up. I mean, it benefited certain people far more than others. And it's just, but hey, I've also come to accept that things that can look like a huge conspiracy sometimes it just ha it does happen. So e either way, um, knowing if it was someone was behind it or not, it wouldn't change where we're at today. So mm. um, John, I don't think you were listening to what I said because that explanation. Of course, I would leave the dark person there. Mm -hmm. So none of what you're saying is true. The blood type isn't widely available to the general public as it's considered sense of medical. Uh, the presidents are, and so are royalty. That is not sensitive information. You, that information goes into all, all sorts of, what's it called? The, um, not the registries, the, you know how like when Trump, when Trump did a tweet, it got preserved. President, I, I gave you, Two examples, royalty and presidents. They do not have expectations of privacy. Their, their information is very public. You do not, you know that, right? That the president does not have an expectation of privacy because it's considered part of the history of the country. Um, every single tweet was uh, had to get archived. Hmm? Uh, right. But the initial ones that, that had the problem of, what's it called when you can't stop bleeding? That's why how it got the name Blue Bloods. Now, I'm not stating every single person. I'm stating the royal family of Europe was of RH negative. That's that family. Now, once you, you start marrying outside, it, it's going to change. But back in the day, they did have a lot of cousins marrying cousins. World War One was basically just one big family feud. Mm -hmm. Is that hemophilia? Yeah, that's that's also that's where it gets the name Blue Bloods, um, because of the inbreeding. Let's call it what it was. There was a lot of those traits that popped up. Right, but O negative is even more so, I would say, yeah. I mean, O positive isn't that like, that's one of the more common ones in the world, isn't it? Should I vote, do I like Trump? You get to pick whoever you want to vote for. Not this bullshit again where I just lost. Well, I spent all this effing time. Oh my God, how, how did I already forget? Okay, I didn't already forget, I just fudge. Okay, we're gonna go eat in a second. Oh, 
bitch out. Some more of this. Um, I don't know how how lit I'm gonna stay on. Let me ask what people want to do. I. Tomorrow, I'm going to go shopping. Um, I understand if some people are going to want to get off. I, I want to turn around and just sit down on my bed and just talk. And anyone that finds that boring and only likes the cooking, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm not feeling being exposed to that window again like I was last night. Um, I seen you in makeup before. You did get your eyebrows, stencils, and your eyebrows. Um, I seen you do your makeup before. Where did you get your eyebrows? Amazon. Amazon. Let me try and fix it. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I just connected it back over. It should be working. Let me see what happened. Uh -oh. Super chat. Thank you so much. I have, I have any surgery. What does that mean? Thank you, Michelle. So that's, okay, so is it still frozen? It should be fixed. I just turned on another one, yeah. Let me f finish making this. Whoa. What am I gonna, oh, I, want, I need a belt here. Let's put a belt on this. Yeah, how, how is it on YouTube? Let me check a look. Because people haven't been reminding me if I need to fix it. <sighs> okay, because here, here's the other thing is for some reason my iPad doesn't work very well out there. It's working in here. Cool. So, let, so like I said, if you only like the cooking, tomorrow I'm gonna take you guys um, shopping. And for those that are willing, that don't mind listening to me talk, I wanna go get something to eat and sit down. Make sure your windows and doors, yes, yes I sure did. Let me move some of this stuff. Let me put this stuff away. Put my drawers in. Okay, let's go. 
Come on, pick up, pick up. Okay, that should be there for you. We got a wig over here. Okay. Trish, just want to put your stuff on. Oh, that's what I gotta do. I gotta do a freaking first. Which is not gonna be fun. <sighs> Who's making that sound? Oh, I see. That's my other phone. I was like, how do I hear myself talking? That's so weird. Get this out of the water. Finish cleaning my brushes. That should be good. Put that right there. Okay. Beat everybody's ass. Maybe John bit his. Not sure if Dobby told you this, but he is at one of your. What? Is, what? What's going on? I can't. I can't see that whole message because it's not to my phone. Do they not know that they need to call my number? Uh, Oh well. Yeah, I I am I still have my old number on my iCloud and it flashes on my phone, but I don't have that phone number anymore. Do I have it on here? Let me see if I can find out who's writing me. Nope. That's messed up. Mm, oh well. It's lagging again? Is it? Let me know. I'll fix it. Stupid thing. Is it, is it still lagging really bad? Let me know. I'll go and reset it. So can I go follow? What do you mean, say that again? Um, honestly, don't dare what, what is this? Honestly, don't care what grown people do with their lives. Um, but I will never see it as okay to push religion because you think it can fit. I agree with that. I I hope you understand, I, I don't push mine. Um, is it still, is it lagging or is it any better now? Oops. Oh, I can look it up myself. I do, I think I do a pretty good job because I don't even notice it. I don't even notice the hate. It's frozen again? Wow, why do some of them have, let, let me put it on to 5G. There we go. That should be really good connection. That's my 5G. Hmm. Let me see. Um, 
going home. See how it's doing. Yeah, that's a really good connection, right? No, I'm looking at it and it's coming out perfect. It's not freezing. That's a really good connection. Yeah. Who's, who's on Tejo Trish USA now? It's really good, right? Hi Trish, um, I like your headbands. I don't know what they're called. My headband, do you mean, am I wearing a headband right now? I'm just not sure which ones you mean. Something was going on yesterday. I, I was not liked yesterday. <laughs> mm, yay, thank you guys. You guys are awesome. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You like it? Thank you. No, he fine? What's that mean? What's God better mean? What's God better? Um, Ram, Rambo B, I don't understand your question. Are you doing something? Are you eating candy maybe? Is it because I'm so sweet? You think that it must be um, trick or treating, giving away the most delectable delight you've ever seen? I understand how you might think that. Either that or it's a night to I'm, I'm your wildest fantasy, and you just weren't expecting it on just a regular day. I got you. It's okay. Yeah, I was going for something. Where I don't, I'm definitely not going for where it looks like I got a big gut hanging out. Okay, good. That's safety. Safety first. Yay! And now I think they're writing me too, as if like I did something wrong. Let me see. I can't get the full message because it's my old phone. Uh, 
Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I've got things figured out. Yes, I, I knew it was, I found out it was Dobby last night. One, that was just one of the incidents. Um, who's with you? Um, I told you, I have people that come here every, um, every night since I was without people and I went off the effing rails. Um, I, it alternates between a sober companion and a caregiver. They, there's such things as they'll collect a UA, they'll make sure that I'm getting signed off on my meetings. Um, in the mornings, sometimes when I, I'm not doing other things, like there'll be days where I don't come out in the morning. Um, we go over, what's it called? Executive, executive function something or other. It's a way to help me um, get better with my organization and memory. Really, really good things. People that have been watching me since, for at least the last six months, you would, I'm sure, notice when I would have an absolute effing meltdown, like on the daily, from everything being so effed up. And then, huh? Yes, I'm Catholic. And then, it was really hard when I had no help for, for 10 days. Um, things got really bad. I got sick, the migraines, I mm, couldn't, um, couldn't eat, couldn't do all sorts of things off my schedule. And then when, once I got them coming back again, I got back on my schedule pretty quick and it's, things are a lot better. <sighs> I wasn't prepared for certain things being done. Like, yeah. I've been trying to steer completely away from it, away from it, because I don't want to be spending every night on these things. <clears throat> but I can say this much. I don't understand why people that understand what a narcissist is can't understand that there is no possible way when anyone that's a narcissist has been offended that they will not completely turn the situation around. I think people, you know me well enough to know that the, the story that people are supposed to believe is that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I brought a woman to my room to, to F, to piss off my wife. Oh my God, I do not have an unaliving wish. I would not do such a thing. And if they honestly thought that was what I was doing, believe me, believe me, that I, I would not have survived without a scratch. Like, it's just insane to even believe that that was not planned out and told before it happened. But, hmm. Yeah, I do, but they aren't with me anymore. They made up a whole story about how I um, didn't really have someone working with me to get me more organized and help me stay on my sobriety, it was that I was effing them. Hmm. Yes.
I'm not, I can't imagine there is. Even for me, there is. It's in the microwave. Hmm. I feel better now that there's someone else in the house. Hmm? Um. Yeah. I mean, um. Within, within, within. The nasty ones, of course. But it, if they're asking me, like, appropriate ones, that's fine. Because I do have mental health. Um. Issues. My food's in the microwave. I'm gonna go get it when it beeps. But I want to let re remove this stigma. Too. I was terrified to talk about anything because I feel if I ex explain some of my mental health, if I explain some of the trauma, then I was gonna be invalidated for my gender identity because people would be like, "Oh, see, that's what it is. It's this mental health issue." Oh. oh. You're just that way because you're confused because of how your mother was. And the reason that's so scary is because sometimes I question if that's correct. Like, I, will, I don't and will never know the actual reason I am the way I am. All I know is I am the way I am. Hmm. This, this association, that's different. I, I do have the possibility of having that, but that's not going to play into my gender expression. Mm-hmm, do everything. Celebration. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Google 179. I'm a veteran, but I was a, sol I was a soldier in the military, yes. No, both can be true. I don't understand. I don't. I I said both can be true, but both neither can be true as well. Um, there's so much that I could could be affected by things I don't even know about myself. Hmm? Like I said, I'm pretty sure I've got. Why would I? Okay. Don't try and convert me. It's not happening. I'm not converting. There was a period I almost did. I really went through some of the early steps, but I'm not in a place where organized religion is going to hold sway over me to that level. When I say Catholic, it's how I identify the way someone says they're Jewish, but maybe not super practicing. Hmm. Right, but I'm, what I'm saying is I didn't want the reason for other people that I didn't want other people to insist saying, well, see, right there, you have this. That's why you think that. That's what I was not wanting to have happen. And it would be hard sometimes talking about the way my mother would be because you could very easily try and make that claim if you already didn't believe that there was a, such a thing as being trans. And I'm the only one of my siblings that is, tra is trans, and no one, so I don't think that could be a reason. Do, do people think like it was, um, I thought it would be a good thing to be trans? Are all personalities, um, I have no, all the main ones are Trish's. They're, they even have the same name. Um, let me go, let me go get my food.
I'm fucking sick going all over the effing place on me. <clears throat> I booby trap shit all the time. Hmm. Commenting about um her health and maybe she isn't so mm hmm Okay, what, what do you want to address? People have been saying this for a while now. And I don't know what to respond to them. I'm in a program. <laughs> I get tested quite frequently. And I have someone here right now who their whole job is to make, make sure I'm doing those things. People that have seen me know I... I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what to say anymore because I can't say I feel normal. I can't say everything's okay. I can't say I'm not doing certain things because these are all very true, real things. I'm anxious, paranoid, I'm worried, I am deeply, deeply sad. I feel empty, I'm alone. These are all real things I'm going through. Um, it's, I, I feel because I'm not putting on the face of how I feel. It's not really getting through how unbelievable a situation I'm finding myself in. I... I just never, I never, I never thought that this is the situation I'd be in. And, uh, yeah. I just want people to stop making those comments. Let's see. Emo, I'm pretty sure she said she's not in a, not in a place aren't to get married. Um, I'm not, yeah, I, I'm confused on what that means. I'm not looking to date. Is that the question people are asking me? I'm going to do the whole no dating because you're not in recovery. Yeah, you can ask me a serious question, Stone Ghost. Thank you. Oh, I got to finish. I want to finish my freaking... Thing. Oh, awesome. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. Thank, thank you. Thank you for being, like, cool about that. I'm a, I appreciate, like, the people that are, that treat me like a human. It's sad that, like, that's what it's come to, that I just now realize I get excited for being She's like a human. That sounds terrible. Oh my god. She's finishing this up. Love the cupcake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Ah, 
cheapers. Let me pick up the mess I made from fixing my lipstick. doing something. I completely forgot what the app I was doing. What was it doing over here? May lipstick. That's right. I'm going to do red. Oh my goodness, my lipstick is atrocious. What the fudge happened to it? That was pretty terrible. I did not realize it got that bad. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is still probably not the best, but it's, it's getting there. Hmm. Um, Jesus loves all of us. We're all sinners. You don't. Yeah, I know, but you know, some churches go overboard with making people feel like crap for sitting shit. You know, it's. Not. I mean, how am I mean? I'm, there are churches that go overboard with it and tell um, people that based on who they love, they're sinning. That's overboard in my book. Did you really think that was mean? By me saying, oh, okay, I, was like, I didn't think that was mean. Thank you. Thank you. I was just doing um my, my look that I do once in a while, just you know, little um British preppy something or other. It's pr quite different from what I usually do. There we go. What happened? What did I say? Have you seen the British show Absolutely Fabulous? What happens in it? Is there a really tall person in there? Um, I watched Downtown Abbey before I watched. I loved Doctor Who. Um, what other British shows do I watch? I watch, I don't know. I watch some more, but I can't remember. Um, if you were called to active duty, I have, yes, I have been asked this many times. Yes, yes, and yes. I would do what they t said. If they said, you can't be Trish while you're active duty, which they most likely would, I, yeah, that's fine. I'd be Sergeant, I'd be Sergeant Furman again. Or maybe my commission would finally go through and I wouldn't still have that issue that I had in the 90s hanging up. I'd be a butter bar. Yeah, of course I would. Why wouldn't I? Well, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. It depends on the reason, okay? If it's some bullshit land grab for... <sighs> there's some corporation's precious um, resources being threatened. No. It would have to be something that was real, I guess. Do, do you know what I mean? Some 
we're gonna have okay I understand both sides I, and all I can say is I don't like that people feel they have to be um, worried about questions I think the people that are making questions that aren't appropriate they know that that kind of questions is inappropriate has anyone seen an example of one that would have been completely appropriate? I mean, just because it's in question form doesn't mean it's not trying to be very hurtful, maybe. I mean, if someone says, are you a man? That's okay. That's not unacceptable because that's the language some people have. So what I do when I look at and think, is this somebody being re real or you know, just trying to say something stupid, I try and think, what is the vocabulary they most likely have? And, because <clears throat> they're not going to be able to ask a question the way I would. And I have to be okay with that. Some of them will be, will talk about how I have genitalia and try and say something. That's okay too. It's, it's, going to be challenging what they expected so midsummer's murders yes i haven't seen that just nosy oh is that what you mean the nosy one well i'm there's a certain topic i'm just gonna steer clear of except for the parts when i'm getting overwhelmed at um having to come to terms with, there's no possible way that's in my mind that people don't know that at this point, there are certain things that have just become a call for people that want to bash the, um, people, anyone that's trans. There are things that are so Looney Tunes about claims against me that there are people that, of course, want to believe them. They want to believe them so they can say that um, people that are trans are effing nut jobs. Because if the things that I'm accused of were true, yeah, that would be an F. That'd be a crazy person. Like, it's just... Hmm. What is the British one with a really tall girl in it? Do you know the one I'm talking about? Did I get what? Breast augmentation? No. Hmm. See what's being pulled up this time. What kind of crazy insanity? Mm hmm. You have had any water of power? You have had any water of power? Yeah, I've been drinking it right here. And let's turn this around and sit down. Hello. Uh oh. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Let me 
know if you want me to change the angle or anything. What was he doing? This one. This one needs to come out. Uh. Oh, geez, that th I didn't. Oh, wait, did I? Let me see. Nope, I didn't. I need to take the freaking picture first. Okay. I need to go back out and take this one real quick. <clears throat> finish this. Ah! You silly phone. Why are you falling to the ground like that? Um, Lucy there not being a bully. Are you guys saying I'm being a bully? What are we talking about now? Um, Lu is Lucy someone coming on from a uh, world of make-believe and trying to enforce that make-believe onto us? Because that has become really annoying where all people have to do is open a book and clearly see very, very real patterns and very real tactics that... No, I know not me. Oh, it's not. Okay, good. I thought it was something else. Cause I get called a bully a lot lately. And it's like, I'm not a bully. Uh, how many wigs? Maybe 40. Good, thank you. I'm sorry. I'm back. Hey. Okay, let me try and I don't know. Guys, same something happened. That's not gonna work. Oh shoot. Sorry about that. Sorry you got turned off for some reason. I don't know why that happened. Let me plug this one back in. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I've got... Let me get my first one. Everybody, let's party tonight. Are you? Oh, okay. How do you do this then? Oh, that's not how you. FR, FR, not that hard to read chat, a little harder for me to scroll. Sorry, I didn't see. No, mm, pretty normal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, what do you mean, like, when you say military experience, what does that mean that you want to know? 
um, experience like the schooling I went to. I mean, in the army, which is the one that I consider having relevance because I, I deployed with it. I don't consider a lot of my experience in the Marine Corps very relevant. Thank you, Callie. Um, I served in Fort Benning, Fort Bliss. My name? Yeah, I can explain my name. Um, how in depth, like where it came from? There, there was the patron saint of Ireland was St. Patrick. And my family is quite Irish. I was named Patrick and it's now Patricia. And Trish is the nickname of Patricia. And Tejo is where I lived in Hanoi. It's, you can't see them from that no matter where you're at. I I see that window every time we come in, you can't see it. We're way up high. Is it lagging again? Let me see. I don't know what's happened to this account. I'm so hated again. Um... Yeah, I told you, I didn't rest very much last night. I, um, there's a lot of things that are really sh surprises. Um, most of my life, things weren't really major surprises. It was, I could kind of feel like, okay, this or that. I'm totally in shock at, at, at certain things that are going on right now. I'm just completely blown away and... I feel like I'm losing, I don't want to say this the wrong way and then people call me crazy later. I feel like I'm losing a little bit of my, my mind. <sighs> I'm, my mind is so wound, it's so replaying things. It's, it feels like this is what it feels like to start to go a little bit crazy. I mean, for right right now, I'm just on the two. I'm just keeping it with um, TikTok and YouTube. I, I turned off the other ones. What's 
excellent. Aren't you, um, aren't you aren't a real man. You're right. I'm not a man. I'm not a man. So you're right. I'm not a real man. Why did you serve in the military? Because I wanted them to make me a man. I mean, technically, I was still a boy when I enlisted. I was 17. I wasn't a man yet. So, I thought maybe they could turn me into a man. Um, my recruiter promised me that they could. They said that's what the Marines did. They turned boys into men. I said, well, I remember back then, I didn't have, I didn't know what trans was. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, I am. I have lots of CD. See how many people get mad about my floor having a couple of things on it. Make up. I can't believe that's my house. Girls just wanna. I'm just I'm uploading this one real quick. Trish, you're not, thank you for saying I'm a nice person. I think I'm a nice person. Do I still have um or they revoked it? Um I live in a, I live in Oregon. I can just walk to, to a store and walk out. It's open carry here. Um it goes state by state. I guess they just passed some federal ones. Um, I You don't need a license. It's in the states I've lived in. If you're in New York City, you need a special permit, but not licenses. Anyone know? Are they even allowed to call it a license? What do they, what do they call it? Um, there's a difference between privileges and rights. Privileges you need to earn to keep. Rights are your absolutes. Girls just want it. Options English da, 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 da. What? and Phyllis. There we go. What's going on? Talking to me? Can you talk to me for a while? What's going on? Um, what's wrong with your eyewear? Which which part? Which eye? I can't see. Do you see? I don't know. 
a lot that could be wrong. I have no idea how to answer that. Let's let's talk about something. Let's see. Um, what are some people asking for the people asking pronouns? Yep, it's she, her, and they, them. And the reason I do that is, <clears throat> in all, well, I don't want to get that into depth into it. I would prefer she, her, because those are the pronouns that would go with the gender of a woman. Pronouns are not based on your sex. Our language is gendered. And then I understand there are going to be people that are like, no, you are not a woman. I'm not using she, her. I'm like, okay, they, them. They, them is gender neutral. How about that? Um, do you like, I don't know who that is. I, my TBI keeps me from, um, remembering a lot of nouns. Oops. <gasps> thank you so much for the Bodhi boat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. With the <gasps> What was the name of the bug? There they are. Bug my world. Thank you. Dude, did you change your, your, your picture? Bug my world? Is that slightly different, bug my world? Looks a little bit different. Um, um, you do understand that they is singular too. It's not. Okay, are some people from a certain part of the country? Because um, Dobby also thought it was just plural. Um. I've used it in for both plural and singular since I was young, very young. I don't know if it's because in New York we used it more. Anyone else from New York know what I'm talking about? They has always been both plural and singular. So read some people of your in your in the chat, huh? What's going on? What are we identifying as, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I'm human just like I am every day. Trish, just like I am every day. Besides those two identifiers, what, is it, what, what does it matter? You can see who I am. It's, um, they especially, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just remember all the time, it'd be like, where'd your brother go? And I'd say, I don't know where they are. I don't know where they went. Maybe they're outside. Hmm. <laughs> According to Alexa, they is plural. Well, check again, and I guarantee it's gonna, it's gonna say plural and singular. Because, I mean, the minute I was an English teacher, it's both. And you need to keep going past the first definition. Words have more than one definition, more than one meaning. So the first one can be plural, but it's also singular. I mean, the, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what parts of the country didn't use it that way, where there's people that have, didn't know that, that it was singular. Let's see. Um, singular. Okay. They, <clears throat> see. they has traditionally been a third person plural pronoun in parts of the United States, as opposed to a singular, used to refer to groups of two or more people or things. However, it is also widely used throughout other parts of the countries and nowadays as a singular pronoun to refer to an individual person of unknown or non-binary gender. This usage is referred to as the sing singular they. What part of speech is they? I don't know. And don't get hung up on when it says unknown gender. It was also just just because it was easier to use. I, again, had no idea of all this stuff, and I used they singular a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> It shows me exactly where society is at 
when I, I know a lot of things I have um, brought on myself, but there's also things that I'm just not capable of doing. It just would go against everything that I stand for. Um, and then there, there's even things that just aren't even physically possible for me at the moment. And to have to, to know that I am having to battle these ridiculous things, like, I remember the days when I just had to deal with people asking bathroom questions and kind of silly stuff like that. I never thought I would be betrayed in this manner and have this amount of vicious lies about who I am and have to defend myself against something I, I'm not. I, I am a lot of uh, things, but cheater is not one of them. It just isn't. Hurt. You know, yeah. To to have there's people out there that hate me so much they want to polarize people and put all private matters up about <clears throat> other people up online. Like why? Why do you want to do that? And I, I get really disappointed in society when they will constantly question everything about me, where I am pretty open in admitting I have disabilities when it comes to um, my TBI. People would rather they believe that somehow I don't, I would make up a TBI and I, I would be retired over something I made up. It's, I, I think it's by eyeshadow. Uh, Dobby dropped her after the day. She does stick around the next day, but she's gone. Mm. Um, no, I don't, I don't have, um, an honorable discharge. I don't have one that's not honorable either. I, general under honorable. I've never denied that I, um, was, was, was run out and had difficulties getting out. And that's why I wanted so bad to go into the army. But again, it wasn't dishonorable either. It just wasn't honorable. But again, I didn't do anything. I didn't deploy. I didn't do any of that. Um, it could have been much worse. It could have been much worse. The, the type of discharge they were looking at giving me um, would have been much worse. I, they want, I mean, they ended up just separating me and giving me that, which is what it is. It ate at me because of this, the, the situation of things that happened in there. I'm so glad everything in, in a way worked out and I was able to go back and make myself pr proud. If I had to go through um, where I didn't go back, like just, if I had just decided like, no, F it, I'm not, I'm not going back. The Marines, what, what happened there was such, such, such a bitter taste, like I'm not going. I would regret it so much today. I am so, so glad I got to do the things that I wanted in the Army. Um, I, I've talked about before, I, I, was in a relationship that was forced that I did not want to be in. And by the time I brought it to, 
to my chain's attention, I was the one blamed as someone that was a cancer of the core. It was my type, my type. That the other person was well respected, married, kids. Like, there's no possible way they played any role in it. I was. Thank you. Um, what, 214 is a Navy form? No, all military gets DD-214. Every completion of federal orders, you get a DD-214. Um, I, I got a DD-214 in the Army, too. I got a DD-214 on my Title 10, and I would get a stateside one on my Title 32. Um, see... Life hasn't been hard. It's been life. Like, I I feel very blessed and lucky. I took for granted having a really good childhood until I, now that I see how much people that I see in my program that didn't have one has affected their life, I, I got really lucky there. Is it lagging? Let me fix it. One of the phones is about to go kapoop poop. Because of a bad rule, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's. Other things ended up happening that ended up making a lot of the things that used to really bother me um, not really be that seemed like that big of a deal. And that's not a good thing that I ended up feeling that way. That's more like uh, things were so good for me growing up that when finally something happened that was just so against everything I believed in and was taught, it, it really weighed heavily on me, but having it happen so close together since tra transitioning, having it happen at, at the Bath VA, being attacked again in Cambodia, then being ta attacked again last August right in Vancouver, it's something where it's... Life's, life happens and there's no such thing as trying to expect it to be any which way or fair. Um, but then the events of the past couple months, that's a whole level of shock I did not, did, didn't um, prepare myself for. I knew things weren't going perfect, weren't even going very well, but I... <laughs> I can't picture ever trying to do harm to people though. I, that's what's really making me scared of other things because once I realize I can't trust my gut, I don't know somebody at all. And the really crazy things aren't from them, it's from this other person that's just but not doing all these trollish pages. So, it's, it's, it's. I, I mean, I, this, I mean, it's like, and I know I'm gonna be made to be the bad one when I absolutely, everything is cut off. There's open misgendering dead naming me all these things that you you can get in a lot of trouble in Oregon for, for doing um, posting my dead picture all for a GoFundMe just to basically humiliate me it's not um, moved up at all I've offered I had always offered to continue to support everyone if they basically didn't Harass me to the level of nervous breakdown. And the amount of lies in here. Yeah. 
It's what I can't understand why, like, the, <laughs> says, they make it seem like they have no save. They have a, they have, oh, I don't want to get into it. I don't want to get into that, but they've got millions of dollars. They, they act like it's nothing. Um, and look what they're, this is what they, they, they publicly are putting. Um, they've committed felonies. You, you can't post somebody's medical diagnosis on a GoFundMe. That is, that's something that one of the counselors has a serious issue with that is so shocked that somebody would do something like this. Um, it says, suffers DID and has seven personalities when he's the children are afraid to even go in the kitchen for food. So the situation continues to escalate. Did you ever see the children afraid of me to go in the kitchen? Hmm? What's, what's happening on USA? Is there something going wrong? Um, I worry for me too. The situation continues to escalate. She is actively searching for an apartment. They've had an apartment. This went up after they got an apartment. Mm -hmm. Rent and utility. I gave them three grand for the first part and I was doing things to continue to give them things until I found out all the stuff that was publicly posted. The fact that society didn't have a problem was, didn't ask the question of, as a spouse, why would you let a veteran with a TBI live in that kind of mess? And not only did you let them live like that, not do anything, you videoed it and posted humiliating them. Like, I don't, ex I, because I say I wish they would ask that question, I didn't ex expect help. I just mean, why do they want to go to question my service rather than question, why would you ever humiliate anyone you cared about? Unless you never did. If you never cared about someone, then you totally can do it. I'm so <clears throat> and while other people are coming from a place of I guess I just discussed them. Um, I keep getting hit with this. I didn't, I... The narrative is so beyond anything I can recognize anymore. The whole, I didn't marry a woman. Like, yeah, I know. The first time we got together, you didn't. But the second time, you absolutely did. And it just, it makes me feel I've never been... I've never been loved by anyone since I've been, since I've transitioned. So it's undone some of my, my confidence, some of my self-esteem to realize that I was in a position where I was just coming out into who I was and I was taken advantage of for it. Knowing that it, that very critical moment in time flying to another country to come out as who I was, that I would believe anything I was told. So I, I'm, I'm dealing with heartache, being, you know, realizing that I was never good enough for us, other people. That hurts. That hurts to, 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 to try to. And this is the part I'm talking about that is my fault that I'm ta that I let happen. I should not have tolerated that kind of um, codependent relationship. Yeah, no, after I've seen what happened, yeah, I absolutely get that. See, before I could never see what other people were seeing because the facade of them being an actual caring person in a relationship with me, I still thought was was real. Once I saw that um, they were willing to humiliate a disability of mine, claim 
I wasn't injured in Afghanistan, all these things, and that I was sleeping with a person helping me with sobriety when they knew it. in our relationship, I am super embarrassed about, I can't perform in that way because of what happened to me in the attack. That's why I was going to the urologist. So it, they, they put me in a situation that no matter what, I would be extremely embarrassed. Either I would have to let people know about um, what had happened and be humiliated for not having certain things work on me, or not explain that part, and people would really wonder how I would how how I would be such a terrible person to have somebody in the same room. Oh, I just that's. And then when pe people don't get it, like, I don't know what, what do they want me to do different? I thought I was doing everything I was supposed to. I never would have um, made anybody come here. I never would have forced anybody. What's going on? I'm sorry. Me not you. Um, you love to do that. That's her thoughts that may not be true, but you can't change other. Oh, no, I, <clears throat> listen, I know I'm. Like I said, I have to accept I let this go on. Um, I have to accept that. Um, I kept making excuse after excuse after excuse to not see that it, I was told. I mean, it's so glaringly obvious that it was just <laughs> let's get let's let's get our hands on this person that's a good person, that's an honest person, and has a pension, and has this and this. Um, the amount of things that never made sense, the agreeing we were gonna work. We had, a, we had a school together, the website's still up there. I worked really hard, we were gonna buy the house. And then last minute when I was away, they're like, oh, um, we couldn't put your name on it. And I didn't think anything of it. But now I get it. I don't know why that my name was never put on the house we got. Oh yeah, I took all sorts of verbal abuse because there was a part of me that truly believed I deserved it. I tr yeah, truly felt like I deserved it because I had been convinced that I owed, I owed them. The situation was, there are things that I found out and didn't really want to stay in the marriage and left and went back to the U.S. But then I also fell in heavy, heavy into addiction. And that's in August of 2021 is when I became Trish. And I didn't, I didn't tell anyone right away because I didn't know what it meant. But eventually things sounded like I was wanted back as Trish. I went a whole year being told I was, went through immigration being told I was. And then the moment I came to the US, I wasn't accepted as Trish. It's very clear on all the social media that we used to do. We were together, 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 and then just gone in the United States and you can, I could always, they were always one way with me. Never wanted to do anything, never wanted to go out, never wanted to hang out, never put anything nice on, never put any makeup on. And then anybody that came to the house for them, they got all dressed up for, they put on makeup, all these things. And I would be humiliated for doing social media and for how I dressed. And the whole, when I would document every, every day, I kept them out of it when they were the m main issue that I was kind of beating around the bush on every single day. Just, it's hard to find out you were in love with a person that doesn't exist. 
it's almost as if it, it's for me like I lost like a very like a very real unaliving. I never got to say goodbye to the person I know of as a caring person. It's as if that person was just ripped out of my life and gone. Um, I've been bad mouthed to, to the kids and they're in a position where they can't do anything. This hurts. I'm sorry. See, I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do that. I'm trying to um, just push through things, work on myself. Um, no, I. I can't. I can't make other people. And I'm not that. Um, choose to believe something so ridiculous. Want to choose? Want to believe that I'm a, a narcissist because I have self worth and don't feel bad about being who I am? There's a lot of people that think I should feel like absolute shit for being trans. Oh no, I'm not. This is this, this is what me and um, my therapist have gone over. Um, what what's something that you think I've overthought? Yeah, I mean, I call it. I've processed it through. Um, in, until I put the two personas together in my head, I was going to be stuck in a world where I was never going to have closure. <clears throat> and until I stopped blaming other people for what they did and took responsibility for allowing it to happen, I would continue to make those mistakes in the future. Um, people are people, and if you accept people where they're at for who they are and that's on you for accepting them and that's why i can't go i can't go blaming anyone and i really wish i could like i would love to but if i did that i'd be ignoring ignoring how i wanted to be loved so much that i was willing to overlook a lot of red flags and that's not their fault they were pretty honest about like things they you know didn't consider like certain things what, what i considered them <laughs> um so which looking back i can't believe i allowed myself to Believe that. Like, when we, when we got together, um, my divorce wasn't finalized. It was, you know, everything was signed. Everything was going through. The judge just, it's Hawaii. got held for a while. So, in my mind, I thought that was no big deal. Everything was, you know, fine, fine. And then, the day before we were going to go have our paper signed for the marriage, you don't go before a court or anything. They just stamp a paper. I got told um, about a relationship, and what was so confusing is they truly saw nothing wrong with it because they considered me still married, even though we were living together. And it was my fault because I had lied. I said I was sep. I said I was separated, and. And I still and I still went through getting married even after that. So they've been very upfront and honest about what, who they are and what they see. So I just wish the other people not involved in it wouldn't would stop egging other crazy people on. To be clear, I'm not talking about anyone I've been related. <gasps> Thank you so much. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Nicole. There's random strangers that are egging other random strangers on by making fake TikTok sites, making up incredibly ridiculous things, making more and more people make threats. I just, I really don't like the 
knowing that there could be someone that's just so whacked out of their head that they truly think I'm a threat. Like that whole Pizzagate thing where that guy went down and took people hostages all because he heard some crazy thing. Oh. Hmm? It, it is. It's, when you type, when I type in my name, I don't recognize half these sites. They're not me. Or the freaking Reddit. <laughs> I don't read Reddit, so. I've heard it's pretty terrible. I heard it's pretty nasty. <laughs> mm. I don't, okay, I don't know what's going on. Mm. Um. Yeah, see, I don't, are you sure it wasn't muted? It, it, was it muting? Because, um, there shouldn't be even be a way to, to do that. Mute, unless, yeah, yeah, the only people that get, that get, um, blocked and removed are the ones that, they know what they're doing on that one. They're going back onto multiple things. They're harassing people. But if if it was anything else, I don't, I don't know. You have to ask them. I really am trying to. There'd be no way I'd be able to look and do anything. Um, I'm not the one that would would know. And I, I I'm ter I'm. I don't know what to say on it because I completely trust my mods and it's <clears throat> so many other things I just don't know what to do. I'm sorry. I, I don't think um quit having it their choice if they have a problem with it. The life. What? What's going on? Um quit hating how did I hate anybody's choice? You did you hear what I, I am I not expressing what I'm trying to say clearly? I'm trying to explain I there's nothing I would be able to know or do because I'm not doing that. So telling me I don't know who they are, I don't know what was said, so it, it feels like I wish there was something I knew or could do, but that's the whole reason why I'm not doing it, because I was terrible at these kind of decisions. I was not good at all. That's what I'm trying to say. Hmm? We, they weren't talking to you. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> As you can see, it's, it's a sore spot because I, I, I hate confrontation and I hate upsetting or disappointing people. And I feel like in that those situations, I'm, I don't know, I have no, no idea what to do. It's, it's. I really hate this feeling in my stomach of anxiety. This sucks. Oh, YouTube. Yeah, they can be. I'm sorry. It can be very, very, very um, vile over there at times. It's a full time thing when they get really bad over there. And like I said, I'm. They're gonna be more vile people because of some of the things out there where it's now become almost like this snowballing effect of making stuff up about me. <laughs> I'm hoping someday I can look back and laugh. I don't know. Oh, I look so pretty in that. Um, what, what's this? Uh, what's this going on? Let me, let me see. Uh... Right, but, um, Trish, do you understand what was done? Um... I wasn't living at this house for a very long time. I did not have any furniture. All the income I had was going to supporting two adults working jobs. And between going out, 
to my program, coming home and then doing more to earn an extra income for that family. They took video of my disability and publicly humiliated me. In what world do you, do you video your spouse that's trying his, their best to help you and humiliate them? Like you, you, I hope you understand the situation. Two adults were working. I was also working on top of going to my program to pay for their bills. And in return, they videoed me and my inability to stay organized and on top of things with lack of time. And rather than help, sent those videos in to people that wanted to hurt me. That's very real of what happened. And the other thing, when I accused them of not helping and being used, they went and deleted an account that made me $1,000 a month because of how viral everything went on it. And I was told I deserved it because of what I said. And it's very, very confusing that it's be, that they're saying things that they know are just not true. The idea that I would bring someone in and cheat, I never retaliated against my wife when she cheated on me. Why would I do this out of the blue, have somebody come over and in the room right next door. That just doesn't make sense. But people choose to believe it because they would rather believe something so crazy and insane than acknowledge my gender. I have to be a crazy person that has crazy ways of identifying. For the people out there contributing to it, that's easier for them to believe. And that's, I, that's, that hurts, that hurts. Oh, that's doing a lot better now, that's cool. Um. Yes. Yes, and it's not even debated. It's that I deserve to lose that. I, this American account is my small account. I had a large Vietnamese account with hundreds of videos over 10 million. Um, a bunch of them were not even, they, they weren't copying any music. It was all original content and that you, TikTok pays well for. It was in the Vietnamese market, which didn't pay a whole lot when I was, after I was in the United States a certain amount of time, I got paid an American rate and it was, it was an extra grand. When I lost that, that's when I had, I started doing lives a lot more and doing stuff in the kitchen. So the amount of betrayal to have the mess videoed when it was me spending extra hours working to continue to support everybody the way I was, that's, and then to go and find out that with them not paying anything for a year, they were, they had already had a place picked out and ready to go the day I came in and they claimed I was cheating. So it was just the reason they wanted to give to go do it. They then had money to buy furniture, to buy this, to buy that. So people are so willing to believe that they had no money to pay for a single thing here. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, they just got up and left. It was, this was planned. It, they knew, what I don't understand is they know they, they talked to, that we've been going to counseling and this is, it's gonna be very real documented that they were told that, that day, that that would be the day that the person would be coming. And they said, okay. So I, I don't understand what they're gonna do when, it, when a narcissist is confronted with the absolute truth. I don't know what will happen. I mean. <clears throat> oh, well. 
Oh, well, anyone that wouldn't want their spouse to have the help they needed is not someone that would be good for me anyways. If argument doesn't make sense. Look how look how bad they are. They can't do this. They can't do that. I'm not going to help them. I'm just going to video and send it in. And then like, oh my God, somebody's here to help them. I don't want them getting help either. That That's the predicament I was in. I couldn't get them to help me. And then I wasn't supposed to have people here. So, oh well. I don't try and make sense of it anymore. And I don't. Hmm. There's. It, just, it There's so much that doesn't sit right with me. Hmm. This is one of the reasons I have no idea if I'm ever what a relationship would ever look like for me in the future. Because I, I always try and rush in and take care of everything, of absolutely everything. What hurts is my father doesn't talk to me anymore. They were able to, as, as a truth, I swear Harvard John is my saving grace. If, if I didn't have him to explain and help me understand bigger pictures of things, I would have lost it by now. My dad doesn't talk to me. He was, I've been separated from him by certain people, which is in, a, in the exact playbook. I've been demonized as... There's been claims made that they t my PTSD, when I have nightmares, has been used saying that I was actively using drugs and the reason I had nightmares was because of drugs. Anyone that knows the, how PTSD works and stimulants work, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. So, I, so my dad thinks I... Um, blew through a ton of money on narcotics when in reality that's the money I spent to come to the country. Uh, I'm not saying the world is upside down. You chosen to bring light. Please know this. Oh, I'm, listen, I'm heading in the, in, in, the, in the right direction. I'm going forward. I'm not all the way there yet. I haven't given up on anything. I'm just very real with I'm not in a great place right now. I'm not. I'm not liking how I feel at all. You must have much more than your past. You have the whole... Listen, I know that. I I totally do. But it's so scary right now. What What does it look like? My whole identity for the future existed in how I was helping others. I had never stopped and thought what's, what would that, ha what kind of meaning would that have if it turned out that it, none of that was real? And so since I never thought about it, here I am right now in a very desolate, empty, alone situation. Oh, I do journal about it. I do. I just, I can't use my hands, but I do journal about it. I don't know. I don't know what the future will bring. There's um, some scary realities. Since I lost that page, there's no way I'm getting something like that back. That was the thing I invested so much time into because um, it would continue to go up as it did better and better. So my other... Uh, uh, Option is to keep doing what I'm doing because <clears throat> I also have to deal with the very real realities that the VA is not going to help me with 
the extra help I need and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be responsible for that and that's something I'm have to keep doing the things that as of right now I like doing I, I I'm so glad I like it otherwise that would be really hard to if I felt trapped in that way I am so scared of what life would look like if I was completely just abandoned, where I didn't have the ability to make myself the income needed to get the help I need. Times in my life have been very scary when I haven't been able to take care of myself. And it's a very hard thing to come to terms with accepting that um, I can't sometimes. When the car, no, absolutely do not. The car, I need it. The car is something I needed. That was budgeted to the side for an investment of a car. Um, the amount of money I would have had to pay for a, a used one would have been the same because of the interest rates. And it's within the workable limits. I just need to get that car. I need to get the insurance people on top of that. Remember, I have a whole car that's paid off that has like 30,000 miles on it that's going towards this. So it's, it's not. Um, I was trapped before without a car. And if I had bought something just on the cheap, I could be stuck with something that didn't work at all. And I have, I've never put myself in the position where I can't pay my bills. It's I can't pay the extra to have the specialized help where I function at a higher level. That's the only thing that comes down, comes down to. But um, I just got, I'm just gonna stay positive and hope it doesn't go back, nothing goes backwards. Now that I, I feel like I can't talk about this one set thing. And I don't understand, I, I have a real hard time ever saying anything negative about any, um, anyone that's identifies similarly to me, I guess. Um, But I didn't, I didn't realize how much it was bothering me that I had never met anyone um, that was a combat veteran and, and um, had dealt with all that shit. And then also was a transgender woman. And it was so overwhelmingly disappointing. <laughs> I was like, um, all that kept going through my head is if this is the person other people are introduced to first, this is the very first transgender woman they meet, I get why some people give me so much freaking shit. I, I, I swear I do. If, if I met this person first before I knew, met someone else, I would think they were all a bunch of little whiny, self-centered all about them oh man. i would have had a very angry outlook because <laughs> that's the thing i've never got to to talk to anyone to know like um what was it what was it like with these very specific things of never being questioned when you were, you know, did the things you did for the uniform and yeah, no reason to think that would ever go away to well, because people dislike us so much now, they try and take away a very, there's so much emotion tied to my service and it's like hitting a raw nerve of that emotion when I get told 
I didn't, I didn't serve. I know I shouldn't let it bother me. Not knowing I shouldn't let it and actually being able to do that aren't the same thing. Oh my goodness, I've missed so many comments. I'm sorry, I didn't see them. I can't imagine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Christopher, I, yeah, I should do that. <laughs> I'm the one, yeah, I take blame on this one. I traded, I wanted to feel loved and not be alone more than I wanted to um, look into the red flags. It's, I, I've made plenty of not great decisions in my life. This is just one more of them. <laughs> There's still a lot of baggage I need to get off of me. Um, I still have some things stuck into me. Like I don't have the right to be happy and that I am somehow a bad person for being trash. I need to, I need to push that out. I need to. I need to write more. That's the main. Um, what's this? Thank you. No, I'm not. I'm not okay, but I'm not terrible either. I'm. I'm gonna try and be very honest at where I'm at. I'm. I'm a wreck. I'm an absolute freaking wreck. Um. It is. I'm feeling every morning I wake up. Every time I go to sleep, like I, I have. Don't have an issue with regular type of. Hey. Miss Jen, I mean, like these are normal stuff that r really from the stuff I've gone through in life, that doesn't bother me so much. <sighs> it's the other stuff. Hmm. I can't wait to, uh, to just get back into the cooking, the writing, and get back into my routine. I bet your mom and dad love you. I hope so. I wish so, but, um, no, they're, they're choosing to believe a different narrative because they're judging Trish based on how Patrick was. Where's my water? Water. Patrick was a liar, a major fucking liar. Where did you go? Okay. What did I do? Ooh, did it go over here? Yeah, okay, that makes sense now. Okay, where's the water? But have people noticed I don't go on breaks anymore for fresh air? I don't know. Of course I think more more um intensive therapy would. Um people I have to understand remember that um I wasn't supposed to be back in the apartment. So it kind of feels like things ended up happening earlier only because no nobody expected me to be back here. I have been taking care of an apartment financially that I haven't lived in until recently. 
um, the program didn't have a place for me that was um, reasonable accommodations. It, it had gotten so out of hand that I, it put me in a really, it, it put me in a bad spot, but I couldn't keep tolerating them, not only segregating me, but putting me in an unsafe environment. And if this is, this is Portland, this one, the private um, corporation that runs these places are all over the country. And I guarantee you when another vet like me sees Portland, in their head, they're going to think tolerant, accepting. They must be, of the ones they can go to, the more tolerant one it, it, for someone that's queer. And the reality was, there when I got here, it was not at all set up for somebody that identified differently, despite it being in Portland, where it really, it, it was very shocking that it wasn't. It was very shocking that I was told I was not gonna go to the women's housing because men didn't want me there and were able to call me um, homophobic slurs. That was like, are you for real? And then the idea that I was with geriatric men and that's when they let Davi go there for a little bit to kind of calm shit down and get the other guys to stop basically pulling all the bullshit they were pulling. And um, then out of the blue, they, they said Davi couldn't stay there anymore. They made Davi move back to where he was. And everybody was um, relapsing. And I was the one being put in very inappropriate situations with people that weren't clean and sober. And then their, their solution to that was to put the BHT office connected to my room so I could hear everything about that they said. They could hear everything I said. And all the guys had to line up outside my room between my room and where I showered. That was when it was like, no, the final straw was I don't know. Did anyone watch that live? The last live I was there? Mm -hmm. You are still weird for talking about children. What, when did I talk about children? What context is that? Can you tell me what context I talked about children? I have no idea what you're talking about. What, what context are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Did you have... I'm Catholic, but what... Dr. Nug, what... I want to know from them, shit, I really wanted to know what they were talking about. What did I talk about kids? I have no idea what that guy's talking about. Um. I have no idea what I was just talking about either. Did you go to Portland for treatment? No, I, we came to Portland for, um... Because we moved out of Vietnam and Portland had a very large Vietnamese community. And I have seen what it's like for people that have left their country and come to a part of the U.S. where they had no community, couldn't speak their language, and it was absolutely hell. So I wanted to make sure there was very real connection to people's culture, their language. And, um, what's the next question? Uh -huh. Talking about last night where you used to live. Can you, can you explain what you mean? It says, talking about last night where you used to live. I don't understand what that means. Um, the discrimination you face in the house. Uh, which, which one? The house I, the sober house I was in? The discrimination by segregating me with the geriatric house, or which which one? Because there's so many situations. Um, you asked us what you were talking about. They're just telling you you were talking about LO. Right, I was asking, does anyone remember the last live? Yeah, yeah, what, um, were you... <clears throat> Where in Portland are you, are you going to be? 
Um, yeah, yeah, to totally. So, so the the one that says you're gonna be in Portland. If you have an iPhone, please um text me, or if you don't have one, um use my my Gmail. So the ones that remember that last live. Is it, I'm wondering if that's, that's got to be up there. I think I saved it. I don't know. I think I did. Anyways, that was crazy, right? That was absolutely insane how that went down that last live. Can anyone in this live help? Um, let me, um, trans, certainty. Um, it was like beyond insane. And I can't, I can't believe. Let me see. Visit last city you smelt there too when someone who lived there came out with this. No. Um, why did you put them in their place? Why did it? I don't understand what you're saying. I was hearing who wasn't even. I mean, are you asking me why I didn't try and put somebody that was intoxicated and already, um, life had already been pretty terrible to them in their place? I mean, they were a person in a wheelchair and, like, extremely overweight. They didn't need any more shaming from me. They knew what they did was wrong later. I mean, it, it w there would be no point to it. I, I was just trying to make sure they got back safe. It's, I, I had more of an issue with those powers that be, that they let me go out with somebody that was that far gone, that they had nothing in place for safety. They were made aware that the per that, that had happened and it never made it down to the level of telling me, hey, you shouldn't go out. You don't put yourself in that situation. Just don't go out. And you guys remember Squeaky. All the issues I was, was, what's this? Why do people care more about other shit than what she's saying? Um, what, what happened? Did I miss something? Hmm. So any, anyways, the, um, they kept telling me the whole time I, I was, explaining how this one person in the house would follow me everywhere, would come in my room, would practically come into my bathroom, and they're like, no, it's not happening, like, no. And then the, the week I I leave, um, so he, he was really sent off because I would, would help him with, like, getting his stuff ready, his whatever food he wanted. Like, he really couldn't do simple stuff. I guess... It got so bad that, um, like, half the house got sent either to, like, higher, um, care, a higher place of care or a hospital. And I'm like, I don't understand why they didn't take me seriously ever when I was telling them all these things for weeks and weeks. I thought it just meant that they weren't, you know that they had talked to them and found that they were just fine. I didn't have to worry. But now it put me in, oh, they really were as bad as I was concerned about. They just didn't take me seriously. It's, it's going to be uh, interesting and super exciting knowing I'm back in charge of my life for the first time. Can someone... Uh, can someone tell me what Trish is talking about? Um, <clears throat> I'm, in a, I'm in a program. Um, I'm in a six-month program. And it's outpatient, but they get they charge the VA, Veterans Administration, $5,500 a day. So there were sober houses include, included in our treatment. But they didn't house me with the, with the women. They found I, so much... Illegal stuff shit happened. There was like two people that, that lost their job over how the whole situation of me coming in was handled. And I'm just talking about how 
the program kept me being really hard on people saying, you know, if you don't do this, if you don't do this, this is what happens. And they would never answer me about, well, what are you going to do if I'm supposed to be staying in a sober house? My sober house isn't sober and it's not safe. And I'm, and it ended up getting to the point where there was no point in staying in a sober house that wasn't sober and wasn't safe. And on the last day I was there getting my stuff, it was reiterated by um, pretty much like everybody had made the staff aware that one person was intoxicated. But nobody told me. And I was worried that if they went out by themselves, something could happen because they're in a wheelchair. And sure enough, something happened. The wheelchair um, stopped working. And here I am on live. And I'm trying to like push this extremely heavy person in a wheelchair that had shit his pants up a hill and it was just the most effing disgusting thing in a very long time and at the whole and during, during all this they kept propositioning me and telling me the most disgusting things you could be told about what they wanted to do so yeah that's why i stopped living there that wasn't conducive to my recovery. But see, I, I don't feel I should have been put into that type of situation. And then the alternative of coming here, I was met with the same kind of, um, not the same, different kinds of issues, but just as troublesome. Um, yeah. <laughs> Some people are gonna are gonna judge me, and those types of people, I have to just accept. They're never gonna comprehend at a level of intellect that's able to think like me and you that um, can compartmentalize different things. For some, for some of these people, if it is different than their little cornbread town, it's unacceptable and they'll find whatever excuse in the world to make it negative. I mean, with a username like that, F-A-D-N-P-S, like, I I sure hope it's yuck to that username. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, to be perverse and, um, uh, Mr. Lip, I don't know who you're talking about. I, I don't see anybody up here that is being perverse. I don't hear anyone talking about sinning. And, um, we are screwed. And I am not screwed up. I sometimes don't make the best decisions. Sometimes I struggle, but I'm not screwed up. Make sure you carry Yes, but make sure you carry Narcan. Um, I have um, a Subutex in me. My DLC is alcohol and opiates and the opposite of Pepsi, if you know what I mean. Uh, let's see what else. I have, and I do, I have Narcan. Um, it's better to vent to some you don't know. Yeah, I don't, like, that's what I do on here. I talk about what's been going on in my life. I don't claim to be, but but I better myself every day through, well, um, you have a lowercase g, so I, that's like what, Zeus you're worshiping, or is it a, is it Thor? I'm, I'm Catholic, I have a capital G, so I'm just fine in that department for what I'm getting with my religion. I don't know what religion you are, but I'm not looking to convert today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Heller. Uh, it's better to vent. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's it say? Uh, mine's from. The, um, here, here's a. Let, uh, well, now, if if you think something like that shouldn't be, I trust your judgment. But here, here's the thing. Yeah. No, I just won't. Even, I'm not even gonna respond to those people that are like think comparing me to Satan. That's just, um, okay. I'm, religion is like 
a Richard, you know what the nickname for Richard is? It shouldn't be shoved down anybody's throat, okay? I'm, I've explained this, the way I show that I'm a good Christian and try and get people to think about Christianity is I don't say anything about what my religion is and I just am a good person and try and help them if I can. Instead of trying to force things that they are, if they wanted to hear it, they'd be reading it themselves right now because something works for you, it, not necessarily for another. Sometimes people just need to hurt just a little bit less. And if you can contribute to them hurting a little less, that's far better than telling them to read a passage that they probably aren't going to do. Uh, when you speak God or Lord, Jesus and I should always be uppercase. Yes, that's correct. That's what I was telling them because they were using lower cases. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. The messages weren't refreshing. I'm sorry. What's going on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This concerned. I'm not trying to be rude, but what's going on? Uh, what did I miss, Queen B? Let me see. Uh, are you certain? Are you certain? You I don't know who that person is anymore after the things that have been said about me that are absolute. In yeah, I'm 100%. I'm, I would have to be a complete, really, really. Pathetic to expect things to be different at this point. Um, when I'm talk, when I keep mentioning how I've brought this on myself, to go back and repeat these things again would just be me being responsible for <laughs> the inevitable meltdown of it, of it. There's. I can I have seen into people's eyes there is a hate for who I am a disgust in me being trans um, there's no coming back from something like that there's no um no and hey I can't force someone to be attracted to me I can't and if it's not I wouldn't want to force it I saw how difficult it was for people to maintain just acknowledging my existence so they could um, get off their feet this first year. I wouldn't want to try and force it any further. Um. <laughs> But it does make me really wonder what what does it look like for someone that would be nice to me. I've never I've never been in an equal relationship. I've never been in one where I wasn't. <sighs> My status in the relationship by the other wasn't measured by what I was contributing. Um, my last wife, my Persian wife, um, I had to build her a farm. And give her that. It's, it's been just one thing after uh, another of success just to have it all taken by someone. Like, all <laughs> all my years of um, working if that the business that I thought was the two, ours is just I, I get to be me and not lose myself. Mm. Oh, whoops. Oh my goodness, it's 10 o'clock already. Holy shit. Thank you. Do you have to devote them over there? No, no, no. You can, you do it wherever you are a resident. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. No, I... 
No, but anything that is over, over there that I was trusting enough to keep, but it, thank God your soul is not something that can get divvied up and like lose in, in, in the thing I'm going through. So if I get to keep, I get to keep my soul and keep who I am, I can accept all the monetary debt I'm going going to be um, keeping in this situation. Hmm. Um, but you are on your way to finding yourself. Yeah, that's what I said. I said I'm. It's just very. It's very scary. I'm not used to being scared of things. I honest to God, I'm not used to having fear. I'm used to facing the unknown and being okay with it. This is not something I expected to have such a level of fear over. And I don't, I don't like admitting to how fearful I am of this situation. Water. Fudge. Let's see what else. I, I, one of the things I've been doing is I've been going through a lot of the, the things people have been writing to me and just going through reading, going through reading. I really appreciate all the, the wonderful things people have been saying. I'm, I'm sorry I don't have, um, not the best at responding. It's, it's, I do feel bad about that, but I'm so, so, you guys have been so kind and so sweet with the things I've been saying. Hey, um, this is multiple. Right, yeah, right now I'm just on, on YouTube and TikTok. What's going on? Silver stands for words. I don't know, everything is real. It's very painful to me. Mm -hmm. God inspired men were constant to write just so to know. I have no idea what that means. I don't understand what that's saying. Um, not to be mean, but your lashes are so long. I know, I like them. I like long lashes. I do. And I understand people that notice that, yeah, what I, how I like to look is not a typical look. I'm not a typical person. Mm. Um, time to heal our women and to be real to women. Okay. Time to heal our women and to be real to women. Okay, I'm trying to follow you. Yeah. Um, is there any particular way I should take that, Rose? I'm just, I... Thank you, Kathy. Let me see, where did the person go? Where are they? Um, what happened to the person that just wrote? Oh, um, Chris, Christine Rose, is there any particular way I should be interpreting that? I just want to make sure I'm, I'm taking it the way you want me to interpret it. To say, yeah, it's very fair to say, and I'm, I'm trying to stay as to the point on things as I can. And again, I'm not, I don't want to be seen as lashing out and placing blame. Um, I, I am doing a lot better job this time than in my last relationships of acknowledging how much I allow these things to happen. Um, yes, I'm in my apartment, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Kelly. 
I um, I still love her just as much as you. It's it's not it's not even like it went badly. It's just that it was not the relationship ever that I thought it was. It's um it it's There's certain things I'm not going to go into, but if I uh, talked about some of the other things that I just should have been like, what the hell am I getting myself into? Um, you'd really think a lot of question my sanity. I think people need to remember I was still um, maturing as Trish. I... I don't know how to explain how how many how much insecurities the Trish that first stepped off the plane in Vietnam had, especially when I came back walking into uh, this country that wasn't my own, and there was a part of me that was terrified and about what was going to happen when I left the United States. I was basically told I was going to be spit on screamed at and I wasn't going to be able to continue to be me. I didn't know what to do in my head when I heard that. There was a part of me that thought that, that I only got to experience this real moment of being me for a very short period of time and then it was all over. That's to show the mentality of how I thought in the beginning. Like it was so new, so in line with every thing I felt that I was um, convinced it couldn't last more than a short period of time. It's, I, my God, it's, I had so much constant hurt negative energy, negative feelings when I, and I had no idea what was wrong with me. So all, the, so many years um, after I wasn't part of the military, that when, when all that started to melt away from me, when I finally got to be who, be me and feel comfortable in my skin again, I, I don't know how to explain that's that. And that's part of the reason when I do get some of these hateful things, it doesn't mean a thing to me. I have lived a very real experience between when I was one person that I was living a lie and I know how miserable life that was to when I just stopped trying to be anyone in particular and just started being me. I experienced emotions, feelings, thoughts, esteem, all these things that I honestly never thought I would ever feel. I, like these are not things I would ever be entitled to feel. So it's like. And I do feel there was a lot of jealousy. Um, yeah, they still come and help me. Yes, they do. There was a very real person that people saw when I was a broken, addicted, um, alcoholic, just absolute miserable person that first two years in Vietnam. There were, there were good times, like, you know, some ups, like maybe going to a grocery store and we God, I don't know. And <clears throat> that version of me didn't care what happened because I didn't, I, I had no purpose other than to try and make it through each month to try and collect to eventually come to, to the U.S. So I was very docile. I was, I did like, just sat around and drank pretty much or used drugs. Um, yes. Um, okay, positive, I feel
Yes, Norski. Why? Why is it? Is it when people are going through incredibly difficult times, and they're not acting how you think I should act? That that's not sobriety. I mean, I'm in a pretty strict program. That I mean, I can't. I I could get away and trick the pissing one, but I can't trick the um. What's it called? The saliva one. And I don't feel um, okay. I don't, my body is exhausted. It's feeling like my, my mind's racing. Um, all of these things that are not normal things I'm experiencing right now. But I, I hope I'm not coming across as asking for any type of pity. Um, if I am, please tell me how I'm not, what part I'm doing that at, because I, I don't want that. I have learned very real lessons in what's going on. Um, it's going to help bring me closer to such a better version of myself. I have, I've gotten past just the point of, like I said, thinking I wouldn't be able to exist in Vietnam. That caused a lot of tension when, um, basically, for the six months before I came to Vietnam, I was told how I was going to be hated, how I was going to, how I was disgusting. Um, let's see. Many of you want to know that I wish you the best. Okay. Unfortunately, you cannot change it. Um, Miss Lips, why would you tell me something like that? I, I feel like in any other situation, when somebody just states an opinion that um, your opinion goes against our, gov our federal government, your opinion goes against my state government, your opinion goes against the society, the people around me, your opinion goes against higher education, your opinion goes against pretty much every reputable document and source that talks about those things. I, I, what do you think people are thinking when they hear you try and convince others of it? It's fine for you to have that belief, but to try and say that it's a universal fact, it, it doesn't shine the best light on, on you. For the people that don't understand what I mean when I say gender is a construct, that means you're not going to be able to tell me what it means here in Portland or to me. And I can't tell you what it means to you or where you live because it's a construct of the society we're around. So, and even in the United States as larger, both what you said and what I say would be true for the construct because we do have two polarizing camps on it. It's not one or the other in something that is such a construct. Gender is not a fact. It's show me where you can find this. It's not. <laughs> Sex is a fact. Se your, your DNA is a fact. I'm a male. I am XY. The idea of what gender even is can't be a fact because it's going to change the moment you go into India. And from India, it's going to change when you go to New Zealand. So you can't say something's a fact that changes purely on location. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Portland. Now, when you say gay, can you please explain that? Because I, sometimes I feel like people are not accepting people as their, as their gender when they say certain things. Like, I am a gay woman because I like women. So when you say they're also gay, is that what you mean that they only like women? Otherwise, if it's a transgender woman that likes men, they're straight. And here's the thing, like, this is well accepted for gender theory and where it is being taught. But like I said, I'm not telling you how you have to believe. I just find it ironic when you try and tell me how to believe going against so many 
explanations of, of, of what a, a gender system even is. It's kind of like, you remember family? Like, um, you can't tell someone what defines family. Family is not fact either. What is family to one person is going to be very different to another, from culture to society to, to all over. Oh, thank you, Nancy. Okay, now I'm really confused because you're saying, I don't think they were a transgender woman. I think maybe, were they, were they drag, a drag queen? Um, because, let me see. Um, because you, it goes against what it means to be transgender to say he is transgender. It would be she is transgender. Um. Otherwise, you wouldn't. Need, you wouldn't. You just wouldn't need one or the other because he negates the trans part of it. And huh. that's interesting. I mean, I can't. Again, I can't tell another person how they're gonna identify. So let me reword that. I'm just thrown because I wouldn't label. I couldn't see myself using words like that. But if that's how they used it, that's how they used it. They're no more right or wrong than how I use things to define me. Hmm? Uh, well, what were you born as, um, Satan's sister? I mean, I was born a baby and I was born male. Um, you were not born anything more than um, being a baby and your sex. Just like, that's like saying you were born with... Anything else that you ended up developing, like you were just <sighs> And when it comes to because you got to to have a gender that aligned with your sex Why is it that you see that I'm not being the person I was born as like that's why I don't understand when people Say these things you you think Transgender is something that someone would just choose to be because there's like some sort of benefit? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, listen, I, I admit it, I misspoke. I can't tell anybody how they're gonna identify and say something. I started off that way and caught myself in the hypocrisy I was saying. So, I mean, people are allowed to realize what they're saying and then change what they're saying. You look at, oh, thank you. And, and no confusion about, what do you mean no, con and no confusion about it? What's no, what is, what's no confusion about anything? Anyone, in my opinion, that has zero confusion, that's, Something's a little bit too simplified. My God, I have confusion all sorts of things. Hmm. But good for you. Good for you. Everything makes sense to you. A lot of things that do not make sense to me. Hmm. I. But hey, we've got double standards all over the place. Hey, maybe that's the trade-off. Maybe that is the trade-off in our society. Um... Females are going to have a disproportionate amount of legislation on them purely because they are females. Um, but they get to wear whatever they want to wear and nobody's going to tell them that they can't wear it because it's for a different gender. Males, we do not have to worry about that extra legislation on our bodies. We are free from that. But we get told we can't wear certain things. And then no matter where we are on the spectrum, we're going to be questioned more than females at birth. Wouldn't you, wouldn't you rather just be a level a fair level playing ground and <laughs> neither one of those were true? I would. I would rather that females didn't have that extra legislation on them and I would rather that nobody 
got told they couldn't look a certain way because it went against this idea of who they're supposed to be. But I'm still looking at, are there people out there that have the belief that I chose to be transgender because it would somehow be easier? Um, female to male or male to female acceptance is a female to Right, but now understand, I do not use those, those terms. I do not like those terms and they're not a part of who I am as a transgender woman. I do not feel I should be having my sex taken away from me. And because I'm not wanting to identify the exact same as a female woman, that somehow um, there's anything wrong with that. There's, uh, it's just what makes the most sense to me is I don't, I am religious. I don't feel there was any mistake made. I feel two things can exist together. I'm male. XY chromosomed and I'm in a two gender system. My gender is, is makes more sense being labeled woman than it does man. Thank you. Are you, are you at, I, I hope I'm taking that right. Like I said, I don't tell anyone else how to identify. That's just the one that makes sense for me. And I feel everyone should be able to do the same for what, how they want to. When, when it comes to just the words. When it comes to like certain things that I have to acknowledge because I live within a larger society, like my driver's license has an F on it for female because they had to have one system that all 50 states and territories agreed on and that's how it was done. And in Oregon, it means my gender identity, which will translate to woman. And I get, it goes against everything I talk about, but I have to, I have to make exceptions like that for, um, in, in order to exist in this society. Mm. Am I happy? It, that's a hard question because uh, I'm going through a lot of hurt right now, but I am happy with who I am. I'm happy um, that I'm going in the right direction. I'm a lot of positive things. <gasps> thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. The live one is doing far better than this one. It's interesting. Nice woman in my community. She and my wife community. But trans woman in my community. She. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What, what the heck is this? What's going on? There we go. Um, wait, trans women in my community, she and her wife committed to stay together. There is hope always. Uh, Deb, who, 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 what city is that in? And I'm just, I'm, I'm not understanding. Wait, did I miss something in there? Um, usually I leave with... Thank you, Nancy. Uh, mm -hmm. Should ask, maybe I'll help them through. Oh, Virginia. Oh, um, trans women in my community married. Oh, I, I understand now, Deb. I had to go up and read it. Yeah. What's this say? You are able to put a song for me, please, and thank you if you are wondering what the song is. Rat by Penelope Scott. What is it? What is, what's going on? Are you able to put a song for me, please? What do you mean? Uh, what do you mean by put a song for you? I'm confused. Do you mean like play a song right now? Um, why did someone have to hurt someone? Yeah. Oh, who hurt you? Did this happen? Oh. I, I'm confused what you're talking what this means. Um, I s see. I take it you have the rainbows of the arc of the of um 
from the flood, not the rainbows of understanding and diversity and tolerance um, on your profile. Uh, <laughs> I identify as a girl six years old, long before any of life had an opportunity to uh, affect me. And ov overall, I think um, I've maintained, been, kept my head above the water in life. And, and I've never let it poison me to become just miserable. I've never turned my back on my faith or my, my religion. Never become angry with God. I'm, uh, despite losing children. So, yeah, I, I don't know what level of uh, hurt stayed hurt. It's, it's turned to anger for bits of time, but in the end, it's propelled me forward in a positive way. I think they're insinuating you have, have you were abused in the military. Right, I was, but they're also, ins I feel like they're insinuating that that made me who I am, which didn't. That's been a major issue in me getting help at the VA because they were so concerned with trying to say it was because of what I did. Uh, the office of being trans, which, uh, which I'm not, if I didn't say I was a cis woman would be, would, would have offended some. Well, yeah, it offends people that don't truly understand that they're being offen offensive by pushing it the other way. It's if you made, if you got to have, if if one group of people got to have the title of American, it's like, well, I'm Amer I'm American because I am Northern European Caucasian. All the rest of you are not real Americans because you didn't come over on the way my people did. So you, you over there, you have to identify as Italian-American. You're Afro-American, you're Chinese. I'm the only real American. It's being derogatory to everyone else. Same is going to be true if you try and make where there's women and then there's a sub less than version of women when it's gender. Like if a lot of it just comes down to how people are, are, are looking at it. Um, there's a lot of where some people think that it's a competition and by saying cis, cis woman, it's somehow taking away from being a woman. But I'm trying to, ask people to keep in mind what I'm saying is I am not even in the same category. I'm I'm male and, and have the gender. So I am not saying I am this how do I put it? I don't want to make it where I don't want to say equal. Um, I'm very different and when it comes to the gender it's that the same gender. I don't know what the big issue or problem is by um, letting people know that there is more than one type of women. If you want to hold on to the idea of being a female woman and concentrate more, more on that for certain things, when because I've heard people talk about how they want to have certain situations that are just for the, that sex. And okay, I, I, I get that. Um, I can't force what I think is more fair on someone else or I'm doing exactly what I don't like about other, other people that do those things. I have no right to make a whole group of people do something in order for me to feel okay with who I am. I, I, I'm not trying to do that. I 
in many ways, just, um, I'm stuck with these labels that society has given me, and it's been a nightmare navigating, you know? So, so much of them, the things, the little things that built up on each other that, that just caused me so much pain is that I never really, I was made to feel bad at every corner for being me. At every turn in life, I, I was made to just, they're not good enough, not who I was supposed to be, you know? And at the same time, like growing up, Everything I was made to feel shame for, my, no one made my sister feel shame for. And no matter what, that was a very confusing message because there had to be something very real that was must have been very wrong with me. That's, I think, what's caused me most of my issues is I was convinced myself based on the message I was, I was getting growing up that I was bad. There's something just wrong with me. And um, I, sometimes it hurts when I still hear that, but It hurt far more when to hear it from people I cared about. Just my phone. Sweetie, watch the skirt. Um, I have my safety shorts on underneath, don't I? <laughs> you don't have to hurt no more. You want to go there? Thank you. Um, a lot of it just comes down to um the unknown, being scared. When you mean the uh, he, he didn't say anything. well, first off, you're making a lot of assumptions. You're making an assumption like you already in human form can comprehend any type of interaction with God. I mean, that's that's very prideful of you. That's um, <laughs> I put no expectations or ideas on what it's going to be like because I acknowledge I have no comprehension of what a God figure is. It's impossible for me to ever know in the human form. So the idea that you think you can speak for them and then tell me what I'm doing is somehow wrong. You should maybe um, take a look. Take a look at that. Um, make sure you mute me. What mute me? Amanda, I'm listen. You have to understand. If you ended up in the one where there is, it's not meant for descent, and now you're in the one where it is. I've, I've explained the two different ones so many times. I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, if on the one where there's very different rules, you wouldn't be muted in this one for the necessarily the same situation. That's why there's two different ones. Mm, what religion was in your upper? I'm ca Catholic. Well, well, no, here's here's the, the thing. There are very real reasons that one might get muted on the dot .USA where they wouldn't get muted on, you know what I mean, on the dot .live, that they wouldn't get muted on the dot .USA one for. It was becoming too difficult to have such a diverse arguments going on. Some of the comments really upset other people that just wanted a more relaxing environment. And I, at the same time, wanted to have a platform where people could feel safe asking anything. The two just weren't gonna be able to exist on the same account. Oh, when you make okay. Usually families are hard on boys to make them tough skin. Oh, you shouldn't have to. Um, 
but right there, I don't understand. I don't necessarily think that that is a fact. I I feel that maybe some families did that. My mom was a uh, leftist feminist against any sort of gender roles. She never made me feel that way. It was everyone else in society outside of that house that did. Um, if she had been that way, I never would have got to identify the way I wanted to back then. Um, but what she never did is she never explained to me. And as a kid, I had no idea why at home this was accepted, tolerated. And I seemed to piss off some people just for existing in other places. Um, what happened? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I've been eating. I've been I've been nibbling on a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. Oh, I told I listen. I to, I'm not saying anything against the mods. I'm trying to explain that there are going to be very different situations for the two different platforms. That's the main thing that because they've seen something said on this platform, it doesn't mean they can go. People can go and say it on the other one when they have a different set of guidelines. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. I wish you, when you answered questions, you said what you were answering and then have, oh. I am supposed to be doing that and people are supposed to be putting asterisks next to the questions. When they don't do that, it messes up my um, ability to remember to do those kinds of things. Um, let me see, is there a question right now? It looks like a duck. It quacks like a duck. Um, it probably, I uh, assume it probably is a fucking duck. It's um, a boy or a girl and it feels impaired. Um, in so, for some situations, that that's that is the case. When when gender meant something based off of your sex, exactly. But now that definition that you just gave, if it looks like a duck and talks like it, they've changed how that's used, how it's taught, and the power it has in law. So to use that old way of thinking from the 80s and 90s, when a boy, you you could say something like, well, they have a penis, they're a boy. Now, 2024, it can be said, right, right, right here in my neighborhood, right here in Portland, she has a penis. He is on his period. These are very real words, very real things that are said. I, I interact with one of my friends has a girlfriend that has a penis and she is gay. She is gay and dates her. Um, these, I completely understand why some people are like, no, that's way too not for me. Okay, I'm in Portland. These is not everyone in Portland is on board with this, but this is what it looks like at the opposite end. Way opposite end. And gender has a very different meaning than it did than it did when it was connected to one sex. It's and when people say, "Well, they just re redid the definition," yeah, they did, but they still redid the definition. That's happened many times. Definitions have been rewritten. There's been new meanings, and over the past twenty years, gender has separated from sex in so many places under the law. Mm -hmm. TikTok, I'm on YouTube. Yep. Oh, this is under, they've um, had gender have weight under the way laws are interpreted, um, the way identification is issued. So when someone makes the argument that I'm wrong, they can feel that way for them. But when it comes to 
which one of our ideas is going to have more weight in the real world, it's going to be where, the one I'm saying for here. Um, the idea of I can determine my gender identity, that's backed by I can go get my a license that says the, the gender I identify as. Um, when I go onto federal property, I am automatically given the gender of woman because, because of how they interpret gender to, gender to me now. So are people asking me to go against all the places in, this, in society that um, are aligned with my view? I mean, I don't, I, I, I know so many other times when I hear that people, that, you know, that people would just do what it says, we wouldn't have these problems. I don't agree with that. I still feel no one should be forced to have a certain idea of what they consider things to be. And when I'm that tolerant, despite having everything aligned with my ideology, I don't understand why people can't be more tolerant of how I'm saying things. That's my only concern. Did I lose anyone on that? Do you get what I'm saying? Hmm. Um, what's this? Um, even in Thailand, transgender people aren't saying they're women. Well, because they don't speak, because they're not speaking English. So that would be correct. And you have to understand it's a very different set of rules and systems. They are also not saying that they are male men. You're, you're trying to say because they have a different language and a different idea and different acceptances for different things that we can somehow use that. And what, so what it comes down to, I, if I'm hearing you correctly, is it's not good enough that, that females have the label of females. They need to be the only one that can claim the gender of women, which has nothing to do with their sex, has nothing to do with their DNA. It's something completely separate. Is, is that what I'm hearing? Because there's people that don't like that the meanings have changed. They want everybody to acknowledge the old definition they still have. Is, is that what I'm hearing? Because it, it now comes down to people's belief in what the word means versus how it's treated in this country, under the law, in education, everywhere else. I'm supposed to um, give more weight to someone's belief in a word than how it actually carries weight today. Am I, am I hearing that correctly? What, how is, per, how, um, how is a victim card have anything to do with what we're talking about? I'm asking in a very respectful way. I'm acknowledging that I can't tell anybody how they're supposed to identify. And I'm trying to explain how I'm not comparing myself to female women. Mm -hmm. People will be mad weird. You're acting like. She's coming on here trying to blend in and pretend to be, she's being, she's being herself. It's that simple. Thank you. I'm, but, um, and see here, here, here's the, um, thing. I feel a lot of people are using a definition because that's how they were taught it. That's what they want to believe it means. And I don't know what to do about words that have different meanings to different people, but it's not, it doesn't have that meaning when it comes to our societal laws. It only, but it does have that meaning wherever you're at. So that's, that's where we're running into issues in this country is in order for me, to have the word have meaning under this government, I ha I interpret it one way, is I have to. I have to go by the definition the government is giving me or I don't see, I don't get the benefit of 
having that word mean anything. And then there's females that they, they can interpret however they want because they don't need those added protections. They don't need the, the government to recognize how they see that word. Um, and there's gonna be, I guess, this period of time until enough people have gone through where they, they've changed how they teach this in school, they've changed how it is on higher education, they've changed how hospitals, medical, everyone has changed how these things, these words are used. It's, I mean, women aren't the only ones that can get pregnant anymore. Men get pregnant. Females are the only ones that can get pregnant, but not women. And all it is, is the word has changed and some, I guess I can't speak for the people that really don't like it. I acknowledge some people really don't like it. What is it that they think should be done? Still, I mean, what, what do you mean by that? Yeah, I'm not saying, no one has been taken away from having a label of woman, just more people have been included under the gender of woman. Um, sir, can you please notice me already? I want to ask a question. Remember, I just say put asterisks before it. You don't have to ask me, just ask a question, but make sure there's asterisks before it. Uh, not a shame. Um, Zach, so one, I mean, let me guess. Are you a Caucasian cisgendered male, the, the pinnacle of society that has basically all the power and privilege? Imagine that. Imagine uh, yet again telling somebody how they can or cannot identify. Of course you are. That's what you're entitled to used to being able to do. You are, of course, the one that gets to make all the rules. And if you don't see it as how it should be, then of course it couldn't possibly be because everything has to align with your belief system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. What? Okay, don't let, like... I mean, yeah, it, don't say it's going to be a legitimate question and then it turns out to be something that's not. Um, saying something just to say something that you think is all sly and smart that turns out to just sh show the opposite, it's going to be disappointing. Mm, good night. Oh, thank you. Um. Thank you, grandkids 50. Um, you're not in the kitchen. Yeah, I'm going to go to bed soon. Uh, yeah, I, uh, you're me. Thank you. Um, every, ever consider walking up and identifying as, yes, I would love that. But here's the thing. Um, if I just identify as a human and nothing more, it would not let me know where I can go pee in a public restroom. I wouldn't know where I could do that. Um, if we're gonna insist that the, we have a two gender system, instead of having four, where there'd be a very different gender for a male woman versus a female woman, there would be two very distinct separate genders. We have a binary system. If all we have to label ourselves is either man, woman, or neither, it has to be more inclusive. It's, and when it's not connected to a sex and we just have these two, I, I don't know what else there is to do. Man is, would not be the correct gender. It would confuse the hell out of so many people in the society I live in. Um, and then to, to be told these slurs of I'm not be the human I know I am um, because someone else thinks it's um, insulting to them to allow more inclusion into a use of a word is These moves, I, what, what am I supposed to do? Like, just, just. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, again, Zach, what does, I do wear a wig, but what does that prove? Now, does it, um, if someone has a wig, they're not the gender of woman? It, is, do you, that makes, again, no sense to me. I, I have a wig, but it doesn't change how someone's gender is. Well, people out here lying about your makeup being, um, again, Mm -hmm. Listen, Chris, because you are very sour towards life and have a very negative outlook on things, you can't presume everybody is as miserable as you. Some people are not that way and are positive and don't spin the world in the negative God that you see it as. Can you accept that there are some people that see positivity and they're not negative about everything they see? It, it's, I guess it, it is hard for people to sometimes understand that not everybody's as miserable as they are. It's, it's something that some people are going to have to come to terms with, though. Mm -hmm. um, well, again, you're using, asking me about a term that doesn't apply to males. Males don't have periods. They don't have their uterus break down. They don't have the wall, all, the, all that stuff. So why would you even ask me that? That's not what defines a woman. That's, you're talking about a female. I think, again, what I'm, see, what I'm seeing is, it's just the word and how, because the, there's been powers that be that want to cause, um, polarization, people not to get along, they've given, over time, a very different definition of a word than is what is used and is backed by how everything is basically done. You, and it's, it's all just coming down to how people are seeing this word. I, I see it all the time, these questions, can you get pregnant? No, but that's not what a, defines a woman. Um, these are all things that your sex is, is defining. What was the question? I, I want to be able to answer. Uh, why does you talk about something else? Yeah, ask, ask something else. Please come. I'm just trying to answer the questions that come up on here. And for a lot of it, I acknowledge I don't know. I'm just trying to do what I need to do to exist. I don't have the luxury of being able to use my anatomy and biology to define and make myself superior to others. I only have what the word is guaranteed under the current society I live in. Some of me, no, I, 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 I get that. I, I, I feel like some people see the word very different than me. When I'm hearing it, it's a gender. It's a gender thing. It's not a body thing. Um, I picture females get pregnant. They, that's the sex that has the body parts that make it capable to um, reproduce. Tell me, woman, in my mindset, and so many people I know, it doesn't tell them anything about what their biology is. And I think we were coming to where we have very different interpretations of words based on our generation and where we live in the country. I was going to go back. Um, with everything that's going on, there's no way I was going to be able to go and not burn myself out having the program, having school, and dealing with the other things going on. So... Which, looking at how stressful this past week has been, I can't imagine throwing school on top of that. Oh, I was in, in, um, gonna go back. I mean, just because I'm not in school doesn't mean I can't still read, still can't um, communicate with people, talk to some of the people I know that are experts on their field that they're teaching here in, or in Portland, um, have conversations with, I, on top of the therapy, I asked Harvard John, because he has 
studied in depth the idea of gender and this idea of what caused, when did gender start getting pushed back to being connected to one's sex? And it's, it's been in a direct correlation of the more one, one, um, that's too, I, I, I don't want to get into that one tonight. There, there, there's been a set agenda on both sides to have the words mean different things to different people. I think we can all agree on that, right? I wanted to ask, what makes you happy? Um, I feel happy is my default mode. And what makes me unhappy is to see others hurt, to cause hurt, um, disappointment, conflict. Those things take away from my default of happy. I have a really hard time seeing suffering and or, uh, I love to cook, I love to bake, I love to talk, I love to um I like to go on a hiking, I like to swim, I love doing my makeup, I like shopping, I like fashion, I like reading, I, um, I, I like making, taking pictures, I like photography, I like social media, I like making videos. Um, I've been around that stuff since I was really young. My grandfather was worked at Kodak and unlimited supply of cameras and film and he, he's the one that came up with so many of the patents for Kodak that Kodak said, nobody's ever gonna want digital pictures. <laughs> now it was, I think it was 1989 that he turned the very his first camcorder into a digital camera by taking it, directly looping it into a Genlock, <clears throat> putting um, three colored filters in front of the arm um, camcorder, digitizing an image, saving it. Um, at that time, it took up the memory of the whole computer. It was an Omega 2000. And then we would print it on a thermal printer. So it was the whole system of what would later to come in digital photography. And Kodak basically said, yeah, this is never gonna catch on. But I feel like she's been different. Yeah, I'm, I have been different. I'm on um, a, a very high, I startle much easier. I am just in this constant fight or flight mode. I am not able to relax. I'm not able to um, do a lot of things. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Everyone's like, I notice something different. I'm like, yeah, you do, because there's something very different going on. Oh, thank you. Thank you, guys. Mm -hmm. Um, what's going on? Um, yeah, um, I am starting Shay, I'm Christian, but I want to tell you what they do, what they do. Uh, let's make a thank you. Straight people say two genders. Um, you do realize that trans are not gay? That's, again, do you realize how that makes you look to so many people? people hearing you argue against something and you don't even have the definition correct? Like, how can you be so set against something and not know it's not our a sexu your sexuality that has anything to do with it? It's a gender, a gender identifier. Most transgender women don't like, don't like men. 
Hmm. My flight or flight finally stopped after almost four months. I get it, friend. My flight? My fight! My flight finally stopped. Mm -hmm. my, my, my fight or flight. Okay, yeah, I'm having a problem even freaking reading. Um, do you realize how you look on, yeah, I look horrible. Yeah, I, I, I get that. Do you, do people realize I'm trying to tell you that I am doing absolutely horrible? Do you get in the past, certain things happened over a month ago, but it's only been since last week that someone has, come forward and, and showed me all these things I didn't know had happened. I didn't know about my room being sent to strangers versus instead of just <laughs> helping me in any way, shape, or form. I didn't know I was being accused of, of sleeping with my sober companion. There, there's a lot of, I didn't know I was never gonna see the kids again. I didn't know there was going to be this very real hatred towards me for who I am, which has become abundantly clear that it's okay to treat me bad because it's my fault for, as people put it, choosing to identify as I do. I've lost what I thought was love. I have had to come to accept that this is not something that happened because I transitioned. So this happened because I was in, E easy. I have a personality of not being con confrontational, of being docile, of trying to prove myself by helping others, which is not sustainable. And I'm questioning if I will ever be able to trust someone. Will they ever love me for me? Would, is there anyone in the whole world that could possibly be a, not, a good person, be what I'm looking for, and care for me. And on top of that, I was met with the very, with the reality, I can't take care of myself sometimes. When I get sick, when I get the, a migraine, or lose time, had Dobby not come here, I'd reach the point of exhaust, exhaustion from not eating or drinking where I couldn't even help myself. I'm only 44 years old. That's terrifying. Mm. Thank you, Kelly. I am, I am literally Wiped on one end, but full of energy on the other. Um, yeah, that's, and I don't even know how to do it. I, Cause it, it'd be one thing if I lost like someone through unaliving, I could comprehend that. That would mean the person I was missing existed. <sighs> when there's a very, when that isn't, the situation and there's still that very real person, that means I have to somehow try and wrap my mind around. I did not have the self-confidence I thought I had in myself because I was willing to overlook so much in exchange for not being alone, in exchange for feeling some sort of love <laughs> I 
I I want I I've just been get, hear, hearing some really hard things when I just I'm not used to thinking about the future and having this overwhelmingly sad alone feeling overtake me or that looking at just how I looked two years ago and looking how I look now knowing what am I going to do come my 50s, 55, what does my life look like then? I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting older. Yeah, there, there's uh, so many freaking things. Um, that uh, I, mean, I don't I don't have the answers to and I'm just trying to get through the days and um, be honest about what it's like coming to terms with those things I, I don't know what to do I don't know how, how to um, not worry about what tomorrow's gonna bring because the other very real thing is It would be very scary if I went back to where I was not as high functioning and I was, you know, in bed a lot. I was, didn't get to do a lot. Um, and when I'm like that, it's very easy for me to um, overlook so many things in relationship because I am not able to do everything I need to do for myself. So I end up trading which I'm just now realizing. I, mean, I would trade my income for the security of knowing someone was helping me. And it's hard when that person is supposed to be someone that Yes, yeah, I, I, I don't. It, it's, it's also strange because nothing has really changed that much. Um, I have not been in like a bed of my spouse for more than a couple weeks in the past three years. So in Vietnam, I had a separate apartment because Trish wasn't accepted. Um, and then when I came here, I did ask that they not be in bed because the very first thing after I got out of the hospital for being assaulted was them pushing, wanting a certain thing. And I didn't want that. Um. Hmm. I, and the more I get it out here, I think the more I, I'll be able to sleep better. Last night, there was all these things running through my head. I was waking up every like couple of minutes. It felt like, it felt constant anxiety about everything I've just basically shared. I feel kind of like maybe it won't be so bad. And it's, a completely different um, feeling now being who, who I am and facing this versus Trish, you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, you do. Oh, thank you. Um, trust is hard to get back. Yes. Um, Oh, thank you, thank you, Louie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lou. Oh, I th thank you, Lori. Sorry, Lori. <laughs> thank you, Lori. Um, Gra from Myers Myers. Um, new life is coming. Yes, I know. Oh, that's awesome, Gina. I'm glad to hear that. And uh, um, it's definitely hard to find people. Who, oh no, don't call me that, Kelly. Uh, no, I, but then I I do understand and get that um oh, 
Harvard John's gonna work on this one with me because we both acknowledge if I don't look at what has been fueling me and, and making me, why I've been making the decisions I make in relationships, the next marriage is gonna be like the other four. Um, <laughs> and I'm, I'm like, well, I'm worried, like, what if the next time around, um, it's someone that is really nice, but every single time I've been in a relationship, I've never pursued anyone. It's been them coming up to me and basically telling me they were interested in me and this is what was going to happen. And I went along with it. For some reason, ever since the relationship, <gasps> thank you, Sharice, thank you, Sharice, thank you, Sharice. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Sharice Irvin. Ever, ever since that relationship got so twisted with my mother, I have never felt I had the authority to say anything to, uh, uh, at the time, my understanding of a, a woman. Um, I had this, I, this underlying belief structure that I was inferior to and the words I used, real woman. Remember, just because I use these words in the past doesn't mean I, I use them today, but I can't skip over a part where that's how I felt and believed in things. Because, and again, I didn't know what trans was. It was just a natural word because of how my mom would use it. It meant something very different. Real woman, the way she described it and I heard it was the way you're like, oh, come on, be a real man. Be a real woman meant, you know, be everything that you can. I, don't, I honestly don't know. It, meant, it means something to me when I hear it, but I can't articulate it to words. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's, it's really... <gasps> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'm one being. See, that's something that, again, is my thought I have to work on. I don't know what I need to do to make that happen. Because, again, I, since I've been working on it in, in therapy, I understand that. Um, my belief structure that was that developed as a child and stayed into adulthood was that um, women are, were in a relationship were superior to men, and that I did not ever have the right to um, challenge a belief or go against it. Doesn't mean I didn't. It just means. Even when I was doing it, there was a, a higher belief that what I was doing was wrong right from the, from the get-go. I had never worked on these things with a therapist before. I got really messed up um, belief system. <laughs> really messed up one. And I didn't know how effed up it was. I have a belief structure that um, I remember getting this very directly from my mom. That... It's my, it was my duty to allow the woman to get their anger out by whatever they needed to do to me. And that a real caring spouse would allow that. And I can't very well go and claim abuse when I am the one that was saying it needed, that it was okay. I feel if anyone ever is saying, do this, it's okay, you, the per other person can't then turn around and, and make it into something it's not. Like, and it was very easy to be belittled when I was seen as Peter. Because I had no respect for that person that I was because it was all fake. It was just, you know, what do I need to do to get through this to get to 
to drink later. Like, what what are the things we have to do today? Um, when I became Trish, and I had a real issue with being humiliated. I didn't like it. I didn't like being called names. I didn't like being made fun of. I all these things I didn't no longer tolerated or liked. But what I know when I feel that idea of absolute love, I will make all the compromises in the world and I don't know what that would look like the next time around. Oh, I am. I, um, Amy, I'm not getting into a relationship. I am doing the whole not, not getting involved for a year. Um, I completely agree with what you're saying. Like I said, my belief structure is all effed up. Mm, believe in what you believe in, but don't let anyone force you into believing it. Well, I had never looked at what my beliefs were. And they're messed up ones that I don't know how I let them stick around for so long. You can... Thank you. So, uh, viewers in this year, it doesn't mean others have. Well, they're not abused. See, I that's the dilemma. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Oh, thank you, everyone. Um, and to be very clear, in my last relationship, they were not physically violent. They weren't capable of having major violence. They just, it was, it was words. They, <clears throat> any time where there was any contact, it didn't, it was not, I think even intentional, it was just really them getting up, upset and maybe a p part of their body coming in contact with mine. I'm, yeah, they, it was, it was more verbal. I, I realized it was it was jealousy that things were like telling me how I think I'm so pretty all um, how I go out and wear my clothes it was always making me feel bad about myself for being for liking myself I was not allowed to like myself I was not allowed to find myself pretty I was not allowed to um, have friends that valued me for who I was. no idea how I do this whole um socialization thing outside of recovery now like when I'm not in that program I don't where do I go to meet people what does that look like yeah that I would this was the dilemma I was um Mm, well, we saw how she, um, but I can't put that on her because I constantly allow that, okay? If somebody does things and it's tolerated, the blame has to be shared. I, I can't say, oh, look, this is on them. I, I was a repeat customer to that. And uh, I remember feeling like, this is horrible, I hate this. Um, but I had th no idea of any option of what to do. And I feel like they kind of knew that I'm locked in I was locked into a contract of responsibility and I just did, never saw it going to the extreme of not getting a single penny except for the ten thousand dollars that they put towards the the flights and moving here so I did feel very very trapped and when I care for people, I would give so many, so many excuses. I honestly thought it was because people were being so mean to them, which did happen. I did not take into consideration the South Vietnamese population. 
um, ridiculing them for being with me. And that did, that bothered me on so many levels because I felt it could only bother them that much if they agreed with what they were saying because there's nothing people could say to me about people that were close to me unless I believed the same thing they were ridiculing them about. So... In, in the end, I've learned, I learned a lot about, like, so much. I, um, I don't know, um, yeah, that's, that's the, that's the thing. It was, a uh, classical, and <laughs> it, it didn't go so much more negative until, they truly thought they were going to leave and have a whole nother place and I was going to keep paying for it and we were going to just stay together. And I was told you have to completely disengage. You completely, com just completely disengage with someone that has narcissistic tendencies. And that when I did that, that's when all this other stuff started happening too. Oh, whoa, well, but... I honestly can't picture some, like, who would accept me as, as who I am. Um, it's, I don't know, I, um, it's really, difficult knowing like in the last relationship that they were much more attracted to me in a different form and it eventually felt like I only had any value when I had all my makeup off taken a shower and the one thing that had value on me was sex that, that they wanted Besides that, nothing about me seemed to have any value, but my, you know, my belief structure, no. My ideas on, how, on things, no. And then, in my head, I kept telling myself, I, well, this would be, I would see this as something very different if this was going on in, um, a cisgender man was doing this to a cisgender woman, that would be wrong, but I can't expect those same standards, so it's not that bad. I don't, sorry. Mm. Oh my god. Oh my god. No. No, but I've known it existed, but I didn't get it. <laughs> no, I know it is. <laughs> no, okay, that's the reminder. I will be getting off soon because um, I need to work on my sleep hygiene. And. Mm -hmm.
It's not that bad. I can. I'll be fine. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I. Uh, I can't. <laughs> Sorry, it's, it's, some people, like, when I say things about, I realize how obvious they should be to me, but they're not. And it's, it made me laugh. I'm like, oh, you, you're just making sure, um, I take care of myself. You're that's the reason you're doing that. I get it. I don't do these things. <laughs> I, I have, um, this is who stays with me sometimes. Let me get them right now. <laughs> I have them. And I have, I have Darla somewhere. And I have Vicky somewhere. But I don't know where Vicky went. I, like... Freaked out that Vicky disappeared. Oh, here, she, here they are. My goodness, they just got put away. God forbid they, they get put away and I can't find them. Okay. Maybe I'll sleep better tonight. Um, Trish has a do 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 do. Don't spend money on my arm. Let's see. You don't have to speak on anything. It doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. I'm lost for words at times. My mind is not making the connections. Um, it's some, it usually does because I'm in territory. I have, it's just this big void right now. I don't have um, ideas on what it looks like. I had a very real idea in my head of how the future was look, gonna look. I needed to um, dedicate the next, what was it, four years in helping like pay down certain things to help establish a place here in America. And, and now I'm on my own with no, with a different purpose that that purpose is was never for me. It was and what I get to ask myself: What does it look like to dedicate my life towards things I want to do? Um, there's the very real things I need. To, I need that bother me the most, like the relationship with my kids. That um, there's just no other way of putting it. It's just not good. I've effed a lot of things up, and I'm trying to figure out how to make it better. There, there's no sugarcoating it any other way. There's um, very difficult situations. My ex, my that I was with last is. I, I know very, very upset with me and, and is keeping my daughter from me because of the person I ended up um, marrying after them. They, they, those two did not get along. Um, I have the issues of trying to deal with kids that were told a, di a very different reality. And even when they found out that what they were told wasn't true, the hurt from when they believed it to be true is still gonna be with them. Um, they were told I didn't go to Afghanistan, I abandoned them and just took off. And they weren't told when I was in the hospital. They it wasn't until after I got out that one of them did come to live with me. And then when I had a massive seizure from my TBI would get them a lot. They were told I had an OD. 
And I was actually living in the Beaverton Veteran Shelter where you got, you ate every day and had to blow into a straw. So there's a lot of navigation between very real hurt. There's, I think some of them have this idea that there is no, that they somehow feel that they are in a position of, I wasn't willing to put myself through anything in order to have a relationship. And I know some parents feel that that's what they would do. I tried it that way before. I'm not going to do that. If if it can be a mutually respectable one, I will do more than my, no, I won't do more than my fair share. I'll do my fair share. But if it's gonna be a constant ridiculing me and a constant blaming, for the same stuff we went through the last time, I'm gonna wait until the ones that do that are ready to have a different type of relationship. I'm tired of trying to explain that I do have feelings. I do love my kids. It hurts so bad every time I had them or I couldn't see them. Thank you, Crafty. Oh, thank you. Um, I feel that there is that my, my kids know the idea of who I am through how their mothers have explained me, which is a very warped feel and it's for them when they bring up things that I did I'm yes I did those and so in their head they know that that happened but when I tell them about the positive events there's nothing to collaborate it and they don't acknowledge them so they are end up with this very negative warped view from the last time we went through this and i feel like i did more damage by just being by acknowledging all the negative things i when there was no way to, for any of the positive things to come through That's just one of the many things on my my mind. Is like, how does that even look? Um, I I have to deal with putting together the pieces of a life um, of a person that I have no, I feel no connection to. That just did all this fucked up shit that I cannot comprehend why they would do these things. Um, I see life so much differently than than the, the person I was before, which it's not even like, like I can say, oh, I'm not the same Trish as I was last year. Like that means something very different. When I say, I do not comprehend the situations and the decisions the person controlling this body back then made. It means like I, I don't feel any type of connection. It's like it was a, a different person. Um, which is probably why I have DID. Huh. May I ask the ages? Um, two, they were born 2000 to 2014. Mm -hmm. And it, I do have the, a defense mechanism of trying to not stay dwelling on it at night. That combined with how I'm already feeling is this super deep pain in my gut that hurts more than any pain I can describe for emotions. It's this absolute sadness of knowing I can never get the years that were taken from me back. If they're gone, I can't have them. Even the very best, if I was able to have a relationship with them in their adulthood, I can never get that childhood back. And that, that hurts 
a lot. And it's, it's not a good feeling, but I have to do it. I'm just not assigning blame anywhere. Because I don't want to have any more anger towards anyone. It doesn't always work. I have very real anger towards some of the mothers that um just just wanted. I, I shouldn't speak for them. The reality made it so I couldn't see them. Um, I felt at the very least I should have been involved. I, um, Yes, exactly. Um, how do you know you? Um, I think I might be missing piece. I think that might be missing piece. What's going on? As people grow and we need, and we no, I I acknowledge like I'm there's all sorts of things. Uh, almost you know, I know, keep trying for a bit longer because I feel like it's important. Oh, I'm not gonna give up. I'm just stating how I'm feeling in the moment. Um, keep being you. Thank you. The other TikTok paused. Is, is it? Let me switch it over to you. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. Let's get that off. Let's see. 5G. Thank you. Here, here's the thing. It's I'm just saying how I'm feeling, how it's so overwhelming right now. Because I have so much. I've got the fear of everything going on. I've got the... Um, all these emotions that I, I'm telling myself oh, I shouldn't be feeling. I shouldn't be upset about this. But I am, you know? But I... There's just... Oh, thank you so much, Joan. Thank you so much. Thank you, Joni. Thank you, Joni. There, there's so much that I don't know why I'm telling myself I'm not supposed to um, be upset. That I'm supposed to just let it go. And very real fact of the matter is I am not used to not knowing how to feel. I'm, never, I'm not used to having this level of confusion on things. I've never ha I guess I've never had this this um, this level of things happen in this way before. I have never ever been in this situation. So I don't know I guess how to, what what to do except start so you know Start tomorrow positive and let today end with today and just keep going forward. I have found, um, personally I think we have grown so much so quickly. The other TikToks paused. Which one? It, it should be working now. Is it working? Uh, thank you, Kara. Oh, thank you, Kara. Trish, did you read my comment? Love, stop being sad. I'm here. Um, I'm so many emotions. When I think, um, just when I think about the childhood part, it hurts so bad because I. I know how bad I felt when my mother took us away from my dad and I still got to see him at least once a month. And I hate knowing that there could be deep pain that I've inflicted onto anybody. And I'm so 
so angry at one of them for... Basically, this is my punishment for getting an idiot mentally pregnant and... I mean, actually, it was, it was my wife's girlfriend that I'd, I've explained. We, live, we all live together. And when one had a boy and the other had a girl, their relationship fell apart when I was deployed and I came home to the mess of that relationship coming apart. And um, I feel like I'm the one that's punished because I'm the one that connects those two's past that none of them want to admit ever happened. It's like, my youngest, my youngest kids think that that is, oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Right. It's more important to play job to help them see. Um, what do you, what do you mean by that? You, you're not separating out the reality of anything. Um, how I dress is completely independent of being able to see them. You, you do get that, that um, I am in a program that I can't just get up and leave. I have made commitments to other people bringing them here and those kids that, and all the other times I made major financial investments in trying to see them, I didn't always get to. So I can't just go all willy-nilly. There has to be a set plan. And I'm not setting myself up to just go off uh, off and try and fix everything overnight. It's not gonna happen. And I mean, and I have to deal with people who are so, so um, used to having absolute privilege that they get, that they feel they can dictate to others their role in life and society. Like you, someone that calls me being, wearing clothes instead of walking around naked, dress up. And you equate everything about my identity with clothes. And it reminds me that there are some people that are so overwhelmingly ignorant and make, and think they're have a position on a topic that they have no comprehension of when I hear the, them talk like this. But still, thank you for the $5, I appreciate that. Um, uh, and again, I've talked about this before. My lifestyle would be recovery. Um, my lifestyle would be um, Try maintaining my sobriety. If these are the things that you find selfish, because how I exist is not a lifestyle. Lifestyle is not things that I am forced to come to terms and accept. This is something that I really hope more people w can understand. For me, being a transgender woman is not something I would want for my son, the, unless they were in a very different environment in society than I was. This is not something that I was happy about figuring out. This was, okay, this is me. I, I need to accept it and figure out what makes me happy now that I know who I am. But it was never for being like, oh, this looks super cool on TV. Look at all these people. Look how, look how, no, no one really accepts them. Everyone thinks that they get everything they, they want. At the same time, they are being harassed, humiliated, made fun of. Oh, that looks so fun. That looks so fun constantly being delegitimized, being dehumanized, being told I'm not really who I know I am. I would love to be that person that doesn't get to be who I am and constantly have society think they can tell me that I'm just playing some silly game like that is no one no other group of people gets told that their existence isn't real um, but this one is this one constantly gets told that I'm 
playing some sort of game. I'm acting or I'm mocking people. It will be seven months on the 26th. Thank you so much, Heidi. How are you? Thank you so much. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lori. It's been thirty. Yeah, there'll be seven months coming up after my birthday, I guess. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. And um, when people say it's selfish, do they take into consideration? I cannot see how me finally figuring out that it, when once I accepted me, for me, I had a fighting chance with sobriety. I actually had a person that I respected and didn't want to unalive. Without that self-worth, without that, like, oh, Wow, I get why I felt so horrible before because everything was truly pointless when I was pretending to be someone else then. So, I don't know what it will look, what it will look like, but I'm, I am optimistic. I'm not completely pessimistic. I, I'm hoping the reality of the truth of the person I am now. And the fact that I was never an evil person. I was just, like they said, I did a lot of selfish things, like drink myself away. The, that, the truth will come out and they'll see me for who I am now. And they can choose. They can continue to not want to have anything to do for the person because of the person that I may have been many, many years ago, or at least give me a talking chance to start somewhere for who I am now. I don't know what will happen. I don't know. Could you? Yes, I, 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 I will. I'm sorry. I just haven't been up there in a little bit. Well, I, I love everybody. I've got to get off. It is midnight, and that's the time I have to get off. Um, allow her to speak without question or asking. What happened? We are being a friend. Yes, thank you so much. What's going on? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, but I'm not bad either. I'm just, I'm going through um, a challenging period right now. Very challenging. And what makes it more challenging is <laughs> constantly being told it's not that challenging. <laughs> constantly being told um. In this period that I'm going through, I, I am more susceptible to um, getting upset in ways I didn't use to get upset. I'm finding I'm because of how emotional it is. It stings when I am uh, told I'm basically the horrible, a horrible person when I'm told. Um, that I have chose certain things. When I'm told I don't have an identity, I get frustrated. But I'm, who else gets to like figure all this stuff out so much quicker? Like I said, this stuff used to just sit in my head, just used to sit and it didn't go anywhere. It never got anywhere. Thank you, Shola. Thank you, everyone. I love you guys. Let's go. Uh-oh. What happened here? Oh, there we go. Be, um, what does that mean to be a man? So what you're telling me to do is play a pretend part. Oh. Do this ideal thing of what, how I stereotype a man and play that that stereotype, the one, because I, I did that, and I did that pretty well. I was just, um, yeah, I, I tried 
try to do a lot of these like t things that I saw like them do. Um, but why? Why do you want me to pretend to be somebody? I don't understand that. Um, I saw you Iceland, you freak. Yeah, pretend. Uh, you heard me pretend. Um, I'm. I don't understand why you want me to pretend to be a different gender than the gender I am. And I'm getting to the point where I understand you have a definition of your words. That's that's fine. I'm using the definition that has authority in the area I live in. So I'm I'm not I'm not gonna go back to pretend to be someone else. Um, so I'm going to bed. She'll go on about the same stuff. I go on by what people say. You know, if you want me to talk about something else, you pick what you want, would like to discuss. If someone had like a a question about a specific thing, they're more than welcome to ask it. Thank you. Is there any way you can go live as a... But what does that mean as a man? I'm not a man. I could never go live as a man. I could be a drag king. <laughs> I mean, I could perform as a man, but I can't be a man. I'm not a man. I can look how you... you know, how people in their head think a man looks. But what is, is really a hard double standard is when people tell me to just... When I look that way, I'm a man, but then being a woman isn't just dressing. So it's, again, it's a double standard. When I look, when I dress as a man, that's the full part. Um, when we all know there's more to it than that. And when I'm getting ready in the morning, I don't have my makeup on yet. Do you mean like you want me to wear like what I think guys would wear? That would just be me cross-dressing. So you want me to cross-dress as a guy, as a man? No, it's not rude. I mean, I if that's what someone, just because that's what they want doesn't mean I would do it. It's, it's, um, I'm not gonna, um, go through that, um, that type of, um, suffering when I, don't think people are, are asking me to do it to suffer. They don't probably don't get how uh, horrible that makes it makes me feel when I um, do that. And I don't know why it does. It just does. But I don't have a problem being me in the morning getting ready. That's different. So, I'm going to bed. Bye, everyone. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I get it. And it like, I, I know nobody meant it in a negative way. I get that. It was fine to ask that. And when, if I ever was like that, something seriously was would be bothering me where I just didn't even get ready. And again... It wouldn't be that I was presenting as a man. It would just be I didn't get ready. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Love you guys. Thank you for Texas. Thank you, everyone. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. Oops, there's my hand. Ah.